अफजिल भाई का हमने मेन टाइम पे कैच छोड़ा और उसके बाद उन्होंने पचास किया सेम ऐसे उमर भाई का भी कैच छूटा एक दो और कैच छूटे मेरे ख्याल में फील्डिंग की वजह से हम लोग आ रहे कुछ आपकी टीम के यंगस्टर्स की बात कर लेते हैं अच्छी यंग टीम थी यकीनी तौर पर उनको खुश दिल और उमर अकमल जैसे प्लेयर्स के खिलाफ खेल के सीखने का मौका मिला होगा डेफिनेटली uh, उनको uh, मौका मिला और उन्होंने अप्रूव भी किया परफॉर्म किया और मुझे यकीन है कि वो फ्यूचर में नजर आएंगे आपको चले मोहम्मद इस्माइल इसी तरह मेहनत करते हैं और आगे आने वाले टोर्नस में uh, कामयाबियां हासिल करते हैं आई लाइक टू कॉल अपॉन द विनिंग कैप्टन ईशाल एसोसिएट कप्तान उमर अकमल सर प्लीज आइए और हमसे कुछ बातें करें अच्छी परफॉर्मेंस दिया आज आपकी ओवरऑल ऑल दो इशार एसोसिएट्स को आज एक सौ रन का हदफ मिला थोड़े से ज्यादा रन पड़ गए थे बट फिर खुशदिल शाह ने क्या कमाल बैटिंग की आपके लिए उमर इसमें रखमान मेरा ख्याल है कि क्रेडिट ओवरऑल टीम को जाता और जिस तरह की परफॉर्मेंस हुई है इतने ज्यादा रन नहीं हुए थे एज ए बॉलिंग यूनिट भी हमने कंट्रोल रखा हुआ था इतना टोटल तो होता ही है लेकिन जिस तरह की बैटिंग की है हमारे एज ए बैटिंग यूनिट ने खुश दिल ने तो बड़ा अच्छा ओवरऑल बड़ा अच्छा मैच रहा है कुछ सोच रहे हैं सेमीफाइनल में किससे मुकाबला होगा अभी शोर शॉट नहीं है लेकिन कुछ सोचा है कि इससे होगा इससे नहीं होना चाहिए उससे होना चाहिए देखें जिससे मैच जिससे मर्जी हो सेमीफाइनल तो सेमीफाइनल है उसके बाद फाइनल है कोशिश करेंगे कि सेमीफाइनल में भी अच्छी क्रिकेट खेले माशाल्लाह जिस तरह की परफॉर्मेंस है और जिस तरह की मैनेजमेंट है हमारी हाई मैनेजमेंट है विशाल हमारी टीम की तो वो प्लेयर्स की सारी चीजें पूरी कर रही है तो ओवरऑल अगर देखा जाए तो एज ए प्लेयर यूनिट हमें भी उनको डिलीवर करना चाहिए Or Akman, congratulations and best of luck for the semi-final as well. We'll move on towards the man of the match award, and it's going to go to none other than Khushdil Shah for his 53 runs of just 22 deliveries. Khushdil Shah, come here. First of all, take your momentum and score, please, Mr. Salim Jafar. Se. खुशदिल शाह ने आज ब्लिस्टरिंग नॉक खेला है जी पांच चौके लगाए हैं चार छक्के लगाए हैं इब्ताई मराहल में इनका कैच जरूर छूटा लेकिन उसके बाद मुड़के नहीं देखा और तने तनहा अकेले मैच दूर ले गए खुशदिल प्लीज आइए और अपना मेंटो वसूल कीजिए मिस्टर सलीम जाफर आपको इस मैन ऑफ द मैच का मोमेंटो देंगे साथ साथ आई लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट मिस्टर मोइन खान टू हैंड ओवर द प्लेयर ऑफ द मैच कैश अवार्ड टू खुशदिल शाह वर्थ फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड रुपीज दिस इज इज फर्स्ट फर्स्ट फॉर द टूर्नामेंट खुशदिल ने आज शानदार बैटिंग का मुजाह किया है खुशदिल आइए और हमसे कुछ बातें भी करें खुशदिल हम शुरू से एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे थे कि आप इस किस्म की मैच विनिंग इनिंग्स खेलेंगे आज आपका बल्ला चला इससे पहले भी ऐसा लग रहा था कि आप सेट हो रहे हैं लेकिन एक आध मैच में अनफॉर्चुनेट रहे खुश होंगे आज की परफॉर्मेंस से जी बिल्कुल अल्लाह का शुक्र है काफी खुश हूँ बस यही खुश होती है इधर तकरीबन छह सात साल से मैं इधर ही खेल रहा हूँ इधर मोइन भाई अकेडमी में और उधर जो जितने भी रमजान के टूर्नामेंट इधर होते हैं मैं छह सात साल से इधर ही खेल रहा हूँ और काफी एक्सपीरियंस है इधर का तो बस जो मुझे समझ में आता है की इस बॉलर से रान लेने तो उसपे ही बस फिर ट्राई करता हूँ चले खुश दिल आज आपने खुल के खेला लेट्स होप सेमीफाइनल और फाइनल में भी आप ऐसी परफॉर्मेंस दे अपनी टीम के लिए थैंक यू सो मच इन थैंक यू Right ladies and gentlemen we have one more award to give away we will request Mr Muin Khan chairman tournament committee to present the club souvenir to Mr Salim Jafar former test cricketer This is it from the present ceremony right now we'll take a break after which we'll witness a thrilling match to be played between Tarin Academy and Moment Seeds Moment Seeds have everything to play for we'll take a break here and we'll come back with live action It's into the gap. It's gonna go all the way for four. Taking this time, it is. That has gone for yet another maximum. Exactly what we were talking about. Ali Imran getting the connection. Asan se catch, chhod diya. Four runs hasil karenge. Omar Akmal yahan par. उमर अकमल को बिल आखिर वापस जाना पड़ेगा बहुत ही जबरदस्त कैच किया उसने वाओ
जियो सुपर पे रमजान क्रिकेट का भरपूर मजा भरपूर एनर्जी के साथ भरपूर क्रिकेट जिसमें पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट के सुपर स्टार सरफराज अहमद खुश दिल शाह शान मसूद असद शफीक हैदर अली आजम खान अनवर अली उमर अकमल फहीम अशरफ साइम अयोग मेपल दीप एल टी पट्टी एट कॉर्पोरेट टी ट्वेंटी कप पावर बाय पार्क व्यू सिटी सात से पंद्रह अप्रैल जी एच स्पोर्ट्स क्लब मोइन खान अकेडमी ऐसी बराह रास्त सेफ जियो सुपर पे जीत के जियो उन्नीस सौ इक्यासी का वर्ल्ड सीरीज कप पाकिस्तान ब मुकाबला ऑस्ट्रेलिया मेलबर्न का मैदान पाकिस्तान के कप्तान जावेद मियादाद का टॉस जीत कर पहले फील्डिंग करने का फैसला ऑस्ट्रेलवी टीम के मुकर करदा पचास ओवर में नौ विकटों के नुकसान पर 200 सौ नौ रन किम ह्यूज सड़सठ रन के साथ नुमाया स्कोर पाकिस्तान की जानब ऐसी सिकंदर बख की चार जबकि इमरान खान और सरफराज नवाज की एक एक विकेट पाकिस्तान में मतूबा हदफ उनचास आशारिया दो ओवर में छह विकटों के नुकसान आरोप हासिल कर लिया कप्तान जावेद मियादाद की बहत्तर रन की शानदार इनिंग ऑस्ट्रेलिया की जानब ऐसी ग्रेग चैपल की तीन जबकि टेरी एल्डरमैन की दो विकटें पाकिस्तान की मैच में चार विकटों से पता वनडे क्रिकेट की तारीख में पाकिस्तान की ऑस्ट्रेलिया में ऑस्ट्रेलिया ही के खिलाफ ये पहली फता जियो सुपर पे रमजान क्रिकेट का भरपूर मजा भरपूर एनर्जी के साथ भरपूर क्रिकेट जिसमें पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट के सुपर स्टार सरफराज अहमद खुश दिल शाह शान मसूद असद शफीक हैदर अली आजम खान अनवर अली उमर अकमल फहीम अशरफ साइम अयोग मेपल दीप एल टी पट्टी एट कॉर्पोरेट टी ट्वेंटी कप पावर बाय पार्क व्यू सिटी सात से पंद्रह अप्रैल जी एच स्पोर्ट्स क्लब मोइन खान अकेडमी ऐसी बराह रास्त सेफ जियो सुपर पे जीत के जियो Just having a little flirt outside off stump there. He's missed one or two, but uh, he's got that one away down to third man, and uh, he'll collect three for that shot. No, he won't. He's decided that two will do, and that's through the gap. It wasn't a chance, and it's running down to the long boundary. Mark Taylor is the fieldsman, and so three more to Imran. It's a short ball, beautifully played by Imran. Well, he really got onto that one, and he's pulled that superbly. It didn't get much above chest high. Some pretty good news on you, as Imran gets that through the gully, through for two. It's going to the long boundary. Imran going quickly back to the third. It's a long throw, and he's coming back for the fourth. Fifty for Imran Khan. Great knock by the Pakistan captain. Yes, that's a fantastic uh, effort by Imran Khan in the circumstances. It requires a really top captain's effort here, and so far so good for Imran. Beautifully placed, straight through the middle between Dean Jones and Alan Border. Beautifully placed there by Imran Khan. He hasn't played a lot of attacking shots today. But when he's gone after one, he's obviously been very sure that he can put it away. Wait. Drive, that's down the ground, that's knocked away by Campbell. They're going through for the single, that's a hundred for Imran. Well played, a superb captain's knock. His first hundred against Australia. Six hours and 24 minutes he's been at the crease. As opposed to allowing him to do that. And uh, got that one away and into the gap, all the way along the ground. And a little glance down towards Merv Hughes, who hasn't uh, wasted much time with the glare on that occasion. And that's a very good shot from Imran. He's hit it through the gap, and the ball rolling away down to that very long boundary. And into the fence she goes. 
Well, the gap was left there to uh, tempt the batsman in round to hit down the ground, and that's exactly what he did. फीज ने दो सौ अठारह वनडे मैचेस की दो सौ सोलह इनिंग्स में बत्तीस अशारिया नौ सिफर की औसत ऐसी छह हजार छह सौ चौदह रन बनाए जिसमे अड़तीस फिफ्टीज और ग्यारह सेंचुरी बनाने का एजाज शामिल है इक्यासी का वर्ल्ड सीरीज कप पाकिस्तान का मुकाबला ऑस्ट्रेलिया मेलबर्न का मैदान पाकिस्तान के कप्तान जावेद मियादाद का टॉस जीतकर पहले फील्डिंग करने का फैसला ऑस्ट्रेलिया टीम के मुकर करदा पचास ओवर में नौ विकटों के नुकसान पर 209 सौ नौ रन किम ह्यूज सड़सठ रन के साथ नुमाया स्कोर पाकिस्तान की जानब ऐसी सिकंदर बख्त की चार जबकि इमरान खान और सरफराज नवाज की एक एक विकेट पाकिस्तान ने मकतूबा हदफ उनचास आशारिया दो ओवर में छह विकेटों के नुकसान आरोप हासिल कर लिया कप्तान जावेद मियादाद की बहत्तर रन की शानदार इनिंग ऑस्ट्रेलिया की जानब ऐसी ग्रेग चैपल की तीन जबकि टेरी एल्डरमैन की दो विकेट पाकिस्तान की मैच में चार विकेटों ऐसी पता वनडे क्रिकेट की तारीख में पाकिस्तान की ऑस्ट्रेलिया में ऑस्ट्रेलिया ही के खिलाफ ये पहली फता So Truscothic is gone. This time Murley strikes early on when he's come on to bowl. Took him a long time to separate the England openers at Lords. This time it's only taken him three balls. Truscothic's missed out. Looking to try and cut. There was a bit of extra bounce there. Maybe it was the over spinner. Just a little top edge. Good catch by Sangakara. Good sharp work behind the stumps. Good call. Good call, LBW. What a bit of bowling that is. That's the Nusra from Murli. And Cook had covered up for the normal off spinner, the one that goes away from him. It came back at him, hit him on the pad. In front of the full set, Alim Dar didn't waste a moment. All pitches between wicket and wicket. He's back at him and Iota and he's going on to hit the stumps. Murli the master. That's out. Caught it short leg. There was a little moment there when Collingwood paused to see if he had been given out. But it was straight off the face of the bat, so really he could have had no complaints at all. Ah! Oh, he's hitting it across the line. Yes, he's given it. Took a long time to think about it, did Darrell Hare. And that's right. You want to just make up your mind where the ball pitches as an umpire. I think Kevin Peterson will get a wonderful applause. Out. Yeah. A long hop from Murley and Liam Plunkey hits it straight down mid on his throat. Catch, catch. Yes, yeah. yes, Jones gone. Trying to sweep Murley. Sri Lanka doing exactly what they should polish off his late order. Tail enders at six for Murali. Last Malinga only had one. Ah! That's a sh big shout for LBW, and he's given him out. Well, Murali is your match winner, your great spinner. You've got to bowl him straight away. Even if you can't bowl England out, you've got to give him a chance. And that's the do, sir. That's a good shout. You know, these days, umpires around the world are giving batsmen out playing on the front foot if they can see the line. Well, that could be gone, is gone. Strauss isn't happy. Inside edge on the pad, reckons Alim Dar. Frantic appealing from the Sri Lankans. Oh, it's out. That is out. He's got his mind. Well bowled, Morley. Maybe 
maybe kept a little bit low, but Kevin Peterson didn't read it. Dulcer pitches on, turns, and that's missing leg, missing off, and knocking middle out halfway up. Little thing tickle. Collingwood has to go, so a fourth wicket falls with just five needed. And have a guess who's got them all. Ten wickets in the match now for Mutaya Miralitharan. He must feel like a lone ranger. بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ایک بار پھر آپ کو خوش آمدید کہیں گے ڈی ایچ اے اسپورٹس کلب موئن خان اکیڈمی کرکٹ گراؤنڈ جہاں پہ میپل لیف ایچ ڈی پھڑی ایٹ کارپوریٹ ٹی ٹوئنٹی کپ پاورڈ بائی پاک ویو سٹی کا آج کا دوسرا میچ جی ہاں ترین اکیڈمی اب سے کچھ ہی دیر میں مد مقابل ہوں گے مومن سیڈس سے ابھی ہم آپ کو لیے چلتے ہیں ٹوورڈس دانش انیز ہو از آل ریڈی ود ٹاس الانگ سائڈ ٹو کیپٹنس اینڈ دا میچ ریفری اوور ٹو یو دانش Right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the toss for match number 12 to be played here at DHS Sports Club, Moin Khan Academy. It's going to be played between Tareen Academy and Moment Seeds. It's everything to play for for Moment Seeds. If you win today, then you will win the final for the semi-final. Moment Seeds are doing the captain today, Arsul Sheikh. And when the Tareen Academy is doing the captain, Hassan Khan, along with match referee Iftikhar Ahmed, Hassan Khan is going to be flipping the coin. Arsul will call. Let's get on with it. Heads is the call? It's heads. And it is heads. Arsal, what do you have to do with the bowling? We will do bowling. Bowling will be done with the other team. Did you have to do bowling before the toss? We will try to do it quickly. We will try to do it quickly. And we will try to win the good run rates. We will try to qualify for the captain. Are there any changes in the team? We will rest the first time. We will rest the first time. And we will have two new girls. We will have a chance. Arsal, best of luck for the match. I'd like to call upon Hassan Khan to come here as well. Hassan, you guys have been brilliant throughout the tournament. Today, you have to show a performance of the Tagri performance, hopefully. Yes, absolutely. Inshallah, the goal is that as we have played in the past two matches, we are also going to carry it. Your team has also changed. Today, you have to give a chance to give a chance. Are there any other changes? Yes, we have five changes. Today, our goal is that we have to give our band strength to us. We have to give our chance to give a chance. Because this is a Ramadan tournament. And the goal is that everyone will take experience from this. Hassan Khan, thank you very much. Best of luck for the match as well. Right, you heard it from the center. Arsul Sheikh from Moment Seeds has won the toss and decided to bowl first. Thank you so much, Danish. Uh, and it's surprising to see uh, five changes in Tareen Academy team and two changes on the other side. Both the teams will be having a new captain in this match, this must-win match. And the umpires are now walking down in the ground. For this 12th contest between Momin Seeds and Tareen Academy. Yeah, Asim Alvi and Intiaz Ingpal, the two experienced on-field umpire who are going to be officiating this match number 12. And I was a little surprised when I heard Hassan Khan saying that they have made five changes in their lineup tonight. Yes, they have already qualified for the semi-final, but still you need to be finishing on on a high note. They must be feeling really 
confident because of the performances that they have shown in the first two games. On the other hand, Moment Seeds have a bright opportunity of surprising a very strong side here and qualify for the semi-final. They not only need to win here, but they need to win by a big margin because AO Hospitals also have two victories in this Pool B. And once again, just like Umarak Akmal did in earlier game, it was captain who won the toss and he decided to bowl first. And if you look at the bowling sides, Tareen Academy have made five changes. Nabi Gul, Mohammad Shahzad, Amir Azmat, Shoei Bilal, Humayu Altaf, Ammar Iqbal, Hassan Khan, Daskepa, Junaid Awan, Ahmad Hassan, Faisal Akram and Aminullah. On the other side, uh, Moment Seeds will be playing under the captaincy of Arsal Sheikh. Uh, they include Jawad Bhatti, Taha Mahmood, Alisha, Zishan Khan, Wicket Keeper, Ismail, Saqib Khan, Arbaz Khan, Walid Ahmed, Ubaidullah and Amir Babar. There's an opportunity for Moment Seeds uh, to bowl out the opposition. They've got Ismail Shah playing here tonight with, for them and he's a very strong right-handed batter. He didn't feature in the first two games but he'll have a job to to do in the second innings when Moment Seeds will be chasing down the target. Mohammad Shahzad will be opening the batting yet again for Tareen Academy. He has been sensational throughout this tournament. He's a very good right-handed batter. He's also bowled some medium pacers. And alongside him, it's going to be Nabi Gul at the non-strikers end. People who have just joined us, we would like to tell you that Ishal Associates won the first game of tonight against AC Real Estate and Builders and they have qualified for the semi-finals. Saqib Khan will be taking the new ball. Straight umpire getting ready for the first ball of this last group stage match of Maple Leaf SD Party 8 Corporate T20 tournament here at DHS Sports Club Moin Khan Cricket Academy. Pretty orthodox field this for Saqib Khan, fielder at third man and a fielder at fine leg outside the 30 yard circle and a fielder at first club. So we are all set for the play in this match number 12. Starts off with a wide down the leg side. Not a good sign to start off with a wide ball. It was a pretty surprising to see. We didn't see much movement with the new ball. Even when Ishal Associates bowlers were bowling, Arshad Iqbal and Khurram Shahzad who took the new ball and uh, some spinners. It was the spinners who brought the things back into the favour. And the Khurram Shahzad picked up three wickets towards the end of the innings. This time much better, much more bounce. Shahzad on the other hand has been the aggressor in the opening partnership in the first two games. He scored 30 of just 10 balls in that first game against Neha Fabris when they were chasing just 62 runs. And he also provided some valuable contribution in the next game. So he'll be looking to get up to a good start here so that they can get some practice in the semi-finals tomorrow. Starting down the leg side, picking up a single. So first runs on the bat for Tareen Academy. It has been a complete package. If you look at the performance of Tareen Academy, they have been exceptional with the ball. They have been really good with the bat. And they have been truly remarkable in the field as well. Moment sees on the other hand, have all to play for. They need to win this and they need to win this by a decent margin. The regular skipper Faraz Ahmed is resting, so Arsal Sheikh is going to be leading the troops here in this final group game. And he edged it in short third man area. And a fielder dive to catch, collect the ball. It's a geo super production in the last group stage match. And look at this. A good effort by the fielder there at short third man. That was Ismail Shah who was standing there at back for a point and he'll have a role to play. He has been inducted into the side tonight for moment seeds. He's a very strong right-handed batter, a batter who, can, who they can rely on. Obviously, they made two changes in their playing 11 tonight, moment seeds. On the other hand, if we talk about Tolkien Academy, it's a slightly inexperienced side that they have opted for for tonight's game, but still they are giving chances to the bench strength so that they can unleash their potential. Some adjustments being made 
on the side screen behind the umpire there. We are all set to go. Shot outside the host. I'm just checking his shot in the end. Again, it's Ismail Shah in the action. Another single taken by Shahzad. It's going to be really interesting to see the approach here from Tarina Academy because in the first two games they were chasing down the target. Tonight they have been given the opportunity to bat first. Hopefully they'll be looking to put up a daunting total on the board so that they can defend it in the second innings. Outside edge. Did that carry to the fielder at first lap. It will be worth watching that replay. It was a good delivery, just shaped away from the right-hander after pitching. Now he got that outside edge and we'll have to check the replay whether it carried to that fielder at first lap. I think it did. It definitely did. And here the tournament director Muin Khan and his Begum match enjoy the match. Slightly fuller in length, he was looking to drive that on the onside. Not very well. he, he intended it to go, but he still get a single nevertheless. First over done, it's five without a wicket. जमीन अगर हम पिच की बात करें तो हमने पिछले मैच में भी देखा कि 148 रन्स का हदफ दिया था शाल एसोसिएट्स को उन्होंने पासानी चेस कर लिया कुछ दिल शाह की दुआधार इनिंग्स जिन्होंने सिर्फ 20 गेंदों पे आज 50 रन्स स्कोर किए मुझे लग रहा है आज बॉलर्स को इतनी मदद मिलेगी नहीं या आप कह सकते हैं कि बैटर्स की नीयत आज कुछ एग्रेसिव है आज हमने देखा बैटर्स को काफी हेल्प मिल रहा था जिस तरीके से खुश दिल शाह ने खेला इससे पहले आजान तारिक ने फर्स्ट इनिंग में अच्छा स्कोर बनाया तो खुश दिल शाह माने जाते हैं जाने जाते हैं वो जो आज किया उन्होंने उसी के लिए तो अच्छा लगा उनको देखकर इस निक में और यहाँ पर आमिर बाबर ने ज्वाइन किया है बॉलिंग अटैक मोमिन सीट्स की तरफ से तो जो मैं बात कर रहा था कि खुश दिल काफी टच में नजर आया तो वो अच्छा साइन है उनके पर्सनल गोल्स के लिए भी यकीनी तौर पे वो आगे जो आए कर रहे पाकिस्तान टीम तो वो यहाँ से एक मोमेंटम गेन करके आगे जा सकते हैं जी हाँ इसी साल आगे जाके 50 ओवर फॉर्मेट का वर्ल्ड कप भी खेला जाने वाला है इंडिया में तो उन सिलेक्टर्स की नजरें यकीन मरकूज होंगी उनकी इस परफॉर्मेंस पे एक वे ऑफ साइड पे खेले हैं और एक तेजी के साथ सिंगल लेने में कामयाब हुए हैं यहाँ पे नबी और एक वक्त कैसा था कि दूसरे रन के भी ताकुब में थे लेकिन बर वक्त लॉन्ग ऑन के फील्डर ने आके थ्रो को रोका यहाँ पर अच्छा गाइड किया बॉल को ज्यादा मेहनत नहीं की उस पर और वलीद पॉइंट रीजन से आए और बॉल को थ्रो किया यहाँ पर ओवर थ्रो का रन हो सकता था लेकिन अच्छा बैकअप पे फील्डर आया और उन्होंने गेंद को कलेक्ट किया शहजाद ने यहाँ गार्ड लिया एक बार फिर दूसरे एंड से बैट करेंगे अब आस्तिकी के साथ लॉन्ग ऑन की तरफ खेले हैं और यहाँ शहजाद ने भी आमिर के खिलाफ एक रन लेने में कामयाब हुए काफी दराज करके बैटर है शहजाद तो कोशिश करेंगे कि अपनी हाइट का इस्तेमाल करें कदमों का इस्तेमाल करें और स्पिनर्स को चार्ज करें क्योंकि यही बेहतरीन मौका होता है बैटिंग पावर प्ले में कि आपके पास सिर्फ दो फील्डर्स होते हैं दायरे के बाहर और आप चाहें तो उनके सर के ऊपर से खेल सकते हैं और बाउंड्रीज कलेक्ट कर सकते हैं और यहाँ पर अच्छा गेंद शॉर्ट अपील थी लेकिन यहाँ पर थ्रो समझ नहीं आई कि किस तरीके से किया शायद बॉल हाथ से स्लिप हो गई जिशान ड्यू भी इस वक्त काफी रोल प्ले करता है मैचेस में और यही वजह है हमने देखा कि फील्डर के हाथ से शायद गेंद स्लिप हुआ और थ्रो जो है वो आउट ऑफ रेंज चली गई जी हाँ सिर्फ बॉलर्स के लिए नहीं फील्डर्स के लिए भी काफी मुश्किल हो जाता है बॉल को पकड़ के थ्रो करना और जिस तरह जिस डायरेक्शन में थ्रो आई थी मुझे लग नहीं रहता स्टम्प को टारगेट करना ऐसा लग रहा था अम्पायर को टारगेट कर रहे हैं यहाँ पे फील्डर पिछले कदम जाके खेले हैं और बेटा ऑफ के पास निकालने में कामयाब हुए हैं शहजाद हम इसी चीज की बात करें थे काफी दराज करके बैठे रहे तो अपनी रीच का यूज करेंगे क्रीज का इस्तेमाल किया यहाँ पे और इनिंग्स में ये पहली बाउंड्री हासिल की है बिल्कुल लेंथ को रीड किया बैकफुट पे गए अच्छा पंच किया और मिड ऑफ और एक्स्ट्रा कवर के फील्डर के दरमियान से ये गेंद को निकाला और 
यहाँ पर बाउंड्री हासिल की देखें कितना खूबसूरत शॉट गैप को यूटिलाइज किया और वहां पर देखा कि कोई फील्डर की रेंज से बाहर बॉल जाए और फिर बाउंड्री हासिल हो जी हाँ शॉट की तो तारीफ करनी ही पड़ेगी और साथ साथ पिच के बारे में भी बात करनी पड़ेगी थोड़ी सी स्लो है और इतना टर्न नहीं मिला है बहुत टाइम मिल गया था यहाँ पे शहजाद को आराम से पिछले कदम पे गए और एक छोटा गैप था एक्स्ट्रा कवर और मिड ऑफ के दरमियान और बहुत खूबसूरती से निकालने में कामयाब हुए फिर अच्छा रीड किया गेंद को यहाँ पर अच्छी बैटिंग का मुजाहरा कर रहे हैं शहजाद दो ओवर्स मुकम्मल हुए हैं तरीन एकेडमी तेरह बगैर किसी नुकसान के आप अपनी स्क्रीन पे शहर कराची जो कि रोशनियों का शहर के नाम से जाना जाता है अपने मुलाजा फरमा रहे हैं और इस वक्त हम मौजूद हैं डिफेंस हाउसिंग अथॉरिटी फेज एट जहाँ पे टी एच ए स्पोर्ट्स क्लब मोइन खान अकेडमी में ये मे पलीफ एच डी पोटी एट कॉपरेटी ट्वेंटी कप खेला जा रहा है और ग्राउंड के अतराफ में ही ब्यूटीफुल अपार्टमेंट्स का जाल क्रीक विस्टा के नाम से जाना जाता है और यहाँ पे लोग जो ग्राउंड में नहीं आए वो अपनी बैल्कनी में तो मैच इंजॉय कर ही रहे और यहाँ पर अच्छा गेंद बॉडी को टारगेट किया हुआ था रिप केज में बॉल किया और वहां पर नबी ने उस गेंद को जो है ये देखें आप यहाँ पर उनके साइड बोन पर ये बॉल लगा और यकीनी तौर पे लेग बाई का इशारा किया अंपायर ने यहाँ काफी तेज थी ये गेंद और थोड़ा सा रूम बनाना चाह रहे थे बॉलर ने फॉलो किया उनको बॉडी पे बॉल की और थोड़ी अनोकवर्ड पोजीशन में चले गए थे यहाँ पे शहजाद लेकिन फिर भी एक रन लेने में कामयाब हुए दफा फिर नबी ने स्कूल की जाने के एक और सिंगल हासिल किया तो इतनी बाउंड्रीज हमें देखने को नहीं मिली है सिर्फ अभी तक एक ही बाउंड्री हासिल की है लेकिन अगर आप देखें कि रनिंग बिटवीन द विकेट्स की बात करें तो धनीन अकेडमी की जितनी भी तारीफ की जाए कम है सिर्फ इस मैच में नहीं पिछले दो मैचेस में भी इन्होंने काफी अच्छी रनिंग बिटवीन का विकेट्स का मुजाहरा किया था और जिस तरह की बैटिंग परफॉर्मेंस हमने देखने को मिली है इस टीम से तो काफी मुश्किल होगा जो भी टीम इनसे टकराएगी सेमीफाइनल में और यहाँ पर फाइनल के फील्डर को सर्कल के अंदर बुला लिया गया है और स्क्वायर लेग के फील्डर को बाहर भेजा गया है यहाँ पर मिड ऑफ के फील्डर आकर फील्ड करेंगे और जीशान आपने जैसे बात की तो ऑब्वियसली ये जो अली तरीन एकेडमी है ये पूरा साल इन्होंने इन प्लेयर्स को लुक आफ्टर किया है फॉरेन कोचेस को बुलाकर अपनी एकेडमी में ट्रेन करवाया और उसके बाद फिर इन बेस्ट प्लेयर्स को वो पूरे पाकिस्तान में टूर्नामेंट्स खिलवा खिलाने के लिए लेके जा रहे हैं विच इज़ अ वेरी गुड साइन कि जब आप इतना इन्वेस्ट करते हैं और फिर आप एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं कि आपके प्लेयर्स जाके डिलीवर करें और जब वो डिलीवर करते हैं तो फिर आपको सबसे ज़्यादा मज़ा आता है और आई एम श्योर के अली तरीन वुड बी और यहां पर एज हुआ है बाहरी किनारा और फायदा होगा इस किनारे का नुकसान कुछ भी नहीं होगा क्योंकि नबी को ये किनारे ये एज जो है वो बाउंड्री की सूरत में हासिल हुआ है यहाँ बाउंसर अटैम्प कर रहे थे यहाँ पे और थोड़ी नजरें हट गई थी शॉट से जब नबी पुल मारना चाह रहे थे काफी खुशकिस्मत रहे कि दो गेंद पहले ही फाइनल के फील्डर को दायरे के अंदर बुलाया था और इसी तरह नबी ने भी अपनी इनिंग्स की पेनली बाउंड्री हासिल की महमूद हामिद पी वी आई पी बॉक्स में मौजूद इस मैच से लुफानंदोज होते हुए एक अच्छी गेंद इस दफा पढ़ने के बाद थोड़ा सा बाहर की तरफ सी मूवमेंट मिली यहां साके को और इसी चैनल पे बॉल करानी पड़ेगी हमने देखा है पिछले मैच से आज ज्यादातर फास्ट बॉलर्स उस शॉर्ट पिच एरिया को ये देखें आप उसको टारगेट कर रहे हैं और शायद उसे आज हेल्प मिल रही है बॉलर्स को यहाँ पर खसूसी तौर पर फास्ट बॉलर्स को जी आपने इस पहले की पहली दो गेंदें उन्होंने फुल कला के देख ली कि इतना यहाँ पे स्विंग नहीं मिल रहा तो एक और बड़ा शॉट खेलने का फाइनल के फील्डर के पास मौका है कैच लेने का उन्होंने कैच गिरा बैठे और आप ये अफोर्ड नहीं कर सकते जब आपका बॉलर इतनी जान मारे और वो राइट एरियाज को हिट करे फिर चांस भी क्रिएट हो 
लेकिन आप कैच छोड़ दें तो यकीनी तौर पे वो बहुत ज्यादा फ्रस्ट्रेशन का शिकार होता है आपका बॉलर और ये आप देख सकते हैं कि एक आसान कैच था दो कि वो पीछे की तरफ भाग कर जा रहे थे बट ये कैच अब बा आसानी लिया जा सकता था क्योंकि रेंज में थे बॉल की हमने आज के पहले मैच में भी देखा एजी रियल स्टेट एंड बिल्डर्स के फील्डर्स ने तीन कैचेस दिलाए और काफी महंगे साबित हुए वो क्योंकि विशाल एसोसिएट्स ने कामयाबी हासिल की और हमने देखा पहला कैच गिरा चुके हैं मोमिन सीट्स के फील्डर्स और जैसा कि हम सब कहते हैं कैचेस बिन मैचेस बिल्कुल और यहाँ पर बड़ा शॉट कैच का कॉल है लेकिन लगता यह है कि ये गेंद यकीनी तौर पे बाहर बाउंड्री के चली गई है और यहाँ पर पहला छक्का इस इनिंग का तरीन एकेडमी को और शानदार शॉट खेला है यहाँ पर नबी ने Yeah, once again, it's the spinner who is not getting any assistance so far. It was based on leg stump. Nabi went with that full stroke towards long on. Ismail Shah was standing there at long on, and he, for a moment, he might have thought there was an opportunity for pulling that ball inside the field. But Nabi just got much better timing. This time he goes straight, much flatter, much longer. That has landed outside the stadium. Even Moin Khan and Abu Murak will enjoy that. बिल्कुल ऐसा ही है ये शॉट अब ऐसा लग रहा है कि नबी रुकने वाले नहीं है क्योंकि ये शॉट देखे सीधे बल्ले से खेला आईज ऑन द बॉल और ये बॉल जो है वो क्रिक विस्टा के रोड पर जाके गिरी है और यकीनी तौर पे किसी को भेजना पड़ेगा ये बॉल लाने के लिए तो नबी इस वक्त भरपूर पावर हिटिंग का मुजाहरा करते हुए He has already scored twenty-two of eleven, two maximums to start the over with. Ahmed Babar using that towel just to try the ball. Still no changes in the field. He's at it mid off and a fielder at long gone. Will he go for another one? It's a full toss and he drove it towards long gone for a single. What a start this is for the Reen Academy. Remember, they lost the toss. They were asked to bat first. Now they have an opportunity of putting up a taunting total on the board. And Nabi, well, he has already made his intentions clear. Right then, it's Shahzad back on strike. Well, he's closely monitoring the field. He's looking at the leg side region. There is a big gap between square leg and long gone, and he hits it in that direction. That's a flat one as well. Did that go all the way for six? I think it landed on the boundary ropes on the full. Empires will have to look into it because it looks like there might, might be a chance of a boundary. Maybe the ball hit the ground first. Let's see. Well, a spinner bowling into the parting power play, and he's bowling a full toss. Might have landed on the full there. It's going to be touch and go. Solid connection from Shahzad. There might be a chance of ball hitting the ground just before the boundary cushion. and the third empire will have a close look to this and the decision will be tough for him to take here and it's a boundary yeah you are right muzammil the ball might have made some part of contact there with the ground before it hit the boundary rope but still a desired result nevertheless look at those numbers 17 runs of the over already It's shorter this time. Carved away on the offside. Couldn't find the gap. One thing is for sure, Amir Babar is facing the pump. Again, it was not a good delivery. It was there to be hit. Luckily for him, the fielder got his hand to it.
और यहाँ पर बहुत ही अच्छा तरीका ये स्ट्राइक रोटेशन का तो चार ओवर्स के बाद तरीन अकेडमी थर्टी नाइन फॉर नॉट Thirty nine for none after four overs. Tareen Academy. Previously, it was Ahmed and Shahzad who were opening the batting for them tonight. Nabi Gul has been included into the side, and he has already provided some entertainment. They still have two overs remaining of the batting power play. They are already scoring at almost ten runs in over. Saqib is going to continue with his third over of the spell. Once again, a fielder at fine leg, a fielder at deep square leg, and third man also standing at the boundary ropes. It's a full shot. He hasn't timed it. It's going to land in no man's land yet again. And they are coming back for the second one as well. It was slightly uncomfortable there, Shahzad, when he was looking to pull that away on the onside. He might have been coming down the track as well. Yes, he was a little uncomfortable in pulling that, but luckily for him, mid wicket and low mid on were inside the inner ring, so he got two runs for that. One thing is for sure: the fast bowlers and the spinners are finding it difficult to grip the ball here. All right then. Where will he go next, Shahzad? One. Softly played it on the offside, picks up yet another single, and that has been the highlight of the Reen Academy's performance so far in this tournament. The bowlers, uh, especially fast bowlers, might be having some issues in their run-up, um, that front foot area, because we saw. Picked on his legs, played it fine, and has gone all the way for four yet again. Not good bowling this from Sakib, straying onto the pads to a guy who is already looking in very dangerous mood. It's asking for trouble. Although the fielder at fine leg dived for it, but still ball went out of his reach. Time to go towards Danish, and let's see who he has with him on the sidelines. बहुत शुक्रिया जीशान आपका मैं साइड लाइन पे एक ऐसी शख्सियत के साथ मौजूद हूँ वो एब्सोलूटली लव द गेम ऑफ क्रिकेट दी ओनर ऑफ तरीन अकेडमी मिस्टर अली तरीन अली फर्स्ट अप हाउ प्राउड आर यू ऑफ दीज बॉयज दे बिन सो वेरी गुड मैं तो तारीफें करते नहीं थक रहा हूँ इनकी really well. uh, हमारी कोशिश थी गोइंग इन द टीम हम सोचे थे वसीम uh, भाई के साथ और कोच कि किस तरह की टीम बनानी है कितने बड़े नाम होने चाहिए कितने लोकल प्लेयर्स होने चाहिए तो आई थिंक इन दिसाइड बी गो विदंग टीम एंड यंग कैप्टन सो so, अगर ऐसे ऐसे लेवल पे आप यंग प्लेयर्स को मौका नहीं देंगे कि टीवी पे आके खेलें लाइट्स में आके खेलें प्रॉपर स्टेडियम में खेलें तो कब मिलेगा उनका मौका सो यू फॉर यंग टीम एंड माशा यंगस्टर्स है प्लेड फिनोमिनली आपकी जो अप्रोच है उसमें बड़ी जबरदस्त प्रोग्रेसिव थिंकिंग नजर आती है यू टॉक्ट अबाउट इंक्लूडिंग यंगस्टर्स इन टू द स्कॉड और ऑलमोस्ट गॉट वन दैप बट आज भी आपने पांच नए प्लेयर्स खिलाए बस द लास्ट मैच ऑफ द टूर्नामेंट यू वॉन्टेड सम न्यू फेस इन दीम यू वॉन्टेड टू गिव दम एन अपॉर्चुनिटी दैट्स द राइट वे टू गो so um my team we didn't really have uh, bench players we had a big uh, squad taki hum dekh sake match ke mutabik hum kya kare so in the first two matches it has been slightly different so we went with a different team with more uh, experienced players but we have such young gun uh, players in our on our bench so today two players who i'm really excited about ek hai ahmed hasan left arm fast bowler from south punjab uh, who's from the tape ball world really exciting bowler so very happy to see him today and aminullah aminullah is a young player from swat has not as much exposure but is a gun bowler jaise asanul laya tha na swad se waise aminul la hoga so he's our hidden weapon we want to try him out today we keep talking about this in our shows as well ki is level par tagdi management ek tagda coach hona bahut zaruri hai because he drives all these youngsters and gets the performance that you need out of them mohammed wasim i'm sure has been exceptional for you kaisa raha hai ab tak ka safar unke sath hey getting mohammed wasim uh, as a coach was a big coup for us obviously at domestic level in ramzan tournament mein generally coaches aksar hote nahi hai we have seen a player rely on but what i really wanted because hamara main goal hai ki hum in players ko develop kare तो ये एक्सपोजर देना और फिर एक्सपोजर टू समवन लाइक मोहम्मद वसीम सो फॉर एग्जांपल हर मैच से पहले हमारी टीम मीटिंग होती है 
हम अपोनेंट्स को देखते हैं हम देखते हैं बॉल कहाँ गिरी है कितना बाउंस किस एरिया पे हो रहा है हाउ टू टैकल एवरी सिंगल बैटर हाउ टू प्ले अगेंस्ट एवरी सिंगल बॉलर दिस इज समथिंग जो बाकी हमारे जो लोकल हमारे प्लेयर्स हैं उन्होंने कभी ना सुना है ना एक्सपीरियंस किया है तो इनको ये माहौल देना जो वो पी एस टीम्स का माहौल होता है ना आई थिंक दैट्स ए वेरी बिग थिंग फॉर देर ओन लर्निंग तो इस बिन ह्यूज कू फॉर आस गेटिंग सच ए बिग नेम एज मोहम्मद वसीम एंड ही इज बिन लोगों में ये है कि तरीन अकेडमी के प्लेयर्स से ज्यादातर सदन पंजाब से प्लेयर्स होंगे बट ऐसा नहीं है यू हैव प्लेयर्स फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर पाकिस्तान आपने जिक्र किया स्वाद से प्लेयर हसान खान कराची सो यू हैव प्रेजेंस फ्रॉम ऑल द पार्ट ऑफ पाकिस्तान हाउ इम्पोर्टेंट इज इट टू बी इंक्लूसिव इन यूर सेलेक्टिंग टीम सो हमारी जो अकेडमी भी है इन लोधरा वो इस ओपन अकेडमी सो दर इज नो फीस नो एनी वन कैन कम एंड प्ले तो बिल्कुल तो वी हैव प्लेयर्स फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर प्लेंग इन अकेडमी दूसरा हम क्या करते हैं कि बिसाइड द रेगुलर टीम वी हैव इलीट इलीट कैंप्स तो वी हैव अ फास्ट बॉलिंग कैंप जस्ट डेड विद इन पॉइंट वे अबाउट टू हैव अ बैटिंग कैंप विद जूलियन वुड तो उस टाइम पे ऑल दीज हाई पोटेंशियल प्लेयर्स फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर पाकिस्तान उनको हम इन्वाइट करते हैं सो सम ऑफ द प्लेयर्स हुआ प्लेंग हियर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आमिर अजमत आई थिंक इन माई व्यू शायद अफीदी के बाद सबसे ज्यादा जोर से बॉल को आमिर अजमत ही मारते हैं तो जो हमारा बैटिंग कैंप होगा वो उसमें वो भी आएगा और बाकी जो वो हाई पोटेंशियल लड़के हैं उनको भी हम बुलाएंगे उस कैंप में हमारी कोशिश होती है कि हम लड़कियों भी बुलाएं कैंप्स में तो फास्ट बॉलिंग में लड़कियां भी आई थी बैटिंग में चला जो हाई पोटेंशियल बैटर्स हैं लड़कियां उनको भी बुलाएंगे हम तो हम ओपन ओपन रखते हैं फॉर एवरी और उनमें से ज्यादातर लोग आजकल खेल रहे हैं हमारी टीम में He was mentioning how wonderful job the youngsters are doing in their academy, and not only they are doing a very good job in the nets, but they are performing in this very high-profile tournament. And here, Jawad got a very good reaction. It was funny, but a little bit because they were expecting that the fielder would throw so fast. So you have to take a little bit of care of your players. Don't injure your own players. पिछले कदम पे जाके कट करना चाहते थे लेकिन बॉल सीधा गई फील्डर के हाथ में आखिरी ओवर करा रहे हैं बैटिंग पावर प्ले का यहाँ जवाद और काफी तजुर्बा है जवाद के पास काफी दराज कद के लेग स्पिनर हैं हमने देखा था नबी गुल बिल्कुल भी नहीं बख्श रहे थे आमिर बब्बर को पिछले ओवर में इस दफा फिर स्ट्रेट खेले हैं और फिर बॉल जाएगी बाउंड्री लाइन के बाहर न सिर्फ बाउंड्री लाइन के बाहर बल्कि नबी ने अब इस एरिया को टारगेट किया हुआ है कि उन्होंने हर बॉल ना सिर्फ बाउंड्री लाइन के बाहर बल्कि स्टेडियम के बाहर फेंकनी है तो ये बॉल भी डायरेक्ट रोड पर जाके गिरी है और यहां पर देखें एक बार फिर सीधा बल्ला सीधा शॉट और सेम रिजल्ट ये जवाब को सामने खेला है बिल्कुल आई फील सो सो सॉरी फॉर द कार्स बींग पार्क आउट साइड स्टेडियम ऑन द रोड एनी बॉल कैन कम एंड डैमेज विंड स्क्रीन Nevertheless, wonderful start. This is for Tarin Academy. Fifty up in just five point four overs. Some turn here for the leg spinner. He gave that ball much more rip. If there is anyone who can turn the ball on this track from moment sees, it's Jawad Bhatti. Once again, carving it towards short third man. The throw is at the bowler's end, but they will complete that single very easily. Eight runs coming in that opening over of Jawad after six. It's fifty-six without a wicket. Fifty-six without a wicket after the batting power play. We were expecting Shahzad to be the aggressor in this partnership, but look at the way how Nabi has batted. Thirty-five of just nineteen delivery. The on-field umpire signalling it as the next power play now. They've scored at more than nine runs in over without losing a wicket. It's a bonus for a batting side, especially when you get a start like this. A solid, solid foundation has been laid for the middle order and the lower order to come on. and then on continue with this momentum arsal has now been given the ball starts off with a short delivery and nicely put away on the on side for a single
time for some change in the commentary box. Muzammil has now been replaced by Mr. Ghulam Ali. Thank you and welcome to the commentary box, sir. Shukriya Dishan. اب تک جو صورتحال ہے پاور پلے کے بعد وکٹ نہ گرنے کے ویسے کافی سٹیبل ہے ترین اکیڈمی کی جہاں پہ میں سمجھتا ہوں ایک بڑا ٹوٹل نظر آ رہا ہے اور کافی سیٹل ہیں دونوں بیٹس میں نبی اور شہزاد یہاں سار اب تک ہم نے دیکھا نہیں ہے ٹیمز کو اتنا اچھا استعمال کرتے ہو بیٹنگ پاور پلے کو لیکن جس طرح ترین اکیڈمی نے آج آکے اپنی اپروز ظاہر کی ہے اور اب بھی آپ دیکھیں تو Although fielding restrictions are over, five fielders are outside, but the intention is also quite clear from Nabi and Shahzad. Shukriya Dishan. If we talk about the moment seeds, the toss was given today, and we didn't get a good start, we didn't get a good start, we didn't get a good start. رنز بھی لیگ کیے ہیں اور وکٹس بھی نہیں لینے میں کامیاب ہوئے ہیں ایک دفعہ پھر تھوڑی پیچھے پڑی بھی گئیں جس کو آسانی سے ڈیپ ایڈ وکٹ کے جانب کھیل کے ایک اور رن لینے میں یہاں پہ کامیاب ہوئے ہیں نبی امیس فیلڈ جس کی وجہ سے ایک پارن اچھا لے اور مزید رن لینے کوشش ینگ پلیئرز جن کے لئے ایک اپرشنٹی ہے ٹیلی وائز ہو رہا ہے میچ جہاں پہ اپنے ٹیلنٹ پہ شو کریں اور آگے اپنے کیریر کو یہاں پہ لے جانے میں مدد ہو سکتی ان کے یہ تھوڑا سلو آئے تھے اس کے بعد جو تھرو کیے تو وکٹ کیپر اس کو کریکٹ نہیں کر سکتی جس کے سے ایک رن اور حاصل ہوا جی ہاں ایک لرننگ کرو ہے کیونکہ ٹیلی وائز ہو رہا ہے یہ ٹورنمنٹ اور نہ صرف آپ کو اپنی ٹیم میں بلکہ اپوزیشن سے بھی کافی کچھ سیکھنے کو ملتا ہے یہاں پہ صرف چار رنز دی اپنے پہلے اور میں ارسل نے سات اور سے اختتام پہ بغیر کسی نقصان پہ ساٹھ رنز بنا چکی ہے اب تک ترین اکیڈمی ایک بہت ہی اچھا آغاز یہاں پہ ملا ہے ترین اکیڈمی کو اپنے ٹورنمنٹ کے پہلے دو میچز کامیابی حاصل کی تھی اور آج کے میچ بھی ایسا لگ رہا ہے کہ کافی ٹف ٹائم دینے والے ہیں مومن سیڈز کو یہ مومن سیڈ جہاں پہ کافی ینگ پلیئر نظر آ رہے ہیں اور یہ جواد ہیں جن کا بیسکلی تعلق شہید بے نظر آباد سے ہے اور اچھے آل راؤنڈر ہیں جو کہ لیک سپن کے ساتھ ساتھ اچھی پاور ایٹنگ بیٹنگ بھی کرتے ہیں جی ہاں کافی ویرائیٹیز ہیں جواد کے ساتھ لیک سپن بھی کراتے ہیں ایک اچھا فلپر بھی کرا دیتے ہیں لیکن یہاں پہ ان کو چاہیے کہ دوسرے اینڈ پہ بھی کوئی ایک سا بولر ہو جو ان کے ساتھ دے سکے وہ کوشش کریں گے تھوڑا سے ڈاٹ بول بڑھائیں پریشر کریئٹ کریں اور دوسرے اینڈ سے بھی ایسی نبی تولی بولنگ کی ضرورت ہے کیونکہ جس طریقے سے جس رفتار کے ساتھ یہاں پہ اوپنرز بیٹنگ کر رہے ہیں تو اگر وکٹ جل حاصل نہیں کی تو میچ سے بالکل ہی پہار ہو جائیں گے یہاں پہ اچھا یہ رنز لیا ہے تیزی سے کھیلتے ہوئے اور جواد جو کہ تھوڑا تیز کرتے ہیں بال اور کوشش کرتے ہیں کہ ویدن دیسٹم رکھیں بال کو اس دفعہ رن آؤٹ کی اپرچونٹی کریئٹ کی تھی وکٹ کی پڑھنے لیکن شہزاد بر وقت کریس میں واپس پہنچے کافی ریسپیکٹ بھی دے رہے ہیں یہاں پہ دونوں اوپنرز جواد کو کیونکہ ان کو صلاحیتوں کا اندازہ ہے کہ جواد ایک اچھی بال کر کے آؤٹ بھی کر سکتے ہیں پھر اچھی کین اور تیزی کے ساتھ یہاں پہ ایک رن مکمل کیا شہزاد نے یہ دیکھتے ہو جواد کے گینز تھوڑی سسپن ہو رہی ہے تھوڑا سا لوپ دیا ہے بالوں کو پچھلے دو بالوں میں اور ٹرن کرانی کوئش کی ہے نوملی تھوڑا تیز کرتے ہیں پوش کرتے ہیں ارمی گین کو اور تھوڑی سی شبنم جس کے ویسے گین تھوڑی سی بیٹ ہو رہی ہے گیلی ہو رہی ہے اور لیکن جواد ابھی تک ان کنٹرول ہیں یہ دیکھیں گین سپن ہوئی تھی اور 
धीरे से खेले तो एक दफा बैकफुट पर जाके मिड ऑन की जाने के लिए दो रन लेने की कोशिश और अगर थ्रो यहाँ पे परफेक्ट होती तो मुश्किल हो सकती थी बैट्समैन को और डगआउट से अप्रिसिएशन इस अच्छी रन बिटवीन द विकेट के लिए जी हाँ ना सिर्फ गैप्स में निकाल रहे हैं बल्कि इस बात का भी अंदाजा लगा रहे हैं कि कौन सा फील्डर किस पोजीशन पे मौजूद है और किस फील्डर के अगेंस्ट आपने रन टारगेट करने हैं आपने सही बोला सर अगर थ्रो कुछ बेहतर होती तो शायद रन आउट का मौका हो सकता था विकेट कीपर साइड पे इस दफा फिर स्ट्रेट के लिए है और बॉल जाएगी फिर से बाउंड्री लाइन के बाहर सेटल है इस वक्त और आगे गेंद गिरी हुई फ्लाइट बॉल थी जिसका भरपूर फायदा उठाया है नबी ने जो कि ऐसा कोई भी मौका जहां नहीं होने दे रहे जहां पे उन्हें बाउंड्री हिट करने का मौका मिले आगे गिरी हुई गेंद फ्लाइट बॉल और सीधे बल्ले के साथ फुल फेस ऑफ द बैट छह रन के लिए काफी आगे बॉल गिरी थी और उछाल नहीं मिली थी लेकिन फिर भी काफी लंबा छक्का लगाने में कामयाब हुए हैं आप अपनी स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं कराची जो कि रोशनियों का शहर के नाम से भी जाना जाता है और काफी सिटी ऑफ लाइट्स इज नोन एज कराची एंड वी आर लोकेटेड इन द हार्ट ऑफ द सिटी यकीन जो कराची शहर है एक बहुत बड़ा शहर जहां बहुत सारे ऐसे मैदान हैं प्लेयर्स की खेलने के लिए और एक और बुलंद बाला शॉट लेकिन इस दफा शहजाद की जानब से कदमों का इस्तेमाल विकेट से बाहर आए और लॉन्ग ऑन की जानब हिट किया गो के गेंद इतनी फ्लाइट नहीं थी और लूप भी नहीं था लेकिन बहुत पहले निकल गए थे इस बॉल को प्री प्लान मैं कहूंगा इसको हिट किया है शहजाद ने देखते हुए कि ऑफ स्पिन बॉलिंग को मन ऑन साइड पे बैट्समैन हिट लगाने की कोशिश करते हैं सफा फिर थर्ड मैन की जाने खेल के एक और रन हासिल किया यहाँ पे शहजाद ने और एक काफी मुस्तकम और मजबूत ओपनिंग पार्टनरशिप दोनों बैटर्स की तरफ से अच्छी बॉल थी अरसल की जानब से ये देखते हुए कि फिर बाहर ना निकले थोड़ा सीधा रखा था बॉल को पिछले बॉल को तेज बॉल शॉट हुई और उसको पुल किया है लेकिन फील्डर मौजूद मिड विकेट पे बड़ी जोरदार आवाज आई थी बल्ले से निशान इससे बैट्समैन को भी अच्छा एहसास होता है जो इतनी जोर से उसके बैट से आवाज है मिडल ऑफ द बैट ऑफ साइड पे खेले हैं एक अच्छी फील्डिंग का मुजाह है इस्माइल की तरफ से और यकीनी कुछ रन यहाँ पे बचाए हैं इन्होंने अपनी टीम के लिए 48 पे खेल रहे हैं नबी और हो सकता है कि इसी ओवर में अपने निश्चय मुकम्मल कर लें असल स्क्रीन पे आसिम जो कि अंपायर वो भी आपको नजर आ रहा स्क्रीन पे बड़े पुराने एक्सपीरियंस अंपायर है बहुत ही शॉर्ट बॉल खराब बॉल और ऑफर किया इस बॉल को बाउंड्री हिट करने के लिए और नहीं चुके नबी और इसके साथ ही अपने 50 रन मुकम्मल किए बावन पे खेलते हुए तो अरसल का ये ओवर मिला जुला रहा है ज्यादातर शॉर्ट बॉल की उन्होंने और जिस तरह निशान बात कर रहे थे कराची शहर की लाइट्स की इस वक्त तकरीबन तो मिड नाइट हो रही है और ये लाइट साहब को नजर आ रही है और मोइन खान एकेडमी के तरफ बुलंद बाला इमारत जो कि खूबसूरत दिलकश मंजर पेश करते हुए या सिटी ऑफ लाइट्स कराची नॉट ओनली द बिगेस्ट सिटी इन पाकिस्तान बट आल्सो वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट सिटीज इन द वर्ल्ड इफ यू कंपेयर अदर सिटीज एरिया वाइज एंड द नंबर ऑफ पीपल दैट आर रिजाइडिंग Nabi Gul completed his half century with a boundary in the previous over four maximums and three boundaries in his innings tonight. Five works already for the crowd that have gathered in 
to enjoy this match number 12 of Maple Leaf HD 38 Corporate T20 Cup. This is how he started his innings. A big shot over long on. He especially went after Amir Baba when he struck two back to back sixes. This was the flat hit against the opposition leg spinner Jawad Bhatti. That was a poor delivery down the leg side where he collected a boundary. And that is how he reached his half century then a big goal. Azad has hit boundaries with the straight leg side, full first face of the bat, Shahzad has hit where he has not control of the bat. Nabi, forgive me. And this is a successful batsman who is waiting for his own time. But at this time, the team's position is the same as the batsman. I want to say that the management is the same as the batsman. And they will take a great total. So, a good batsman will take a good batsman from the century Nabi. ان کو فالو کر رہے ہیں شہزاد بھی جنہوں نے پچیس گیندے کھیل کے اکتیس سن سکور کی ہیں تھوڑا سا اب ہم دیکھیں گے شہزاد بھی اپنے گیر چینج کر رہے ہیں جلد جلد اور اگر ڈاٹ بال پرسنٹیج کی بات کی جائیں تو اب تک صرف پندرہ ہی ڈاٹ بالز کھیلے ہیں اور ستائیس سنگلز حاصل کی ہیں تو اس سے آپ کو اندازہ ہوگا کہ بالرز پہ بھی پریشر کافی انہوں نے بڑھائے رکھا ہے اور کیونکہ ڈاٹ بالز نہیں کھیلی ہیں تو सिंगल्स भी लिए हैं और फिर जैसे ही दूसरा बैटर स्ट्राइक पे है तो उन्होंने भी यहाँ पे बाउंड्रीज कले की हैं जी हाँ स्ट्राइक रोटेशन और साथ में बाउंड्रीज की तादाद जो कि दस है पांच छक्के और पांच चौके अब तक लगे हैं नौ और के खेल मुकम्मल होने के बाद अब मजीद हम देखेंगे कि अब बाउंड्रीज की तादाद जो है वो ज्यादा हो जाएगी और इमोइन खान तमाशाइयों के दरमियान और लोग जो के رمضان کرکٹ کو بہت لائک کرتے ہیں اور یہ ولید احمد جو کہ توصیف احمد فارمر ٹیس کرکٹر کی صاحب زادے فرس کلاس پلیئر ولید بڑے زبزست آفیس کنر ہے شورٹ بول ہوئی اور اس کا فائدہ شہزاز اس طرح کسی نیٹ ہو سکے تھوڑا سا یہ نیچے رہی تھی جس کی ویسے مڈل نہ کر سکے تو ولید ایسے موقع پہ آئے ہیں جب دونوں بیٹسمن سیٹ ہیں اور ولید کا ایکسپیرینس یہاں پہ یقیناً ان بیٹسمنوں کے لیے مشکلات پیدا کر سکتا ہے اگر ہم سپنرز کی پرفارمنس کی بات کریں اسپیشلی آج کے میچ میں تو جس لیندھ پہ انہوں نے بال گرائی ہے یا تو بہت پیچھے گرائی ہے ایک ڈیریکٹ ہٹ ہوئی ہے بالرز اینڈ پہ اور دوسرا رن بھی لینے کے لیے بروق کریس میں پہنچ گئے یہاں پہ شہزاد تو ایکس امپائر کی طرف سے اشارہ تھرڈ امپائر کی جانب لیکن جتنا کانفرنٹ اور جتنا مستقیم نظر آ رہے تھے ایسا لگا تھا کہ ورڈ و کریس پر موجود تھے شہزاد دونوں بیٹسمن کے درمیان انڈسٹینڈنگ اب تک جو نظر آئی ہے رننگ بیٹوین دی وکٹ میں اچھی نظر آئی ہے اور یہ اچھی بال تھی جس کو دھیرے سے کھیل کے رن لیا ڈائریکٹ ہٹ اور کمفرٹبلی مجھے ایسا لگتا ہے کہ پہنچ گئے تھے ش اور اس کے بعد ایک اور رن بنا تو یقین یہاں پہ تھرڈ امپائر کے فیصلے کا انتظار جو کہ فیور میں آ سکتا ہے ترین اکیڈمی کے یہاں پہ قد کا بھرپور فائدہ اٹھایا اور بیٹ کو سلائٹ کیا مسٹر جین کی طرف سے اشارہ نوٹ آؤٹ اور ابھی بھی تلاش جاری ہے مومن سیرز کی طرف سے پہلی وکٹ پہلی کامیابی حاصل کرنے کی ہم لیند کی بات کر رہے تھے اگر ہم سپنرز کی اب تک کی پرفارمنس دیکھیں تو یا تو بہت پیچھے بال گرائی ہے یا تو بہت آگے گرائی ہے اور دونوں ہی اس کا خمیازہ بھوکتنا پڑا ہے تھوڑا سا میں اس میں ضرور کہوں گا دشان کے تھوڑا گین گیلی ہونے کی ویسے بیٹ ہونے کی ویسے وہ کنٹرول نہیں کر پا رہے ہیں جو جہاں پہ بال گرانا چاہ رہے ہیں تو یہ تھوڑا سا ڈیس ایڈوانٹیج ہوتا ہے لیکن چونکہ اب نائٹ قدموں کا استعمال اور چھے رن گو کہ بال اتنی خراب نہیں تھی اور کھچی بھی بال تھی لیکن بہت پہلے جیسے کہ پہلے بھی اس سے پہلے ہم نے دیکھا تھا شہزاد بہت پہلے نکل آتے ہیں آف سپنر کی بالنگ پہ اس دفعہ بھی دیکھیں بال کی لیند کو تو کہاں سے نکل کے آئے شہزاد بہت پہلے سے پلان کر لیا تھا کہ اس بال پر انہوں نے ہٹ کرنا ہے تو کافی دور آکے اور اچھا مڈل کیا تو ایک اور چھکا یہاں پہ ترین اکیڈمی کی جانب سے جہاں کہ ہم بات کر رہے تھے کہ مزید اب بانڈیز نظر آئیں گی تو شہزاد اکتالیس سن پہ پہنچتے ہوئے 
इस दफा पुल करने में कामयाब हुए हैं आउट होने का खतरा लेकिन एक दफा फिर बॉल जाएगी एक थप्पा खाने के बाद बाउंड्री लाइन के बाहर इस मैच में अगर सही मानो में अब कम रन पे या रीजनेबल टारगेट पर स्टेट करना है तो फील्डिंग अच्छी करनी पड़ेगी निशान और अपॉर्चुनिटीज जो, जो भी मिल रही है उसको अवेल करना पड़ेगा अदरवाइज एक बहुत बड़ा टोटल मुश्किल कैच था लेकिन क्रिकेट ऐसा खेल है कि बहुत मुश्किल मुश्किल कैच भी होते हैं और थोड़ा सा लगता है कि लेट पिक हुआ बॉल ये जिसकी वजह से टाइमली गेंद तक नहीं पहुंच सके एक और बाउंड्री शहजाद की जानब से के के साथ स्कोर लेके जाने के लिए पहला रन तेजी के साथ निकले थे और दूसरे रन के लिए भी निकल गए हैं यहाँ पे शहजाद और इसी तरह दो रन हासिल किए हैं काफी तारीफ करनी पड़ेगी यहाँ पे शहजाद को क्योंकि जवाब को काफी रिस्पेक्ट दे रहे थे लेकिन जब उन्होंने देखा ऑफ स्पिनर आए हैं तो काफी थोड़ा सा आसान हो जाता है क्योंकि बॉल आपके पैट्स में टर्न हो रही होती है कदमों का भी इस्तेमाल किया बैकफुट पे भी जाके आसानी से रन ले रहे हैं यहाँ और दोनों बैट्समैन की सबसे जो अच्छी बात है न सिर्फ बाउंड्रीज लगा रहे हैं बल्कि स्ट्राइक भी रोटेट कर रहे हैं सौ रन मुकम्मल हुए जबकि एक बॉल बाकी है दसवें ओवर की तो आज एक बड़ा टोटल देखने को मिल सकता है जो लोग भी यहाँ पे मौजूद हैं और टीवी पे देख रहे हैं अच्छा लेट खेले हैं इस बॉल को टूवर्ड्स थर्ड मैन और एक और जिससे बात कर रहा था कि स्ट्राइक रोटेशन वो अच्छी है तो बॉल को गाइड किया और दो रन और हासिल किए तो इस तरह दस ओवर का खेल मुकम्मल हुआ और एक सौ रन बना लिए हैं और कोई विकेट इस वक्त नहीं गिरी है इट्स द ट्वेल्थ मैच द फाइनल ग्रुप मैच ऑफ मेपल लीव एच डी फोर्टी एट कॉपरेट टी ट्वेंटी कप एंड वी आर विटनेसिंग द हाइस्ट ओपनिंग पार्टनरशिप ऑफ द टूर्नामेंट बिटवीन शहजाद एंड नबी Nabi who has already reached his half century and Shahzad just one run away of getting his half century of the tournament. If they can continue to score at this rate, 200 it's definitely on for the Green Academy. On the other hand, Mumin Seeds have absolutely no answer to this onslaught from this opening pair of the Green. Change of hands for Jawad now coming from the squash court end. Nabi who is batting on 52. He has asked the fielder of at deep mid wicket to move much more square. Nicely played, presenting the full face of the bat, hitting it towards long off, picking up yet another single there, Nabi Gul. अच्छी स्ट्रेटजी तो इसके साथ ही शहजाद जो है पचास रन अपने मुकल गए तो एक और निश्चय सेंचुरी अपने पार्टनर के साथ नबी के साथ टॉकिंग अबाउट मोहम्मद शहजाद ही हैज बीन द स्टैंड आउट परफॉर्म ऑफ अतरीन अकेडमी ऑन प्रीवियस टू मैचेस एज वेल ही बैटेड रेडी वेल एंड टुनाइट ही गॉट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू शो हिज क्लास एंड ही इज शोइंग इट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द स्क्रीन अच्छी बॉल और उसको आखिर तक देखा गेंद थोड़ी ड्रिफ्ट हुई थी उसके बाद गेंद स्पिन हुई ये 50 शहजाद की जो कि बैकफुट पंच के जरिए और ये छह रन फुल टॉस गेंद खराब गेंद थी और गेंद थी और ये कदमों का इस्तेमाल इस तरह एक और बाउंड्री काफी कंट्रोल से शॉट खेलते हुए उन्होंने अपने पचास रन मुकम्मल किए वेल प्लेड बोथ बैट्समैन जी हाँ प्रॉपर क्रिकेटिंग स्ट्रोक्स देखने को मिले हमें शहजाद और नबी की जाने से स्लॉग नहीं किए कोई इम्प्रोवाइजेशन नहीं देखी कोई रिवर्स स्वीप नहीं देखा और टोटल कंट्रोल में है यहाँ पे आज के इस मैच में लेकिन निशान जो कुछ अरसे पहले पाकिस्तान इंग्लैंड की टी ट्वेंटी सीरीज हमने देखी उसमें जिस तरह इंग्लैंड के बैट्समैन क्रिकेटिंग शॉट खेलते नजर आए और बहुत ज्यादा इकॉनमी भी खराब की हमारे बॉलर्स की तो अब ये लर्निंग हो रही है लोग देख रहे हैं कि यंग प्लेयर देख रहे हैं कि क्रिकेट अगर आप टी ट्वेंटी भी खेल रहे हैं तो क्रिकेटिंग शॉट अगर आप खेलते हैं तो उसमें ज्यादा कंट्रोल भी होता है और आप क्रिकेटिंग शॉट्स खेल के भी आप दस रन बारह रन चौदह रन हासिल कर सकते हैं ओवर्स में तो ये अच्छा साइन है कि प्लेयर्स लर्न कर रहे हैं 
hitting it flatter down the ground right into the center between Longon and Longo, but he'll pick up a single Nabi and will keep the strike at the start of next over. After 11, it's 107 without loss. बजाहिर जो प्रोजेक्टेड इसको नजर आ रहा है कि अगर मुख्तलिफ फोर्सेस सेरेंस करते हैं तो काफी मुश्किलात हो जाएंगी मोमेंट सीट्स के लिए बैक फुट पे पंच करके एक रन हासिल किया नबीन तो अब तक फुल इन कंट्रोल और थॉर्टी शो करते हुए तरीन एकेडमी के दोनों ओपनर्स और जैसे कि दिशान ने बताया और स्टार्ट्स बता रहे हैं कि हाईएस्ट पार्टनरशिप है इस टूर्नामेंट की ओपनिंग पार्टनरशिप करंट रन रेट जो है 9.73 और यकीन अब ये मजीद ऊपर की तरफ जाएगा क्योंकि तमाम विकटे बाकी हैं अच्छी बॉल और उसको सिंगल में कन्वर्ट किया बैट्समैन ने ये एक अच्छे बैट्समैन की निशानी अगर बॉल अच्छी बॉल करे तो उस बॉल पे भी आपने रन स्कोर करने होते हैं ये और तमाशाई इस वक्त एंजॉय करते हुए और मजीद इनके लिए एंटरटेनमेंट शुरू होने वाली है क्योंकि जो जो ओवर्स आगे जाते रहेंगे तमाशाई एंजॉय करेंगे बाउंड्रीज को फिर यंग आमिर लेफ्ट आर्म स्पिनर कदमों का इस्तेमाल और मिडिल ना कर सके इस बॉल को लेकिन एक रन हासिल के नबी ने जी हाँ सर तारीफ एक और बात की करनी पड़ेगी कि अमूमन हम देते हैं जो यंगस्टर्स होते हैं पर्सनल माइल्स सुन अचीव करने के बाद पचास रन करने के बाद थोड़ा सा रेयर शॉट खेल के आउट भी हो जाते हैं लेकिन यहाँ पे इनको पता है कि इनसे इनकी टीम को इनसे उम्मीदें हैं तो वो एक बड़ी इनिंग्स की तरफ जा रहे हैं थोड़ा तेज बॉल थी कट करने गए लेकिन कनेक्ट नहीं कर सके गेंद थोड़ा सा नीचे भी रही और आगे भी थी मच बेटर ओवर दिस फ्रॉम आमिर बब्बर टू क्लोज टू काट ही वॉज अटक्स एक्सपेंसिव इन दैट फर्स्ट स्पेल वेर ही गेव अवे ट्वेंटी सिक्स रन आमिर बब्बर बैक वेल जस्ट गिवन अवे थ्री सिंगल इस वक्त तक बेहतरीन ओवर Once again playing on the on side towards deep mid wicket and picking up yet another single there Shahzad the better over this from Amir just four runs of it after 12 it's 111 for none Five bowlers have been used so far for moment seeds, and all of them have travelled to journey. Look at those economy rate. All of them going at over seven runs in over. Sakib giving away 22 in his three. Amir giving away 30 in his three. Jawad conceding 24 runs in his three overs. Arsal giving away 17, and Walid was taken to cleaners in that solitary over where he went for 18 runs. Looks like they are running out of bowling options here tonight. Moment seeds, because. So far, the way these two batters have operated, they haven't given any chance. Although there were few half chances that were created, but uh, the fielders just could not pounce on it. And now they are paying the price for it. Bali Demad, who gave away 18 runs in that first over of his, will return to the bowling mark. The crowd, however, have been treated to some magnificent batting. In both the games earlier, they saw Khush Dil Shah getting a half century of just 20 deliveries, where he smacked five maximums, and now both these openers also providing every worth of their money. He has hit that straight. He has hit that flat. Is that going to be taken? Is that going to be the first wicket, or is it? It should be. 
What an effort that is from the fielder at long off. We might have to check the replay again. The decision will be referred upstairs, but to the naked eye, it looked a good presence of mind from the fielder at long off. And if this is a clear catch, then definitely the credit, all the credit goes to the fielder. The way he just used presence of his mind and uh, threw the ball back inside the boundary and then just grabbed it with a dive. So let's have a check. Uh, obviously, third empire will take a look. And decision pending. Came around the get ball much wider outside the off stumps. Shazar just sliced it maybe. He took it. Then he saw the foot were very close to the boundary ropes. He threw it back into the field while he was in the air. I think no part of his body was touching the ground until he just released the ball from his hand and then a great catch and you can clearly see that the foot was inside the boundary so to me it looks a clean catch let's wait for the final call from third empire it was a remarkable effort indeed to have the presence of mind of first throwing the back ball back into the field and then to come back and retake that catch he didn't have any fielder close by who could have completed that catch on his behalf so he knew once he released the ball and went beyond the boundary ropes that he'll have to come back and complete that catch which he did splendid effort what an effort and this effort let this fielder take all the credit from the bowler and third empire is checking to make sure that the decision should be taken on merit and to us Zishan it uh, absolutely looks a clear and clean catch yeah they're just checking that when he completed that catch there was a puff of, puff of dust flying in the air first he took it Then he was throwing it back in the field and he was jumping while doing that. So it's pretty clean up till here. Then he had to stand up again and jump in the air to retake that catch, which he did. I am, in fact, really impressed with the catch. The way he showed a real presence of mind at this stage because when you fell on the ground you just lose your balance but this young guy came back so quickly to grab this ball and decision pending and it's out so the wicket is gone here and Shahzad will have to depart after scoring blistering 54 runs 1-1-1 one, one, one for 1 Tarin Academy Finally, Moment Seeds have managed to break this opening stand. Shahzad, who was initially going after the off spinners, he thought there was an opportunity of collecting yet another maximum. And he timed it well enough, but the credit should be given to the way the fielder completed that catch. Ahmed Azbat is the new batter in, coming into bat at number three. Previously, he was opening the batting for Tarina Academy. That's how Shahzad lost his wicket. Although it was too wide outside the off stump, he still managed to get that much part of bat behind it. And credit should be given to the fielder the way he just released that ball before going beyond the boundary ropes and then completing the catch. Amir also showing his glimpse of the touches. Straight away getting off the mark with that single on the leg side. And it gives so much confidence to the bowler as well when your fielders are supporting you in the field. 
and Nabi is now set to take the responsibility here. Now he has gone a little quiet after getting his half century, Nabi. Cut it down at the point region. A quick single for Nabi. Walid is so far bowling in right areas, just trapping the batters. If you look at uh, the previous wicket, Zishan, so he just bowled outside off stump to Shahzad to let him take risk. This time it's Ahmed who went for a big one and Ahmed Babbar, he just stopped in the end. He could have dived forwards to complete that catch there. There was definitely chance of picking up yet another wicket. You have to make efforts to take such a catches because just a ball ago we saw a brilliant effort at the boundary line and here it could have been another dismissal a big shot down the ground and it's a maximum so amir has joined the party now for tareen academy yeah he was attempting a similar stroke in the previous ball as well this time getting much better connection and when they hit them, they usually stay hit. We haven't seen a small six tonight for Tarin Academy. All of them have almost gone outside the ground. Bilkul, aaj jo hai wo ye jitne bhi batters in Tarin Academy ke wo target kar rahe hain ke ball jo hai wo ground se bahir hi jayegi, andar nahi giregi. Punching it off the back foot again, a misfield there from Dexter Okawa. It's going to be yet another single. A wicket and nine runs in the over from Walid after 13. It's 120 for one. Tarin Academy, look at the projected score. The current run rate is too good. 9.23, they'll have 185 on the scoreboard if they continue scoring with this current rate run rate and if they score 14 per over then they'll get to 218 runs so so far so good for tarin academy who are who have already qualified for the semi-final of this maple leaf ig party 8 corporate t20 tournament here at dha sports club muin khan cricket academy yeah, they have already qualified and things are getting a little difficult now for moment seats to contain the opposition. Remember, they needed to win this game tonight by a decent margin so that they can be the second side to qualify for the semi-finals from Group B. They already know that Umar Associates and Ishal Associates are going to be playing their semi-finals tomorrow. Tarin Academy have already qualified from Group B and the fate of the second team is going to be decided after tonight's game. Is it going to be AO Hospitals? Is it going to be Moment Seats? We'll have to wait for a few overs to find that out. Change of ends yet again for Jawad Bhatti. He's coming on to bowl his final over from the Creek Vista end. Couldn't find his magic tonight, Jawad. He goes big! That is huge. That is a monstrous hit from Ahmed. And yet again, the ball has landed outside the stadium. Yes, as I just said, that Ahmed has also joined the party for Tareen Academy. And after Nabi hitting those sixes out of the ground, Ahmed has now taken that charge and hitting out of the park. In fact, out of the stadium here. Yeah, Amir saying to Shahzad and Nabi, whatever you can do, I can do much more better. That's a brilliant view of capturing where the ball landed and how nicely he struck that. 14 of just 5 deliveries. The Reen Academy players are having dinner in the field tonight. He goes big again. And he goes all the way for six again, Amir. I think the management should deploy a man outside stadium so that he can bring the ball again and again because Amir and Nabi are looking in dangerous mood. 
So fans here are also trying to get outside the stadium and get that ball for the baller again to bowl. Well, there was definitely a guy standing outside the stadium. Now they have sent two extra guys to bring the ball back. Wow, what an innings we are witnessing tonight from these batters. They are in a really dangerous mood here at the Arena Academy. Fielders also waiting for the ball to be brought back into the field. Moment Seeds must have thought that after getting that first wicket of Shahzad, they might try and create some sort of a pressure on the new batter. But look at the way Ahmed has batted so far. Just six deliveries he has faced. We have already seen three maximums from him. And he's not done yet. I won't be surprised if he won't go for a third one. Yes, the momentum is there. And good score is on the scoreboard. So there will be no harm if he goes again. Because he's looking in dangerous form. And the ball disappeared this time. And the umpires have to take a new ball. A used ball. But a, a ball in exchange. All right, so is it going to be three in a row? Yes! It goes for it. And tell you what, that's the hat trick of maximums. Oh my god, that ball might have landed one of the bikers out there. This is some serious hitting here from Amir. He's not going to spare anyone tonight, that is for sure. And you can see here, the fans have jumped outside the stadium because they know the ball will going to come to them. And it is. Look at the strike. Outside stadium once again. And a catch practice for fans standing outside there. Well, they are trying to land one of the ball in one of the balconies of these apartments, I think. He goes again on the leg side. Chance for a fielder. He has oh. dropped it. Oh my goodness, what are we witnessing here tonight from Women's Seas? There was definitely a chance of getting a wicket there, but we have seen yet another drop catch. And the thing is, Zishan, if you leave catches, then you are ball to go outside the fifth ball. क्योंकि ये कैच देख सकते हैं आप आसान कैच था और हाथों में था लेकिन एंड पर कम्युनिकेशन जो बॉल के साथ उनका कनेक्शन था वो टूटा और यहां पर ड्रॉप हो गया ये कैच तो अब मुश्किल है क्योंकि मोमेंटम है आमिर के पास और बड़े शॉट्स लगाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं मुसलसल वेल इट कैन हैपन टू द बेस्ट ऑफ द फील्डर्स एज़ वेल बिकॉज़ ऑफ द सिचुएशन दे आर इन मोमेंट सीट्स एंड द फॉर्म व्हिच इज ऑन डिस्प्ले हियर फ्रॉम द बैटर्स ऑफ तरीन एकेडमी इज अनमैचेबल we have been talking about Khwaja Mohammad Nafi previously as well, but this is some serious talent on display here. Amir will go again, I think. And Jawad bowled it two wide outside the Austin, and he's going to give away yet another extra run. And if you look at his delivery, he bowled faster too. He's too afraid to slide that ball up. A flat hit on the leg side, it's into the gap. The smile. Although he stops it, it's going to be a couple again for Amir. They are definitely running out of options here tonight, Moment Seeds. They have no idea where to ball. One ball still remaining. What an over this has turned out to be for Tarin Academy. 23 runs of it so far. It's a flat one, a flat hit over extra cover. My goodness, that has gone all the way for six again. This one being the best of the lot. Amir, where have you been? 50 comes up for Jawad in four overs. 149 for one after 14. Last but not the least. It was technically sound short. It's a technical sound short and it went straight over the boundary line so it's a maximum for Nabi city of Karachi shining bright 
and chances are very bright for AO Hospitals now to qualify because moment seeds are going down here. Jabbat conceded 53 runs in his spell of four overs. He had 149 for one, six overs still remaining. Oh. It's time for Nabi Gul to hit one out of the ground as well. There is no stopping them tonight. It's raining maximum so far for Tarina Academy. 150 now comes up with another gigantic six on the leg side. बिल्कुल रोकना मुश्किल है नहीं ना मुमकिन लग रहा है यहाँ पर कोई भी बॉलर आ रहा है नबी इस मूड में है कि हर बॉलर को आउट ऑफ़ द पार्क फेंकना है और यहाँ पर एक और शानदार छक्का जिसने 150 रन्स मुकम्मल किए तरीन एकेडमी के और ये शॉट देख सकते हैं नी पर बैंड डाउन हुए और कमाल की कनेक्शन बॉल की � we are witnessing absolute carnage here from Tarin Academy. Dragged his length slightly shorter, hitting it away on the leg side. Nabi getting another single. Amir back on strike. 36 of just 10 deliveries so far. He's in contention of bringing up the fastest half century of this tournament. Already we saw Khush Dil Shah getting one of just 20 deliveries. Well, he has all the time in the world, Amir. He goes for a big one. Has he timed it well enough? You betcha he has. He does not even want to hit a boundary. He's only dealing in sixes so far, Amir. Which is a very good sign at this moment. Look at this shot. Just timed it so perfectly and it went straight over the boundary. And when your team is scoring and having good total on the board, then you eye those records as you talk, Zishan. He's eyeing the fastest 50 here. The bowlers are too afraid of bowling into the line now. They are bowling way outside the off stump. Even Walid can go to his half century in his bowling figures. He goes again. Oh my goodness, where is that landing? That is clearly the longest of the tournament. Amir has absolutely slaughtered this bowling attack of moment seeds. And the management now needs to send some people out there to collect the ball. Because here at the... Look at this shot. It landed in the net area of players. And what a shot. Straight down the ground. And a maximum. He is nearing his 50, that too, fastest of this tournament. Well, Ali Tarin was mentioning it about him. It is a very hard hitter of the cricketing ball. And we are witnessing it tonight. 48 of just 12 deliveries, Amir. Over extra cover. Luckily for the bowling side, the ball just landing inside the field and it's going to be just a single to Amir. Well, talking about the fastest half centuries in T20 tournament, I think Chris Gale and Yuvraj Singh scored of 12 deliveries. He won't be able to break that record, but still a beast of an innings this for Amir. Another expensive over comes to an end after 15. It's 171 for one. To all the people who are living in Creek Vista and watching this match live on their TV screens, please come out of your balconies and enjoy this show being put here by Amir. What a batting performance we have witnessed from Tarin Academy. Both openers getting a half century and Amir just one run away of getting his as well. It's going to be really interesting to see who is going to be bowling against these two batters. If I would have been the fielder, I would have been sitting into the dugout, faking an injury. Any fielder or maybe the bowlers are thinking the same at this moment. The way these two batters are batting, nobody would like to bowl to them. 
He has thir- conceded 30 runs already. Nabi Gul coming down to track, hitting it flat and hitting it. Has that gone all the way for Says? I think it landed before the boundary ropes. But that was some shot as well from Nabi Gul. And a guy making some videos was hit by the ball. He must take him aside, otherwise he'll have some injuries here because these two batters are not, look at him, on his toes. And he must be dangerous. feeling pain here. It hit his shin. Get away from the line of that ball, sir. But these batters are in a really dangerous mood here tonight. Even Ahmed Babbar is under the pump now. They are clearly running out of options, moment seats. All the fielders are just standing still. Looking ball everywhere. Ball just bounced before hitting that rope. It just bounced and it's a boundary. Yes. So Nabi is on 69. Playing it off the back foot, picking up yet another single. Even the fielders inside the inner ring are now standing at the edge of the ring. So now Amir is on strike. 49 of just 13 deliveries. This young lad has not only impressed us, but has impressed even the cricketers, the former cricketers that are out here enjoying this innings from him tonight. We didn't expect that. A misfield. A single to Amir. And 50 off for this young right-handed batter. The dugout really enjoyed it. Yes, you can raise your bat to the dugout, sir. You have played a marvelous innings tonight. 50 of just 14 deliveries. The fastest of this Maple Leaf HD Party 8 corporate T20 Cup. And guess what? He hasn't hit any boundary. Seven maximums. Look at that strike rate. Striking at almost 360 runs per 100 balls. He was not even looking at the ball. His partner called him for that single. Nabi Gul goes downtown. And he goes out of the ground. My goodness. Sixes are raining here. It's a rain of sixes. And Nabi and Amir are leading the charge here. They are not letting bowlers take a sigh of relief here. Every ball is bold and it is sailed over the boundary here one thing is for sure the other teams will be looking at this performance very closely on their screens they're going to be facing them in the semi-final oh my goodness oh my lord someone please throw the bat ball back oh it has landed on the roof still a maximum nevertheless Look at that partnership, 78 runs of just 22 balls. We are running out of words here to describe how magnificently these two are batting at the moment. And this is exceptional shot. Maybe the ball wasn't entrusted going outside because too often it was landed outside the stadium. So this time the ball was just stopped by this roof. They were 102 for none after 10 overs. In the next six, they have managed to score 87 runs, these two batters. Shows how much demolition work they have done to the opposition. 16 done. It's 190 for one. And it's a balling card of uh, Mormon seats. Walid has so far taken just a wicket. Otherwise, all the ballers went for plenty of runs. The most runs Jawad com- conceded in his four overs. 53 runs, an economy of 13.25. So, so far, expensive all-over balling attack of Mormon seats. Well, four overs remaining. Arsal have two left. Saqib has an over remaining as well. I still believe a fast bowler needs to be bowling at this stage because they are taking the spinners to cleaners. Another spinner has been introduced. It's Arbaz. Starts off with a shorter delivery down the leg side. Easy picking this for Nabi. He's very close of getting this first century of this tournament. Just 13 runs away now, Nabi. 
And what a performance this has been. His owner must be happy about him. He invested a lot in these cricketers. Let's have a look at this replay. A short delivery. He picked up it so quickly and just guided it towards fine lag. Arbaz Khan is bowling. Much better. It's a very rare sight that they have denied a single, these batters. Talking about the highest individual score, it was Mohamed Faik who scored brilliant 89 in their first game. Official Associates. Oh, he went for another big one. Some extra bounce here for the leg spinner. Dot balls are a rarity in this partnership. I won't be surprised he might go for another one there, Nabi. Much better line, much better length. Pulling it flatter, just a little wider outside the off stump. After watching too much fireworks, Arbaz is seem to have he's bowling too good at this stage, conceding a boundary of his first ball, then two dots and a single. So, so far at this stage, the way they are playing, it's good. Okay, so the focus now shifts back on armor. 50 of 14 deliveries. Catch! Ashir, Chance for a field at a deep mid wicket and that has been taken oh, finally. Oh, it's Asher who has taken that catch to get rid of armor. But what an outstanding knock we have just witnessed. Not only he'll be congratulated by his teammates into the dugout, but by the opposition players as well. This has been a marvelous, marvelous knock from the big right-hander. He was trying to hit it over the boundary again, but uh, a straight catch in the hands of the fielder there at mid-wicket. So, Amir Azmat departs after 50 of 15 balls. Tareen Academy are 195 for two. And Zishan, uh, credit goes to Muhammad Wasim as well, the way he grouped this young lord and just uh, the way they uh, made five cha changes today, progressive mindset, and it really worked for them so far in batting. Yeah, he was always known for giving chances to the youngsters. Shuey Bilal has now replaced Amir coming into bat at number four. It was shorter in length. He was looking for another big hit. But again, he was looking to hit that towards the longest side of the ground and Asher Ali taking that catch at deep mid wicket. Even during his days when he was the chief selector, Mohammad Wasim, he was giving chances to the youngsters based on the performances during, on the, in the domestic circuit. Yes, you are right. He has given... Uh, in fact, in his tenure, a lot of cricketers made debut in test and all the formats, in fact. Full toss on offer. Chance for long gone. It has landed in front of him. Straight away getting off the mark with that single from Shoaib. It was a full toss. He could have hit that anywhere. But since it was the first ball that he was facing, just couldn't find the middle of his bat and the ball clearly landing in front of long gone. A much better over. A very good over this from Arbaz. Just six runs and a big wicket of armor in it. After 17, it's 196 for two. Three overs left here, 196 for two. It looks like that a, a huge total will be put on today in the last group stage match of the eight corporate T20 tournament. What do you predict, Zishan, here? What would be the score? Well, 225 is definitely on. Because Nabi is still out there. And just as we predicted, Saqib has now been introduced into the bowling attack. But he's going to be bowling the 18th over. There will be still two overs remaining after this one. I won't be surprised if both these batters will just look to play out this over from Saqib. And to go hard at the bowlers in the next two overs. 
because they've already got so many runs on the board 196 it's the highest team total so far in this tournament and they are not done yet they still have 18 legitimate balls remaining to do some more damage and the ball has been changed once again and Shoaib is taking guard Shoaib there marking his guard as you can see from the stump camera Midoff is inside to the left-hander and he slaps it straight to him Amir Babar standing there throwing it at the bowler's end but it was struck so nicely there from Shoaib previously we have seen that the new batter comes in he finds it difficult to time the ball but Shoaib has already middled the two balls that he has faced a little left to that fielder at Midoff and that would have run away for four as well Yes, it is just because the coach might have told them that just go and bang because the confidence is high and Nabi is playing there, so there is no pressure on him. Right down the leg side. And they gather an extra run as well, although the wicketkeeper was able to hit the stumps directly. The decision has already been referred to the third umpire. Nabi, although he looks pretty convinced that he made it in the end. What a boarding, batting performance we have witnessed tonight from Tanin Academy. They lost the toss. They were asked to bat first. We have seen previously in this tournament as well. Batting has not been that easy. But the way they have batted, the intent that they have shown, they have taken moments out of this game already. It was a good throw, hitting the top up off. But by that time, the batter was well inside the crease. It was an easy decision for PV Empire. Oh, good good ball ball here. Nicely dug out. Another single taken by Shoaib. So 200 up in just 17.2 overs. We haven't seen that so far in this tournament. They still have 16 balls remaining. I can still see 25 or 30 more runs, Muzammil. Yes, it looks like more than that if Nabi continues to hit some big shots here. They might go to 230, 240 here. Chips is on the leg side. The shot is for two, running the first one hard. Again, the ball has gone into the gap between Nongon and deep in wicket. Another couple. Nabi now moves into the 90s. It is the highest individual score in this Maple Leaf HD Putty 8 Corporate T20 Cup, surpassing that 89 of Mohammed Faik that he scored against Barrington Crescent Group. Official Associates. Kudos to him, the way he batted tonight. Again, just hitting it on the onside. Again, running the first one hard. Some work to do by the fielder at long on. Ahmed Babbar. Clearly a little too late. He has batted for 48 deliveries. He has scored so many boundaries and maximums. Still, he is running so well between the wickets. Yes, he got not only big shots, but stamina too. Because when you have played 48 balls and scored 92 runs remain there throughout and the way he's running is too good shorter in length pulling it away this time straight to that fielder at deep square leg another single and if you talk about their batting performance in the previous over they were collecting bad boundaries and maximums at will this time they haven't collected any boundaries yet they have managed to score nine runs in this over That too without taking any unnecessary risk. We'll be looking to see out this final ball from Sakib and then continue with their onslaught in the next two overs. Slightly short and hitting it straight back past the bowler. Some aggression there from Sakib, but he has clearly been the standout bowler for moment seeds. Just gave away 31 runs in his spell of four overs. Unfortunately, couldn't pick up a wicket. But he's done for tonight. After 18, it's 205 for two.
Just seven runs needed in Nabi's century. In fact, first century of this tournament. And Shoaib, on the other hand, will look to give much-needed support to Nabi to get to hit that milestone. Tareen Academy will be looking to score something around 230-240 from here on. Rabaz is continuing with his second over. Once again, another big hit attempted by Nabi. He missed out. He's disappointed that he could not hit that ball for a big six. It was Arbaz who picked up that big wicket of Amr in that previous over of his when Amr was looking to go for yet another maximum, but ending up giving a catch towards the fielder at deep mid-wicket. This is what T20 cricket is all about. Entertainment, boundaries, maximums. It's Swave who has decided to come down the track, but hitting it all along the carpet towards long on. And it's a good thing Shoaib is doing so far. He's giving the strike back to Nabi so that he can achieve those magical three figures. He didn't play for the first two games, Nabi Gul. Um, at least he didn't bat. It's his first opportunity to showcase his talent here. My, my, my God, what an innings he has played. Full toss on off stump, hitting it straight to the fielder at extra cover. A top ball. And the loose delivery here, Nabi. He couldn't connect it. Otherwise, it could have gone for another maximum here. Hitting it straight down the ground. The ball has disturbed the stumps at the bowler's end. But I don't think Arbaz got any part of his fingers behind it. Otherwise, he would have been appealing for a run out. was firmly struck had that gone a little right to the stumps it would have definitely gone for a boundary but stumps proving to be the 12th fielder for women's seeds Once again, playing it on his pads running the first one hard he's not going to come back for the second one he's getting a little agitated now Nabi He's waiting for that big hit. He wants to reach those century with that big six. It's the last ball of the over coming up. Another very good over from Arbaz. Just three singles of it. Shoei will definitely try to go big so that Nabi will be on strike at the start of next over. Coming oh, down the track too wide. यहां पर बाहर निकल के खेलने की कोशिश की थी अनफॉर्चूनेटली बॉल बहुत दूर तक कीपर की रेंज से अदरवाइज यहां पर स्टंप हो जाते लाइन से थोड़ा सा बाहर गेंद करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं आई डोंट नो क्या ट्राई करना चाह रहे हैं यहां पर बट वाइट बॉल स्टेज पे मजीद हर्ट करेगी आपको यस इंडीड इट्स टाइम टुवर्ड्स द अदर साइड ऑफ द बैरा Although there was an opportunity of collecting a single on the overthrow, but they decided not to get one because this is definitely a plan to keep Nabi on strike at the start of next over. One ball still remaining in this over from Arbaz. Overall, it has been a good spell, you can say. Sweeping it on the legs. It's into the gap. They will definitely come back for the second run, and yes, they do. So seven runs coming in this over from Arbaz. 19 done. It's 212 for two. To all our viewers who are watching this telecast live on the Pakistan's first sports channel, Geo Super, must have enjoyed 
this batting performance from Tarin Academy. Three top order batters getting to their half centuries. In fact, Nabi is now closing on to get his century, which will be the first of this Maple Leaf HD Putty 8 Corporate T20 Cup, powered by Parkview City. A spinner bowling the final over in a T20 game. That can prove to be really dangerous. Walid, who has given away 49 runs so far in his three overs, will be bowling against Nabi Gul, who is just five runs short of getting his century. A big shot attempted on the leg side. It's flat. Is it long enough? It is! What an innings he has played tonight. Nabi Gul can raise his bat to the dugout. This has been a special knock. And what better way to get to your magical three figures. A big hit on the leg side. This is a champion's knock from Nabi Gul. Eight maximums and five boundaries. 101 of just 54 deliveries tonight, Muzammil. Absolutely phenomenal knock here played by Nabi. And all the applause for him. It's a full toss. He goes for another one. He might be hold out, but we'll have to check. In fact, that has been dropped. This is the second time Ismail has dropped a catch here tonight. And the umpire will definitely check the length of that ball. That might have been a waste high no ball. And if it is, it's going to be a free hit. It's not helping the cause here of moment seeds. Six conceded of very first ball and now almost a waste high no ball maybe. Touch and go. We'll have to wait for the third umpire's decision. I believe he was pretty back inside his crease. He was not charging towards the ball. And by the time the bat made contact with the ball, the ball was clearly over the waistline. Another bowler getting to his half century. And it has been termed as a legal ball by the third umpire. Coming down the track, hitting it straight as an arrow, pass the bowler, four! He's not done yet. He will go after every single ball in this final over. This is a special, special knock, this from Nabi Gul. And with this knock, dying are the hopes of moment seeds to qualify for the semi-final. Over extra cover. Just one feeler down there, but the boundary ropes. And he does well. But still two runs taken. This is an exhibition of power hitting by Nabi Gul. 14 runs of this over already. Look at those figures from Walid. He has conceded 63 runs tonight. He was looking to go over extra cover. Just played it square enough and far enough from that field at a deep cover to earn himself another couple. So two balls still remaining. Two events still remaining in this batting performance of Tarin Academy. The umpires are still checking whether the fielder made any contact with the boundary ropes while he was looking to pull the ball back. I think he's happy with the effort from that fielder. Just a couple. It has gone high up in the air. He hasn't timed it. Is that going to be taken? Might have landed in front of the fielder or it might go down as a drop chance. But that has been the story for moment seeds tonight even when the ball have come in their direction they have not been able to pounce on it Nabi Gul was again looking to go downtown not getting proper connection this time the long off fielder although he dived forward tried his level best full marks for the effort though but it's these sort of chances that should you should take at this level final ball it's a big hit long gone takes it Amir Babbar took that catch, but there's no point of celebrating here tonight. 
This has been a remarkable batting performance from Tarin Academy. Nabi will finish off on 111 of 59 deliveries here tonight. That was some innings. The intent was still there to go for another big shot. And he was looking to hit that towards the longest side of the ground. And this time, Amir Babbar finally managing to take that catch. Nabi Gul. It's his first batting performance in this tournament and how well he has batted. How well he has utilized this opportunity to showcase his talent, to showcase what he's built of, what he's capable of. Tareen Academy finishing on 228 for the loss of three wickets in their allotted 20 overs. Remember, they made five changes in their playing 11 for this game. And what a marvelous batting performance we have just witnessed. Shoulders are already down for moment seeds. No one was expecting them to win the toss, deciding to bowl first and then conceding 228 runs. Mohammed, Mohammed Wasim and Ali Khan Tarin must be really happy with the effort. That's how they started. Shahzad getting the first boundary of the innings on the offside. Nabi Gul getting a leading edge when he was looking to pull that ball away. Another big hit over long gone and that was the story of the innings they were not even dealing in boundaries they were looking to get as many maximums as possible Jawad was taken to cleaners he went past 50 runs in a spell of four overs even Walid was very expensive even Shazad got his half century he has been a regular performer for Tarina Academy throughout this tournament that's how Shazad lost his wicket going for another big one but a very good catch down there at long off Good reflexes, good presence of mind. But after he went, it was Amir's show at number three. And he didn't bother hitting any boundaries. He hit seven maximums in his 50 of just 14 deliveries. And Ali Tareen was pretty right about his observation. He can hit the ball as hard as anyone can ever do. And once he hit that, he didn't even bother looking at it. 50 of just 14 deliveries tonight for Amir. He was looking for another big one. This time, Asher at the mid-wicket completing that catch. But things did not stop there. It was Nabi Gul who then went on and completed his half-century and then lost his wicket at the final ball. Time to go towards Hena who is there on the sidelines. Yes, I have with me Amir Azmat, better of Tareen Academy, who has fastest 50 score in just 14 balls. Amir, first of all, tell me what you were eating. What was your plan? You were going to throw balls out of the way, the balls were going to get less. How did you feel your performance? In the name of Allah, first of all, I would like to thank Allah for their support. And the thing is, the people who eat the food in the food, they were going to eat the food in the food. وہی کہا کے آئے تھے اور بس اللہ نے عزت دی ہے جو ٹیم کا پلان تھا پہلے سے پلان کیا تھا کہ دو سو رنز کرنے دو سو سے بہو رنز کرنے تو اس کے پلان کے مطابق جا کے وہاں پہ اپلائی کیا تو اللہ نے عزت دی ہے الحمدللہ آپ نے فاسٹس ففٹی تو سکور کر لیا ہے لیکن اس وقت پچھ پر آپ کی کیا تھوٹس آ رہے تھے کہ آخر سنچری کرنے کا ارادہ تھا آؤٹ ہو گئے کیسا فیل ہوا پہلے سے تو ایسا کوئی ارادہ نہیں تھا جو ٹیم کا مومنٹم چل رہا تھا تو میں نے اندر سے سوچا تھا کہ میں جا کے اپنا مطلب جو نیچرل گیم ہے میرا تو وہی کرنا ہے اور ادھر جا کے مجھے مطلب اچھی فیلنگ آ رہی تھی تو اللہ تعالی نے عزت دی الحمدللہ اچھا ہوا ہے absolutely بہت اچھی پرفارمنس ہے آپ کے ساتھ جو دیگر بیٹرز تھے انہوں نے بھی اچھی پرفارمنس ہے لیکن یہ بتائیے کہ throughout اب تک جتنے بھی matches ہوئے ہیں کیا فیل کر رہے ہیں کس طرح کی پرفارمنسز آپ کی پوری ٹیم overall دے رہی ہے اور اب جو اب defend کرنے کا موقع ہے تو کیا لگتے ٹیم کس طرح پرفارم کریں جی بالکل پہلے میچز میں ہم نے پہلے بولنگ کی تھی تو اس طرح کا موقع نہیں ملا تھا بیٹس مینوں کو کہ کھل کے کھلے مطلب وہ اس سیچویشن کے حساب سے کھل رہے تھے اور آج جو ہماری پہلی بیٹنگ آئی ہے تو ہم نے مطلب پلین کیا تھا کہ دو سو کرنے ہیں تو اس کے مطابق اندر جا کے کھلے اور ٹیم کا محول اتنا اچھا ہے کہ مطلب پھر پلیئر سے پرفارمنس ہو ہی جاتی ہے تو الحمدللہ اچھا ہوا ہے Well, thank you so much. Our with us, Amir Azmat, who has scored the fastest 50 and now the highest total of their team. Back to the comment box. Thank you so much, Hena. Yes, indeed. This was a remarkable batting performance from Amir. Getting his half century in 1415 Enjoying the feast. Shahzad getting a half century tonight. Nabi getting a century, the first of this tournament. And what are the innings we missed 
witness from Amir. 50 of just 14 balls. Not much to talk about if you look at the bowling effort. Sake was the pick of the bowlers. Couldn't pick up a wicket but just went for 31 runs. Amir going for 49. Jawad going for 53. Walid giving away 65 runs in a spell of two overs. Although he picked up two wickets. And I don't think that will matter. So the target for Momin sees when they will come out to bat in this run chase. They will have to chase down 229 runs to keep their hopes alive for qualifying in the semi-finals. We will take a short commercial break and after that, we will be right back with this run chase of this match number 12 of Maple Leaf HD Putty 8 Corporate T20 Cup powered by Parkview City. Fine leg dive for it, but still ball went out of his reach. And he goes out of the ground. Jio Super Pay, Ramzan Cricket Cup, Bharpur Maza, Bharpur Energy Kisat, Bharpur Cricket, Jisme Pakistan Cricket Ke Superstars, Sir Faraz Ahmad, Khush Dil Shah, Shan Masood, Asad Shafiq, Heather Ali, Azam Khan, Anwar Ali, Omar Akmal, Fahim Ashraf, Saim Ayub, Maple Leaf LT Patti 8 Corporate T20 Cup, Powered by Parkview City, Saas Se 15 April, GHS Sports Club, Moin Khan Academy Se Parahe Rast, Safe Geo Super Pay, Jeet Ke Geo. Unmiss Soi Kiasi Ka World Series Cup, Pakistan Ba Mukhabla Australia, Melbourne Ka Maidan. पाकिस्तान के कप्तान जावेद नियादात का टॉस जीत कर पहले फील्डिंग करने का फैसला ऑस्ट्रेलवी टीम के मुकर्र करदा 50 ओवर्स में 9 विकेटों के नुकसान पर 209 रन्स किम ह्यूज 67 रन्स के साथ नुमाया स्कोरर पाकिस्तान की जानिब से सिकंदर बक की 4 जबकि इमरान खान और सरफराज नवाज की एक एक विकेट पाकिस्तान ने मतलूबा हदफ 49.2 ओवर्स में 6 विकेटों के नुकसान पर हासिल कर लिया कप्तान जावेद मियादात की 72 रन्स की शानदार इनिंग्स ऑस्ट्रेलिया की जानिब से ग्रेग चैपल की 3 जबकि टेरी एल्डरमैन की 2 विकेटें पाकिस्तान की मैच में 4 विकेटों से फतह वनडे क्रिकेट की तारीख में पाकिस्तान की ऑस्ट्रेलिया में ऑस्ट्रेलिया ही के खिलाफ ये पहली फतह थी जियो सुपर पे रमजान क्रिकेट का भरपूर मजा भरपूर एनर्जी के साथ भरपूर क्रिकेट जिसमें पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट के सुपरस्टार्स सरफराज अहमद, खुश दिल शाह, शान मसूद, असद शफीक, हैदर अली, आज़म खान, अनवर अली, उमर अकमल, फहीम अशरफ, साइम अयूब, मेपल लीप एसडीपट्टी एट कॉर्पोरेट सी ट्वेंटी का, पावर्ड बाय पार्क व्यू सिटी, सात से पंद्रह अप्रैल, जीएच स्पोर्ट्स क्लब, मोइन खान एकेडमी Just having a little flirt outside off stump there. He's missed one or two, but uh, he's got that one away down to third man. And uh, he'll collect three 
for that shot. No, he won't. He's decided that two will do. And that's through the gap. It wasn't a chance, and it's running down to the long boundary. Mark Taylor is the fieldsman. And so three more to Imran. It's a short ball, beautifully played by Imran. Well, he really got onto that one, and he's pulled that superbly. It didn't get much above chest high. It's a pity he didn't use it on you, as Imran gets that through the gully. Three for two. It's a going to the long boundary. Imran going quickly back to the third. It's a long throw, and he's coming back for the fourth. 50 for Imran Khan. Great knock by the Pakistan captain. Yes, that's a fantastic uh, effort by Imran Khan in the circumstances. It requires a really top captain's effort here. And so far, so good for Imran. Beautifully placed. Straight through the middle between Dean Jones and Alan Border. Beautifully placed there by Imran Khan. He hasn't played a lot of attacking shots today. But when he's gone after one, he's obviously been very sure that he can put it away. Wait. Drive, that's down the ground, that's knocked away by Campbell. They're going through for the single, that's a hunter for Imran. Well played, a superb captain's knock. His first hundred against Australia. Six hours and 24 minutes he's been at the crease. As opposed to allowing him to do that. And uh, got that one away and into the gap all the way along the ground. And a little glance down towards Merv Hughes, who hasn't uh, wasted much time with the glare on that occasion. And that's a very good shot from Imran. He's hit it through the gap and the ball rolling away down to that very long boundary. And into the fence she goes. Well, the gap was left there to uh, tempt the batsman in line to hit down the ground, and that's exactly what he did. हफीज ने 218 वनडे मैचेस की 216 इनिंग्स में 32.9 सिफर की औसत से 6,614 रन्स बनाए, जिसमें 38 फिफ्टीज और 11 सेंचुरीज बनाने का एजाज शामिल है। का वर्ल्ड सीरीज कप पाकिस्तान का मुकाबला ऑस्ट्रेलिया मेलबर्न का मैदान पाकिस्तान के कप्तान जावेद नियादात का टॉस जीत कर पहले फील्डिंग करने का फैसला ऑस्ट्रेलिया टीम के मुकर्रर करदा 50 ओवर्स में 9 विकेटों के नुकसान पर 209 रन्स किम ह्यूज 67 रन्स के साथ नुमाया स्कोरर पाकिस्तान की जानिब से सिकंदर बक की 4 जबकि इमरान खान और सरफराज नवाज की एक एक विकेट पाकिस्तान ने मतलूबा हदफ 49.2 ओवर्स में 6 विकेटों के नुकसान पर हासिल कर लिया कप्तान जावेद मियादाद की 72 रन्स की शानदार इनिंग्स ऑस्ट्रेलिया की जानिब से ग्रेग चैपल की 3 जबकि टेरी एल्डरमैन की 2 विकेट पाकिस्तान की मैच में 4 विकेटों से फतह वनडे क्रिकेट की तारीख में पाकिस्तान की ऑस्ट्रेलिया में ऑस्ट्रेलिया ही के खिलाफ ये पहली फतह थी Welcome back to this run chase of this match number 12 and the final game of the group stages of Maple Leaf HD 38 Corporate T20 Cup powered by Parkview City. We just witnessed a magnificent batting performance from Tareen Academy where they bundled 228 runs for the loss of just 3 wickets in their allotted 20 overs and things are not looking good for moment seeds. Because not only they need to win this but they also need to win this by a decent margin. 
I don't know if you guys have seen The Gladiator and if you remember Maximus saying, Are you entertained? <laughs> I thought at one point Amir Azmat would be saying that because he literally played like a gladiator today. Came all out and thrashed the ball. He played a blistering knock of 50 runs of just 14 deliveries. That was so, so very special, Zishan. Tareen Academy Management unleashing the beast just at the right time. That is the equation. It doesn't look that simpler, but the moment series will be needing 229 runs to win in their allotted 20 overs. Now, what do you do as a basic batting side when you have 229 runs to chase? You come out and you go crazy. You do not look to settle in. You just start off and try to carry on the momentum that the previous batting lineup displayed. This is exactly what the coach must have communicated with these two openers that if the opposition can get it, so can we. All we need to show is the intent here. Just take the pitch out of the equation. Go with your natural game and just try and chase it down. No matter what happens in the end, at least put up a fight back. Arbaz Khan is going to be opening the batting for a moment's seat. And if we talk about his opening pair, Hoping partner who is at the non-striker's end. Ubaidullah, a left-handed batter. Both Arbaz and Ubaidullah have looked decent. They've given decent starts uh, to uh, their team as well. But tonight, they need something special because we saw um, uh, so much special uh, stuff from... Uh, the Tareen Academy team. Aminullah is one of the bowlers that um, Ali Tareen was talking about. He hails from Swat and uh, he's got some serious space. He was all praise for Aminullah and uh, he's not the only one. They have another bowler who uh, probably might be bowling the second over. So it's going to be interesting to see how these two lads bowl. Yeah, he specifically called, talked about Aminullah and Amir and we have seen how damaging Amir was in the first innings time for Aminullah to showcase his potential as well. It's not going to be easy for a moment. See, the equation is pretty simple. Well, on the screen it looks simple. 229 runs in 20 overs, but they will have to bat out his, out of their skin to chase down this target. It's simple if you're part of Tarin Academy, that's for sure, but if you are uh, a member of Moment Seeds, I'm sure they would be uh, their legs would be shaking right now because this is a huge task. This is an uphill task for uh, Moment Seeds. Yeah, it's an Everest to climb for Moment Seeds. And one more team which will be very happy after looking at this batting performance of Tareen Academy will be AO Hospitals. Because if Moment Seeds lose tonight, AO Hospitals will be through to the semi finals. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be part of AO Hospitals getting into a match with Tareen Academy. They have looked so good, whether they bat first or bowl first. They have just shut down their oppositions. Bowling first, they bundle their oppositions on a score of 60, 90. That's what they've done. Batting first, they literally displayed and set an example how you should bat first, no matter how the, con how the conditions are. It doesn't matter if the ball is gripping or the spinners are getting turned. You play your own game and you unleash hell. Ash really must have been thinking that he committed a blunder by deciding to bowl first after winning the toss. Who would have thought Tarin Academy will score 228 runs in just 20 overs. So many records were broken in that first innings. It was the highest score from a team in this tournament. We saw a highest individual score from Nabi Gul, who got his century, the first century of this 8th corporate T20 tournament. Highest opening partnership between uh, Nabi Gul and Shahzad. What a day it was, Zishan. We saw a 21 ball 50 from Khush Dil Shah. Now, he's been everywhere. He's played for Pakistan. And then we saw a 14 ball 50 from Amir Azbat, which was special. Aminul Lau will start the proceedings for Tarin Academy. A young fast bowler from Swat. Decent run up for Aminola as well. Arbaz will be facing him. Starts off with a shorter lane delivery which has been hit towards extra cover. 
And you can see the mindset of Tarina Academy. They know they have loads and loads of runs to play with, so they will be showing their aggression in the field as well. A fielder at first left, a fielder at deep square leg, and they are still going to be looking to pick up wickets. Pacers nowadays tend to come and hit the ball onto the track, trying to get some movement off the seam. Let's see if Aminula manages his length a bit or sticks to that good shot of good length. That could have been dangerous, just slipped. Fast bowlers tend to get injured like that. Yeah, that could have been really dangerous for Amino Law. He might have slipped. Yeah, his back leg just slipped just before he was about to deliver his ball. I hope he's okay. Twisted his ankle there. Both ways, actually. First towards the right and then towards the left. That could have been very, very dangerous. Well, that uh, slip reminded me of uh, Virat Kohli back in 2013 when he was up against Pakistan and he was trying to bowl and he slipped on his run-up. That famous series known as Anedo. They invited us and they got hammered by us. Well, uh, that has happened a few times. Uh, I'm sure you remember the Mocha campaign. That also backfired big time. So you've got to learn, my friends. Sorry to all the Indian viewers who are watching this telecast, but we're just stating facts. Sorry. <laughs> Right then, let's redo that one. Fuller and Len, already some movement away from the right-hander. He will have to bowl a few deliveries first to get into his real pace here, Aminullah. He can afford to bowl a few slower ones. When the ball starts moving like that, just at the end, you can uh, tell that the bowler is really pacey. This one was pitched up, got the movement. Can he come within the line? Good ball. Right into that block hole. Not many options are left as an opener. For moment seeds. They will have to come hard at the bowlers from the word go. Otherwise, it's only going to get even more difficult for them. Arbaz is a talented batsman, but he looks under pressure. And rightly so, his team needs a 229 runs to win this. It's everything to play for, for a moment seeds. Shorter in length, punched off the back foot, finding the gap on the offside. This is some shot from Arbaz. Exactly the start they were looking for. He's another young, bright prospect in this moment seeds lineup. Geosuper's uh, management with Muin Khan there stayed on the back foot, used uh, the, sh the shot of Len delivery from Aminola and smacked it between cover. Yeah, he's got some decent pace, that is for sure. All he needs to do is to get his line and length right. Much better. This time the ball might have come back in after pitching. He is definitely moving it both ways, Ishan. We saw some movement outside the off, some away from the right hand in the previous deliveries. Now the ball just nipping back in after pitching. Not going to be easy for moment seeds. Honestly speaking, I haven't been this excited uh, watching young talent bat, bat in a while now, Zishan. Uh, I'm literally jumping around with excitement looking at the Reen Academy and I cannot hold it back. I believe in, in letting it out completely. I believe uh, when a team does so well, you've got to go all out and appreciate them holding no bars. Yeah, the alarms must have been raised for the teams who have qualified for the semi-finals. They are going to be up against red-hot, informed Tarin Academy sides. First over done, five without a wicket. Geo Super's senior management there alongside uh, Mr. Muin Khan. 
just working out some kings, discussing how the tournament has gone till now. It takes a lot of uh, effort and teamwork to pull off uh, a tournament of this magnitude. Yeah, players are the heroes on the field and the production team are the heroes of the field. It's because of their efforts that we are witnessing a wonderful tournament being played here at DHA Sports Club Moin Khan Academy. And it's because of their effort that viewers, thousands of viewers are watching this telecast live on their TV screens. Right then, Pacer is from both the ends. Here is Ahmad. Ahmad Hassan, Alitharina mentioned him as well. He was all praise for both these pacers who will be operating from uh, different ends together. And up a shot on the offside wider of that fielder at short third man, but he does well. Another single taken by Arbaz. Ahmad seems like he's going to be getting some swing here. He has that sort of an action. Seems like uh, he has this natural ability to swing, although we haven't seen it on the first ball, but the ball did dip down. It would be interesting to see how uh, the next few balls go and what length he bowls them at. They made five changes for tonight's game, Tarina Academy. It will be a headache for them to pick out the playing 11 for the semi-final. Which player to choose, which player to rest? Good ball and tell you what, that was so close to the off stump. That was a very dangerous leave indeed from Obed. Called it Zishan. I called it. He got some movement in the air and off the seam as well. Whoa, I barely missed the stumps. Surely Obed won't be doing that again. Millimeters, just millimeters away from the off stump there. Once again, this time beats the outside edge. Time to play some music from the bowlers now. Emmett swinging it at will. This one did not swing that much. Obed played it for the swing. Missed it completely. And as you predicted, he did not make that mistake of leaving it this time. It's, a, it's an examination for these youngsters who are up against high-quality talent. Full toss, drifting on the pads, played it fine. It's going to run away for a boundary. Offline, this time from Emma, just drifting on the legs of the left-hander. All he needed to get, just a little niggle on it, which he did, and it raced away to the boundary. This is exactly what um, Moment, needs, uh, Moment Seeds openers need to do. Capitalize on the bad balls, respect the good ones, keep scoring runs. Yeah. Not really happy with his landing area there, Ahmed. Trying to fix it, needs some sand. Yeah, we saw, we have seen now both these fast bowlers having some issues in their run-up. Can you see the sky? All those lights reflecting off it. Looks beautiful, this city. Especially in the night. It will, be wrong, it will be a wrong thing to say that this city also never sleeps. Especially in this time of the year, during the month of Ramadan, when people are usually awake till the Seri time. You can watch this match live on geosuper.tv slash live as well. Or you could go on uh, to Geosuper's YouTube page and watch the match live there as well. So lots of options for you in case you don't have uh, your television screen in front of you. Or if you're out and about. Or if you are busy shopping. You would have to be a crazy fanatic to be doing that. <laughs> but yeah, whatever works for you all. time too wide outside the Austin. I think they are, both these bowlers are trying a little hard. They are trying to bowl as fast as they can. Yes, they have got pace, that is for sure, but with that, 
line and length needs to be maintained as well. At the same time, Sean, it's essential for any fast bowler to express himself. And if he's got pace, I think they should be allowed to, to, to show us what they've got and not hold back on the account of, of managing their line or length. This might be another wide outside the Ostrom. Yes, it is. I would like to see Hassan Khan now having a word with these bowlers. Just stick to the basics, lads. We have done enough in the first innings. Let's bowl it straight. Let the ball do the talking. Because the batters are already under pressure. They will commit mistakes. They will commit an error and give you a chance to pick up a wicket. Ahmed still not happy with his landing area. It does take some adjustment to settle down, especially for a pacer who's playing his first match, having traveled from a completely different area altogether. A full toss. Couldn't hit it anywhere. Straight to that fielder at Medov. Yeah, from the north to the south. It's a beautiful area, Sawat. I think that's Aminullah who's from Sawat. Ahmed has a background of tape ball cricket. But yeah, as time progresses, we learn more about these lads. We'll have a better background. So 12 for none. One ball still remaining in this over. It's a good yorker. It is hit into the pad and the finger goes up. That's what we were talking about. It's that pace. It's that movement into the left-hander. And Ahmed has been rewarded. Obed didn't want to go back. He felt that ball was stewing a bit too much, probably going down leg. But uh, if he had taken a review, it would have uh, hit the leg stump. The umpire agreed and gave his decision. Obedullah gone for four. It's 12 for one. The first setback for Moment Seeds here, chasing a mammoth total of 229 here at DHS Post Club, Moen Khan Academy. It's game on for sure. Ismail coming in to bat. Well, he's a very good batter, Ismail. Although he hasn't featured in the first two games for Moment Seeds, but he's pretty talented. He's a right-handed batter. He might take his time, but I don't think they have enough time. Clearly... The left-hander was late onto that ball because that was a pacey delivery tailing into his pads. And by the time he looked at the umpire, the finger already went up. Obed was uh, standing inside his crease. That also made things easier for the umpire because the ball did not have too far to travel. It would have gone on to hit leg stump. Right then, Aminu Lavit is second. Big shot! Up and over, mid on. Two bounces and past the boundary ropes it goes. Arbaz is a proper, proper talent. He has showed that in the previous two matches. Carrying on. His team needs this aggression. His team needs him to lead from the front and play such strokes if they are to chase down this mammoth total down. It was a pacey delivery, this from Aminullah, but it went past his head even faster. Boundary to start the over with. Pulls it away. Over mid on. Take that, Aminullah, says Arbaz. Two boundaries in two balls. It is game on for sure. Moment seeds are not giving up here. They're going all out. And rightly so, Arbaz there, hitting it as hard as he can, keeping his shape over the head of Midon, getting another four. Well, he was charging down the track and to play a pull shot over Midon, that two on the front foot takes a getting. Full toss, hitting it on his legs. This time there is the projection out there at deep square leg. It's going to be a single to Arbaz. 
got to appreciate Arbaz's um, hand-eye coordination. Aminullah is bowling at a decent pace. He's still spotting the ball early and getting the connection. That was um, a yoker attempted by Aminullah. Missed it uh, by an inch. Ended up being a full toss. Mr. Zaseem Javed uh, greeting uh, it's Geo Super Management. Yeah, he's a regular visitor, Desin Javid. Slightly wider outside the all stump. Ismail going for that expensive drive there on the all side. Just getting beaten by the pace and bounce. Beaten for pace there. Ismail. Two balls to go. Nine already off the over. Moment seeds need 12 runs per over if they are to win this one. Once again, fuller in length. And he was so late onto that stroke there, Ismail. By the time his bat went down, the ball had already gone past him. Just too quick for Ismail there, Aminullah. He has managed his length, mixing it up. Pitching it right up. Imagine this delivery on the base of the off stump. What a sight that will be for a fast bowler. All right, so just one ball round remaining in this over from Amin. Wrapped on the patch again, big appeal, but the ball might have been angling down the leg side. And yes, exactly, that's what umpire thinks as well. Just look at the energy by Tarin Academy. That's Amir Azmat. Superman effort by Amir. This is why they are so impressive, Tarin Academy as a team. Three gone, it's uh, 22 for one. Twenty-two for one after three. Aminullah was also close of getting his worst wicket of the game, but the ball might have been angling down the leg side. Smile still waiting to get off the mark. Ahmed is going to continue with his second over. Once again, hitting it straight to that fielder at point. Although they know they have got so many runs to play with and even they can afford to give away a few runs to these batters, but they are still trying to protect each and every run, these fielders. Ismail uh, sort of seems lost here. He's uh, failing to uh, get the hold of the situation at the moment. Being troubled by both Ahmed and Aminullah from both ends. Well, he didn't feature in the playing eleven for the first two games and straight away getting into the scores and... Now having the responsibility of chasing down 229, I think it's too much to ask for. Ahmed, on the other hand, is looking to nail in those yogurts into the block holes. I mean, if you have this thought instilled in you that you've got to give your 100%, no matter what the situation is, even if you're defending 229, you give it your all, you... you strive to save every single run as a team you become invincible and that's what um, Tarin Academy have been throughout the tournament and there is one way only one way to go for moment seats either hit out or get out let the others come and do the damage pick up shot on the legs there's a fielder down there at square leg and he cuts that one off. How well they have positioned their fielders according to their bowlers. That was asking to be hit if it was Arbaz. He definitely would have dispatched that because he looks much more confident. That fielder was so very well placed there. <laughs> a foot here and a foot there and it would have beat him.
Bars is on strike. He collected two boundaries in that previous over. Will he go after Ahmed as well? Playing it fine. Too much pace and that ball goes past the fielder. Just using the pace on that ball there, Arbaz. Helping the ball on its way. It was not a good delivery. It pitched outside the leg stump. Second delivery in a row at similar locations. And Arbaz doing exactly what we thought he would. This kid is special, I tell you. He does not miss out on bad deliveries. Punishes them. He just needs to stay there. He's gotten off to decent starts throughout the tournament. But then... Uh, Something takes over and he just gets out. Yeah, tonight he has got the opportunity to express himself. Just play your natural game. Slow one attempted. Had to check his shot in the end at bars, otherwise he would have gone for yet another big hit. And what impresses us so much in this tournament is that it's the youngsters that have performed so well. You can count on those number of performances from Mohammed Faye, Khwaja Nafe, Amir tonight, Shahzad, and now even Arbaz. Let's not up forget Nabi Gul. Scored a century today. How can you forget him? Well, I was too occupied with that fastest half century from Amir. But yes, indeed, it was a wonderful knock from Nabi Gul. Again, slightly shorter. Hitting it straight to that fielder at fine leg. Just a single to end the over with. Six of it in the end. After four, it's 28 for one. Required run rate gradually creeping up. It's uh, up to 12.56 now. Before the last over, it was 12 runs per over. Moment seeds uh, are trying the level best. How far can they go here? Amidullah will bowl his third. Uh, they need to apply their fourth gear now. Moment seeds. They cannot hold themselves back and wait for things to happen. Once again, thrashing it on the offside. Oh, what extra cover. Two bounces and into the boundary ropes. Another talent on display here, Arbaz. This warms my heart, Zishan. It totally does. Arbaz. Playing it on the up. That was such a beautiful stroke to nail. Timed it to perfection there. Getting four for himself and his team. Valuable runs. Some serious batting talent on display here. Arbaz, 24 of 13. Knocked him over. The revenge has been sought because Aminullah has won this battle. It was full, it was straight. You miss, I hit, says Aminullah. That is a good piece of bowling by Aminullah. Bowled straight at him. Just enticed him with that full length. Arbaz saw that and he couldn't help himself. Arbaz gone for 24 or 14. It's 32 for 2. Arsal, the new man in, one more batter who's been super impressive throughout this tournament, scored a 50 and a 40 odd as well, he's captaining his side today, he looks mature, but he does tend to take some time. That's how he lost his wicket there, Arbaz, it was fuller in length, he was looking to go for another big one downtown, but this time just missing the line of the ball and the timber was disturbed. Arsal, the captain, is the new batter in. Yes, he has performed really well in the first two games, but he'll be feeling some extra pressure 
because he's the captain. So much responsibility is here upon his shoulders. As I was saying, Zishan, he's taken a lot of time. Now, today, his team requires him to go all out from the word go. What will he do? Will he change his gameplay? He definitely needs to. Shorter in length. Just pulling it away towards mid-wicket. Getting off the mark with that single. Both these opening bowlers are now amongst the wickets. Almost everything is going in the favour of the Reen Academy. Apart from the toss. I take that any day. Even that worked for them because they got an opportunity to bat first today and they expressed themselves. Something that they weren't being able to do till now. Ismail still struggling there. Has scored just one out of six deliveries till now. He needs to take charge here. Wrapped up the pads again. It's full. It's close and the umpire does not raise his finger. Well, that hit the back leg and he was on the back foot. Now he is bowling straight and he is trying to bring that back in as well. Ismail needs to be very careful. He needs to keep his bat with his pad because Aminullah is looking for that space. Some serious pace here from Aminullah. Ismail, what are his options? He has to break free somehow. It's a no ball. It has been hit straight to that fielder at mid-off. Ismail should consider himself extremely lucky here. It seems like nothing is happening here. <laughs> Ismail cannot get it away. But he's not even getting out. Aminullah not happy with himself. Just stepping over. That's okay, young lad. You're bowling well. Yep, overstepping for sure. Clearly overstepping there, Aminullah. But now Ismail has the opportunity. He won't be able to get out. He can go big. Unless and until he loses wicket on a run out. Fuller in length, thrashed over extra cover. That's more like it, Ismail. Making full use of that free hit. Now he'll get some confidence. Is this the moment Ismail breaks free? That's his first positive shot going on, uh, going down on one leg and thrashing it over cover. His team needs him to play in a similar fashion here. And he was waiting for the opportunity. He got there with that free hit. One ball still remaining. They still have an over remaining of batting power play after this one. Better over for moment seeds here. Ten runs already off the over. They need 12.59. Shorter. Pulled. Flat. Six. A phenomenal way to end the over with. 16 of it in the end. Five done. It's 44 for two. With that amazing stroke from Ismail, it's time for a change in the com box as well. We'll be uh, taken over by Sayyid Yayoseni and Yusha Babur. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, Mohin Khan, dear Czech Cricket Ground, where uh, Arpa Cooperate Cup T20 Tournament or a very good, delicious match. And Momin Seed's score five overs after five balls, two wickets to gain a loss. Ahmed new over with the pitch. Last step, he has been stopped. And what will be the run out? Arsal Sheikh. Very good fielding. And here, probably Arsal Sheikh will have to go back. बिल्कुल याया भाई जिस तरीके से आपने बात करी अरसल शेख को मुझे लगता है जाना होगा और ये बहुत ही जबरदस्त फील्डिंग का मुजाहरा किया है बाजार तो ऐसे ही लगा कि अरसल आउट है और ये बहुत फ्रेम में ही नहीं है ये बहुत अनलकी कहूंगा मैं अरसल को और एक जो मोमेंटम पिछले ओवर में बना इस्माइल और अरसल के दरमियान वो ब्रेक हुआ और मैं समझता हूं यही स्माइल आउट हुए यही टर्निंग पॉइंट है इस गेम का क्योंकि जितने भी ये छोटे और रन आउट्स होते हैं ये मोमेंटम बनाते हैं चवालीस तीन विकेटों के नुकसान पर अब 
अरसल शेख मौजूद है क्रीज पर एक बड़ा टारगेट है बारह शरिया चार सात भी रिक्वायर रन रेट है और तरीन एकेडमी की जानब से बड़ी उमदा बल्लेबाजी का मुजाहरा देखने में आया और आज टॉस मोमिन सीट ने जीता था और उन्होंने पहले बल्लेबाजी का इंतजाम किया था और नबी गुल ने 111 रन उनसठ गेंदों पर छह चौकों और आठ छक्कों के साथ स्कोर किए मोहम्मद शहजाद ने चौवन रन स्कोर किए 40 गेंदों पर और आमिर अजमत ने 15 गेंदों पर 50 रन स्कोर किए और ये आउट होने का मंजर इस तरह के रिस्क तो लेने होंगे यूशा बिल्कुल सर इस तरीके के रिस्क लेने होंगे और यही मैच में जान डालते हैं एक रन आउट हो गया एक स्पेक्टेकुलर कैच हो गया इस तरीके से ही मैच बनता है पिछले कदम पर जाकर इस गेंद को आहिस्ता से रोका इस बार रन बनाने का कोई मौका नहीं था अगर देखा जाए तो ये पावर प्ले का लास्ट ओवर है यूशा लेकिन 54 फोर फोर थ्री लेकिन जो रिक्वायर रन रेट है वो करीबन 13 को टच करता हुआ बारह आशार्य छह एक महमूद नए आने वाले बैट्समैन शुरू से हमें वो इंटेंट नजर नहीं आई है मोमेंट सीट्स की तरफ से इतना बड़ा जब टारगेट बोर्ड पे लगा हुआ टू ट्वेंटी नाइन का तो आपका पावर प्ले एक बहुत स्ट्रांग नोट पे खत्म होना चाहिए अहमद का ये तीसरा ओवर है बड़ी नबी तो उन्होंने बॉलिंग का मुजाहरा किया है और तेरह रन दिए हैं और एक विकेट के हसूल में कामयाब रहे हैं और अगर देखा जाए तो अब तक अच्छा मुकाबला किया यहां पर मोमिन सीट की टीम ने मोइन खान क्रिकेट एकेडमी डीएचए कराची जहां पर आठवें कॉपरेट टी ट्वेंटी टूर्नामेंट का ये मुकाबला और लुक लाइक क्वार्टर फाइनल है यूशा ये बिल्कुल इस क्वार्टर फाइनल में जो हमें हाइलाइट्स नजर आएंगी और आपको जैसे पता है कि इतना बड़ा टूर्नामेंट डीएचए स्पोर्ट्स क्लब मोइन खान एकेडमी का इनिशिएटिव है ये यहां से जो हाईलाइट होंगी उनको बहुत क्रूशल चांस मिलेगा आगे जाने का जैसे हमने देखा ख्वाजा मोहम्मद नाफे ही इज अ ब्रिलियंट टैलेंट and we know that uh, he could he could uh, play for big teams uh, such as in uh, PSL and uh, he has also played uh, BPL in last few months and we have seen that he he has improved a lot aur ye riwayat rahi hai ramzan tournaments ki ki yahan par jo apne talent ko showcase karta hai usko phir aahista aahista step by step khelne ka mauka milta hai wait kar wait kar aahista se is baar khele arsal lekin run banane ka koi mauka nahi tha और अरसल का क्रीज पर रहना मोमिन सीट के लिए इंतहाई अहम होगा क्योंकि पिछले मैचों में अरसल ने बड़ी उमदा बल्लेबाजी का मुजाहरा किया है और इस्माइल अन लकी रहे पिछले ओवर में एक चौका और एक छक्का उन्होंने लगाया था लेकिन एक रन आउट की नतीजे में उनको वापस जाना पड़ा अरसल शेख बड़े प्रोमिसिंग क्रिकेटर हैं दाए हाथ से ऑफ स्पिन बॉलिंग और मिडल ऑर्डर बैट्समैन इस बार बाउंसर और अरसल शेख ने इसको जाने दिया विकटों के पीछे अंपायर का इशारा कि ये वाइट बॉल होगी अरसल और महमूद को जब तक एग्रेशन दिखाना चाहिए वो दिखाएं क्योंकि मैच में अब इतना कुछ खास मैं समझता हूं बचा नहीं है थर्टीन को राइज हो गया रिक्वायर्ड हंड्रेड एंड आई थिंक दे शुड प्ले अग्रेसिव गेम एट द मोमेंट और अरसल इस बात की पूरी अहलियत रखते हैं कि तेज बैटिंग करें लेकिन अभी सिर्फ उन्होंने तीन ही गेंदे खेली हैं इस बार ऑन साइड पर खेले आहिस्ता से एक रन दोनों बैट्समैनों ने चहल कदमी के अंदाज में वो कमल किया या, या मैं समझता हूं कि पावर प्ले का जहां तक फायदा उठा सकते हैं टी ट्वेंटी क्रिकेट में आप आपको उठाना चाहिए बिकॉज इट इज अ वेरी क्रूशल मोमेंट इन टी मैच तो छह के बाद मोमिन सीट चवालीस तीन विकेटों के नुकसान पर और ये मोइन खान क्रिकेट एकेडमी डीएचए का एक एरियल व्यू और एक दिलचस्प मुकाबला यहां पर और यूशा जो मैं बात कर रहा था कि एक बड़ा हदफ जिसके हदफ के ताकुब में इस वक्त मोमिन सीट बैटिंग कर रही है चौरासी गेंदों पर एक सौ बयासी रन की जरूरत है तेरह 
हर ओवर में इनको रन बनाने की जरूरत है और तीन इनके बैट्समैन पवेलियन लौट चुके हैं छह में सैंतालीस अगर पावर प्ले के तनाजुर में देखा जाए तो ये स्कोर इतना बुरा नहीं है लेकिन एक बड़े हदफ के ताकुब में ये खेल रहे हैं और आज जिस तरह की बल्लेबाजी हुई है तरीन अकेडमी की तरफ से खासतौर पर क्रेडिट गोस्त टू नबी गुल जिन्होंने छह चौकों और आठ चौकों के साथ उनसठ गेंदों पर इंतहाई बर्फ रफ्तार शानदार एक सौ ग्यारह रन स्कोर किए मोहम्मद शहजाद ने चौवन रन स्कोर किए चालीस गेंदों पर और आमिर अजमत ने पंद्रह गेंदों पर पचास रन स्कोर किए और नबी गुल और मोहम्मद शहजाद ने पहले दस ओवर में एक सौ दो रन स्कोर किए थे और मोमिन सीट की जानब से वलीद अहमद खास एक्सपेंसिव रहे पाकिस्तान के फॉर्मर टेस्ट क्रिकेटर तोसीफ अहमद के फर्जन जिन्होंने चार ओवर में पैंसठ रन दिए दो विकेट हासिल करने के लिए और जवाद भट्टी ने चार ओवर में तिरपन रन दिए a very crucial moment in this game as hasan khan walks out bahut experience hai inke paas quota gladiators se bhi khel chuke hain umar associates se bhi khel chuke hain aur main samajhta hu ke it is a very crucial moment in this match har sa shek samne karenge is over mein pehli martaba aur is game ko bade aitmaad ke sath nikal diya unhone cover mein aahista se ek run hasil kiya बड़े तजुर्बेकार हैं हसान और बिल्कुल आपने दुरुस्त कहा पाकिस्तान सुपर लीग में हसान खान ने कोयटा ग्लैडिएटर से अपने सफर की शुरुआत की थी लेकिन पिछले दो से तीन सीजन अगर मैं कहूं यूशा तो हसान हमें कहीं दिखाई नहीं दिए एपीएसएल में इस बार सामना करेंगे महमूद या हसान प्रोमिसिंग प्लेयर है यंगस्टर है अभी भी ये कहना बिल्कुल दुरुस्त होगा की ये अभी यंगस्टर है और जितना ये डे बाय डे इम्प्रूव करते जाएंगे आपने हमने दिन को देखा है कि डोमेस्टिक में भी ये लगे रहते हैं रमजान टूर्नामेंट में कहीं पे ये क्रिकेट छोड़ते नहीं है लेकिन अगर हम पाकिस्तान के सर्किट में बात करें तो मोहम्मद नवाज और इस वक्त लेफ्ट आर्म स्पिनर्स में माद बसी मौजूद हैं। हसान जितने अच्छे बॉलर हैं उतने अच्छे बैट्समैन भी है और फील्डर उससे अच्छे जहां तक आपने फील्डिंग की बात करी है फील्डिंग तो स्पेशली इन टी क्रिकेट वो एक ऐसा शोभा है तीनों शोभों में अगर हम फील्डिंग को चुने तो सबसे और इस बार महमूद ने पिछले कदम पर जाकर गेंद को निकाल दिया है बाउंड्री लाइन के बाहर चार रन के लिए बहुत जबरदस्त शॉट खेला था महमूद ने और इस तरीके की अप्रोच हमें चाहिए पूरे मैच में ताकि एक अच्छे नोट पे मैच फिनिश हो बिल्कुल अंपायर के सर के ऊपर से खेले और नो मैन लैंड में गेंद ने लैंड किया और लॉन्ग ऑफ और लॉन्ग ऑन से फील्डर जो थे वो दौड़े जरूर लेकिन गेंद उनकी बहुत पहुंच से दूर एक दो चौकों से काम लग बनेगा नहीं इधर यहां पर कुछ गैर मामूली बल्लेबाजी का मुजाहरा करना होगा कम अज कम पच्चीस तीस रन के दो तीन ऊपर तले ओवर आएंगे तभी मैच थोड़ा सा दिलचस्प होगा आपने ये कहावत सुनी होगी कि नथिंग इज इम्पॉसिबल अभी भी बात बिगड़ी नहीं है रिक्वायर्ड हंड्रेड थर्टीन पॉइंट टू नाइन पे है बिल्कुल इसलिए कहते हैं कि गेम ऑफ जेंटलमैन क्रिकेट को जब तक लास्ट बॉल ना डिलीवर कर दी जाए कुछ कहना नहीं चाहिए और इस बार ये आउट होना चाहिए और दे दिया गया हसान खान ने एक बहुत जबरदस्त विकेट ले लिया आप उनका एहतमाद देखें क्या एहतमाद है उनका और उन्होंने रीड कर लिया था इनको कि ये अगले कदम पर आकर खेल रहे हैं बिल्कुल प्लम लेक बिफोर विकटों के सामने बिल्कुल टोपे गेंद खाए और जितने एतमाद के साथ उन्होंने अंपायर की तरफ देखा उनको रिस्पांस भी उतना ही पुर एतमाद मिला तो चौथी विकेट मोमिन सीट की ताहा महमूद आठ गेंदों पर सात रन बनाने के बाद इनका डिपार्चर 54 फोर फोर अच्छे मोइन खान क्रिकेट एकेडमी कराची जहां आठवा कॉपे टी ट्वेंटी टूर्नामेंट और आज का मुकाबला तरीन एकेडमी का मोमिन सीट के साथ और आज टॉस जीता मोमिन सीट ने और पहले उन्होंने फील्डिंग का इंतखा किया लेकिन ये फैसला कुछ इतना ज्यादा दुरुस्त साबित नहीं हुआ क्योंकि 
एक बड़ा स्कोर उनको आज चेस करना है 225 सौ पच्चीस रन स्कोर किए पहले बैटिंग करते हुए तरीन अकेडमी ने और सात ओवर के खेल में मोमिन सीट का स्कोर चार विकेटों के नुकसान पर चौवन रन है और ये हसान की विकेट विकेट की जहां तक बात करी आपने याया चौका खाने के बाद भी हमें कोई बॉडी लैंग्वेज में चेंज नजर नहीं आया हसान खान के मैं यही आपको कह रहा हूं कि इस वक्त तेरह आशार्य चार छह मतलूबा औसत है जिससे रन स्कोर करने हैं एक ओवर में एक दो चौकों से काम बनेगा नहीं कम से कम 25 तीस के पैदर पे दो एक ओवर लेने होंगे तभी मामला बनेगा एक एंड से हसान खान और अब बॉलिंग करने के लिए तैयार है नए ओवर की पहली गेंद जुनेद गेंद करेंगे ये इनका पहला ओवर है जुनेद आवान बाय हाथ से स्लो लेफ्ट आर्म बॉलर अरसल उनका सामना करेंगे रन लेना चाहते थे अरसल लेकिन रन बनाने का कोई मौका नहीं और इस वक्त हम आपको लेकर चलेंगे ग्राउंड में जहां मौजूद है हेना अपने गेस्ट के साथ जी मेरे साथ मौजूद है मरियम अंसारी शी इज एन एक्ट्रेस और अवेस खान डायरेक्टर ऑफ मोइन खान अकेडमी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस सबसे पहले स्टार्ट करते हैं आपसे बताइएगा आपका क्रिकेट के साथ कैसा रिलेशन है वेल डू यू फॉलो क्रिकेट वेल आई एम मैरिड इन टू क्रिकेट फैमिली तो ऑब्वियसली शौक कहीं ना कहीं डिवेलप हो ही जाता है स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली माई फादर यूज टू वॉच अ लॉर ऑफ क्रिकेट माई ब्रदर यूज टू वॉच अ लॉर ऑफ क्रिकेट तो तब इतना अंदाजा नहीं था कि क्या हो रहा है लेकिन अब ऑब्वियसली अब पता है कि छक्का क्या है चौका क्या है आउट कब है सो आई नो द बेसिक मरियम भाई दो इस अकेडमी के बारे में आप क्या कहेंगी मोइन खान अकेडमी की सो फार जितनी भी क्रिकेट की डेवलपमेंट को लेकर यहाँ पर यंगस्टर्स ट्रेनिंग के लिए आते हैं तो आप ये सब किस तरह देखती हैं और अपने आप को कनेक्टेड फील करती हैं इस अकेडमी से ऑफ कोर्स यू नो अब मेरे लिए ये बहुत एक वैल्यूबल प्लेटफॉर्म है uh, मैं देखती हूँ कि uh, लोगों के पास कितना वाइड रेड ऑफ पोटेंशियल रेंज ऑफ पोटेंशियल है एंड देर सो मेनी पीपल हु कम एंड हु प्ले हेयर एंड स्पेशली गाइज एंड अब मैं चाहती हूँ कि लड़कियाँ भी इधर आके खेलें सो यू नो वी हैव more women empowerment over here and ladies also get a chance to you know have that kind of platform jahan wo perform kar sake aves bhi hamare sath maujood hai aves aap bataiyega bhi tareen academy ke batters ne to zabardast performance di aapko unki performance kaisi lagi momin seed se bhi khel rahe what do you think who's going to win ji jis tarah ki performance di hai nabi ne century ki hai bahut zabardast 50 balls pe almost i think 60 55 balls pe kiye to uh, amazing performance i saw his sixes they were excellent bahut bade chakke mare to lag to yahi raha jis tarah ki abhi inno batting ki hai but uh, dekhe cricket hai kuch bhi ho sakta hai absolutely well aves aage ja kar kya plans hai aap logon ke is tournament ko lekar agar compare kare previous tournaments so how do you feel kis tarah different aap ye paare is tournament डिफरेंट इस तरह है कि स्पेशली कोविड के बाद तीन साल बाद ये टूर्नामेंट हो रहा है तो वी वर वेरी एक्साइटेड फॉर दिस टूर्नामेंट तीन साल टूर्नामेंट नहीं हुआ हमारा एक रिचुअल इट्स लाइक रिचुअल दिस टूर्नामेंट ही होता है हर साल तो वी वर वेटिंग अलॉट फॉर दिस टूर्नामेंट और अब हो रहा है तो आपके सामने ग्राउंड कितना अच्छा लग रहा है टीम इतना जबरदस्त परफॉर्म करी है सो वे एक्चुअली वेरी प्राउड दैट वी पुल दिस ऑफ वेल टूर्नामेंट स्टार्ट होने से पहले आप लोगों की एक्सपेक्टेशन थी कि इतनी जबरदस्त परफॉर्मेंसेज इतने जबरदस्त प्लेयर्स खेलते हुए देखने को मिलेंगे और क्या आउटकम आप एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हैं इस टूर्नामेंट बेसिकली आपको पता है टैलेंट तो बहुत है पाकिस्तान के अंदर स्पेशली कराची से इतने बड़े बड़े नाम है प्लेयर्स निकलते हैं टैलेंट इज लाइक एंडलेस ओवर हेयर और यही हमारी उम्मीद ही रहती है इस टूर्नामेंट से कि यू नो लोग आए परफॉर्म करें जो प्लेयर्स हैं यंगस्टर्स हैं इतने सारे जैसे भी आज आपने देखा नबी ने सेंचुरी मारी तो ऐसी लड़के आके परफॉर्म करके नजरों में आते हैं लोगों की एंड देन यू नो दे कैन गो टू बिगर स्टेज सो दैट्स वट वर एक्सपेक्टिंग एंड वेर प्राउड और इसी दौरान अरसल शेख ने वेलकम किया है नए ओवर की पहली गेंद पर हसान को छक्का लगाकर लेकिन शायद इससे कुछ बढ़कर करना होगा इससे कुछ अलग आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स जारहाना बल्लेबाजी करनी होगी चार विकटें भी गिर चुकी हैं इस चीज को भी मद्देनजर रखना होगा दराज खा दरअसल शेख जो अब डबल फिगर में पहुंच गए बारह गेंदों का उन्होंने सामना किया है दस रन स्कोर किए हैं और इनके बारे में मैं ये बताता चलूं कि ये पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट बोर्ड के गवर्निंग बोर्ड के साहब का रुकन और मौजूदा मैनेजमेंट कमेटी के जो रुकन है शकील शेख साहब उनके फर्जंद हैं 
और उनके अगर क्रिकेटिंग बच्चों में बात करें मोहित शेख हैं और भी उनके बेटे हैं लेकिन क्रिकेटिंग अगर हवाले से बात करूं तो अरसल शेख जो है उनमें सबसे ज्यादा होने हार है या या अगर दोनों साइड की बॉडी लैंग्वेज की बात करें तो क्या समझते हैं आप क्या एक डिफरेंस हमें नजर आया दोनों साइड में एब्सोलूटली एक तरफ तरीन एकेडमी की टीम है जहां पर समीन गुल खेल रहे हैं हसान खेल रहे हैं एज ए गेस्ट प्लेयर बट ऑन द अदर साइड जो मोमिन सीट की टीम है जो बुनियादी तौर पर नवाब शाह की यह टीम है एक बार अच्छी गेंद बैडो बैट को साथ मिलाते हुए इस गेंद को रेस्पेक्ट दिया आरसल ने तो बिल्कुल जहां 200 से ज्यादा रन लगा दे कोई टीम बैटिंग करते हुए तो फिर ऑब्वियसली सामने वाली टीम जिसके चार आउट भी हो जाए अंडर टेन ओवर तो चिप्स तो डाउन हो ही जाते हैं इस बार जोरदार तरीके से अरसल इस गेंद को खेलना चाहते थे लेकिन बात दो रन तक जाएगी जरूर लेकिन अगर इस टूर्नामेंट में देखें मोमिन सीट को ये इनकी इस टूर्नामेंट में दूसरी एंट्री है तो काफी इनकी टीम ने जो है वो लर्न किया है इसी दौरान ये ओवर अपने अख्ताम को पहुंचा नौ के बाद पैंसठ चार विकेटों के नुकसान पर और ये नौ ओवर के बाद तरीन एकेडमी का स्कोर चौरासी था उनका कोई खिलाड़ी आउट नहीं था और यहां मोमिन सीट का स्कोर पैंसठ है उनके चार खिलाड़ी आउट हैं फर्क इतना ज्यादा नहीं है लेकिन जो बुनियादी फर्क है वो यूशा विकटों का है चार विकटें गिर चुकी हैं मोमिन सीट की बिल्कुल आपने ये बहुत दुरुस्त बात करी कि विकटों का फर्क और वो भी सिर्फ एक दो विकेट नहीं चार विकटों का फर्क है तरीन अकेडमी एटी पर कोई आउट नहीं था और अगर हम मोमेंट सीट्स की बात करें तो कप्तान अभी भी विकेट पे मौजूद हैं। जीशान मोमिन सीट के कप्तान जिन्होंने चार गेंदों का सामना किया है एक रन बनाने के लिए नॉन स्टाइगर एंड पर अस्तल शेख मौजूद हैं जिन्होंने चौदह गेंदों का सामना किया है अब बारह रन स्कोर किए हैं एक सौ रन अब भी दरकार है छियासठ गेंदों पर और इस बार अंपायर का फैसला जुनैद के हक में और एक और कामयाबी हासिल की है यहां तरीन एकेडमी ने और जुनैद की पहली कामयाबी आपने पिछला ओवर देखा ही होगा जुनैद का मिडन करवाया है आधी टीम आउट हो चुकी है मोमिन सीट की और ज्यादा दिक्कत का सामना नहीं करना पड़ा अंपायर को उंगली खड़ी करने में जीशान खान एक रन बनाने के बाद इनका डिपार्चर पैंसठ पे पांच दोनों साइड्स में जो दोनों साइड्स में जो हमें डिफरेंस नजर आया है वो है इंटेंट का तरीन एकेडमी में आपने देखा कि जिस तरीके से एग्रेशन हमें नजर आया है फ्रॉम द बॉल वन और खुशदिल शाह ने बहुत जबरदस्त बैटिंग का मुजाहरा किया वो दूसरी जानेब हमें मोमेंट सीट से इनफैक्ट पावर प्ले में भी वो हरियाणा बैटिंग का मुजाहरा नजर नहीं आया वो आपने सुना होगा ना कुछ शहर के लोग भी जालिम थे खुद खुद के भी काम ऐसे ही थे तो ये मामला रहा है अब तक मोमिन सीट के साथ और इसी दौरान जीशान को रिप्लेस किया है अली ने मामला बहुत ज्यादा गड़बड़ है अली शान नए आने वाले बैट्समैन और कुछ गैर मामूली कारकर्दगी का यहां पर मुजाहरा करना होगा अरसल शेख को या मोमिन सीट के आने वाले बल्लेबाजों को अदरवाइज तो यहां पर मोमिन सीट की जो टीम है वो मुश्किल सूरत हाल से दो चार लग रही है नबी गुल जो थे उन्होंने सेंचुरी स्कोर की थी और बड़ी शानदार बल्लेबाजी का उन्होंने मुजाहरा किया था और उनसठ गेंदों पर एक रन की उन्होंने इनिंग खेली और इस टूर्नामेंट की है पहली सेंचुरी जुनेद आए और ये इसको कलेक्ट किया और दो रन का इजाफा हुआ है स्कोर कार्ड में मोमेंट सीट्स के लेकिन दो रन से या या काम नहीं चलने वाला मैं समझता हूं कि अब तो एग्रेशन ही एग्रेशन होना चाहिए बिकॉज देयर इज नथिंग लेफ्ट बिहाइंड 
बहरहाल बहुत ज्यादा तकदो की जरूरत है यहाँ पर मोमिन सीट की टीम को बहुत ज्यादा आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स जाने की जरूरत है एक एक दो दो रन से बात बनेगी नहीं यहाँ पर यहाँ पर छक्के चौकों में डील करना होगा गैर मामूली क्रिकेट की आपने बात करी तो बिल्कुल ऐसा ही है हमें अब आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स शॉट्स नजर आने चाहिए जो कि हमें अभी तक आ नहीं पा रहे जहां कुछ सेटल होते हैं मामला वहां पर विकेट गिर जाती है और जो उम्मीदें हैं उसके चिराग गुल हो जाते हैं चिराग तो बिल्कुल गुल होंगे जिस तरीके से नबी गुल ने बैटिंग करी आज और एक पचास नहीं है तीन पचास है एक सौ ग्यारह रन स्कोर किए नबी गुल ने चौवन रन शहजाद ने किए पचास रन आमिर अजमत ने किए इसी दौरान दसवें ओवर का खेल अपने अख्ताम को पहुंचा अड़सठ पे पांच मोमिन सीट और ये स्कोर कार्ड है अब तक मोमिन सीट का कुछ इतना ज्यादा इंप्रेसिव नहीं है अरबाज ने 14 गेंदों पर 24 रन स्कोर किए 6 गेंदों पर 4 रन उवैद के 10 गेंदों पर 11 रन इस्माइल के इन्होंने कुछ दिखाया था रंग 7 रन 8 गेंदों पर महमूद के और 5 गेंदों पर एक रन स्कोर किया जीशान ने अरसल छह क्रीज पर मौजूद है जिन्होंने छक्का लगाया है अली उनके साथ क्रीज पर मौजूद है एक रन चाहिए है साठ गेंदों पर सोलह मतलूबा औसत और हर गुजरती गेंद के साथ इस औसत में इजाफा हो रहा है एक यंग चाइनामैन फैसल अकरम आ चुके हैं बॉलिंग करवाने इनको हमने काफी खेल के मैदानों में देखा है और आज ये अपनी बॉलिंग का कैसा जलवा दिखाते हैं ये तो कुछ देर में पता चल जाएगा हालात जब खराब हो तो फिर मेरा ख्याल है कि वो कहते हैं ना कि खड़ी गाड़ी को भी आकर लोग टक्कर मार देते हैं तो इस वक्त मोमिन सीट के कुछ ऐसे ही हालात हैं तो आप फैसल की बात कर रहे हैं तो फैसल के लिए तो इस वक्त टेलर मेड सिचुएशन है वो कहते हैं ना जिस चीज को भी आप हाथ लगाएं सोना बन जाती है तो इस वक्त मोमिन सीट जो है वो दबाव में है और तरीन अकेडमी जो है वो सब कुछ हासिल कर रहे हैं विकटे भी हासिल कर रहे हैं रन भी बना रहे हैं तो आप देखना यह है कि यहाँ फैसल इस मुस्कुराते चेहरे के साथ आए हैं इनको पता है इस बात का अंदाजा है कि पानी सरों से ऊंचा हो चुका है पानी सरों से ऊंचा हो चुका है और यहाँ पे उस तरीके के जान लगाते हुए भी नजर नहीं आ रहे हैं फैसल अक्रम क्योंकि आपने सही तरह बिल्कुल सही बात करी कि पानी सर से ऊंचा हो चुका है और ये चेहरे के तसुरात हैं अगर आप हेलमेट में से भी देख सकें अली के बड़े दबाव में हैं सब वो जितना ज्यादा एतमाद वाला इसको स्टोक नहीं था लेकिन एक रन जो है वो हासिल करने का मौका मिला तो अब फेस सेविंग का ये मैच लग रहा है यूशा मुझे अदरवाइज तो मामला मुझे लग रहे हैं कि काम हो चुका है बिल्कुल याया काम तो हमें बाजहिर यही नजर आ रहा है कि काम हो चुका है लेकिन रिस्पेक्टेड डिफीट के लिए जाना चाहिए मैं समझता हूं मोमिन सीट्स को रिस्पेक्टेड डिफिट तो वहां होती है ना जहां पर आप पॉइंट टेबल पर तगोदो कर रहे होते हैं ये मैच तो आपके लिए मेक और ब्रेक वाला मैच है जीतेंगे तो फाइनल फोर में होंगे हारेंगे तो आपके लिए टूर्नामेंट जो है वो खत्म हो जाएगा नवाब शाह की सीधी आपको बस पकड़नी पड़ेगी तो यहाँ पर तो फिर आपको कश्तियां जलानी पड़ेंगी यहाँ पर तो फिर आपको निकलना पड़ेगा लेकिन अरसल शेख के बारे में बताऊँ ये नवाब शाह नहीं जाएंगे ये पिंडी में रहते हैं तो ये पिंडी का टिकट लेंगे फिलहाल तो अभी छके का टिकट लेना चाहिए ना जो कि हमें काफी गेंदे गुजर गई हैं नजर नहीं आ रहा अच्छा ओवर फैसल का चार गेंदों पर से एक रन दिया उन्होंने इस तरह की बैटिंग से तो मेरे ख्याल से ओवर ही पूरे होंगे बात आगे नहीं बढ़ेगी बिल्कुल मैंने पहली बॉल से यही कहा था कि एग्रेशन हमें नजर नहीं आया है पावर प्ले की जहां तक बात हो पावर प्ले में भी नजर नहीं आया है और अभी 10 ओवर 11 ओवर चल रहा है हमें एग्रेशन नजर आ ही नहीं रहा है अब मैं ये समझता हूं कि 
आपने बिल्कुल सही बात करी मेक इट और ब्रेक इट वाली कहानी है ये और इसी दौरान ग्यारहवे ओवर का खेल अपने अख्ताम को पहुंचा और मोमिन सीट इकहत्तर पांच विकेटों के नुकसान पर तरीन अकेडमी के खिलाफ तीन विकेट के नुकसान पर 20 ओवर की बैटिंग में 228 सौ अट्ठाईस नबी गुल की शानदार सेंचुरी के साथ स्कोर किए तरीन अकेडमी ने और पांच विकेट पर 11 ओवर के बाद इकहत्तर रन हैं और एक सौ चौवन रन स्कोर करने हैं चौवन गेंदों पर यहां मोमिन सीट की टीम को और इसी दौरान नए ओवर की पहली गेंद जिसे उठाकर खेल दिया अली ने बिल्कुल बाउंड्री लाइन पर फील्डर मौजूद है एक रन तक बात महदूद रहेगी ये तो बड़े खौफों की बात है और ये तो बिल्कुल आपके पास होंडा सी डी सेवेंटी है और आप सोच रहे हैं कि आपके पास लैंड क्रूजर होनी चाहिए बिल्कुल ऐसी ही सोच है इस वक्त मोमिन सीट की बाइक से आप लैंड क्रूजर तक जाएंगे अगर यहां से आप चौवन गेंदों पर एक सौ चौवन करते हैं इसको उठा के खेल दिया है और फील्डर के हाथों में सीधा बहुत ही सॉफ्ट डिस्मिसल अरसल शेख का और यह जुनेद की दूसरी विकेट पूरा शॉट नहीं खेले अरसल शेख और एक और विकेट इसी दौरान ये छठे आउट होने वाले बैट्समैन मोमिन सीट के बहुत ही आसान कैच जिसको कंप्लीट किया और अरसल शेख को कहा थैंक यू वेरी मच आप जा सकते हैं 18 गेंदों पर 13 रन बनाने के बाद अरसल शेख का डिपार्चर तो अब मंजिल तो बहुत दूर है क्या 20 ओवर खेल पाएगी यहां मोमिन सीट की टीम ये एक बड़ा सवाल है छह खिलाड़ी आउट हो गए हैं बहत्तर स्कोर है और अट्ठारह अशारिया एक दो मतलूबा रन औसत टी ट्वेंटी क्रिकेट में एवरीथिंग इज पॉसिबल और ये हैं वलीद अहमद जो आज बॉलिंग में जो है वो खातिर खा कारकर्दगी पेश नहीं कर सके और इनके चार ओवर में पैंसठ रन बने दो विकटें लेने के लिए पाकिस्तान के फॉर्मर टेस्ट क्रिकेटर और सेलेक्टर जूनियर सिलेक्शन कमेटी तोसीफ अहमद के फर्जंद हैं ये अकाउंट ओपन किया वलीद ने एक रन के साथ क्रिकेट अच्छी होनी चाहिए थी मैं समझता हूं कि मोमेंट सीट्स के पास जब अरसल शेख बैटिंग करने आए थे महमूद बैटिंग कर रहे थे उस टाइम भी इनके पास पूरा मौका था रिक्वायर्ड रन रेट बिलो थर्टीन था एंड यू नेवर नो इन टी ट्वेंटी क्रिकेट जैसा आपने बात करी अभी एक है, एक है। और ये आपको निशानदेही कर रहे हैं इस तरह की बैटिंग के नहीं जी नहीं बहुत मुश्किल है बिल्कुल बैकफुट पे लेकर चली गई है तरीन अकेडमी की टीम इस वक्त मोमन सीट की टीम को एक दो दो रन से काम चलेगा नहीं यहां पर यूशा यहां पर आपको लंबे छक्के चौके लगाने पड़ेंगे लेकिन छह विकटें आपकी गिर चुकी हैं और अब भी एक सौ छप्पन रन आपको दरकार है उनचास गेंदों का खेल बाकी है उन्नीस आशारिया एक सिफर मतलूबा रन औसत तो आप समझेंगे आपका अकाउंट क्लोज है सर पहली बॉल से मैं समझता हूं अकाउंट तो ओपन हुआ ही नहीं था जिस तरीके से हमने डिफेंसिव क्रिकेट देखी थ्रू आउट इन दीज ट्वेल्व ओवर्स 73 पे छ आउट 12 ओवर
जुनेद को रिप्लेस किया है फैसल ने और ये दूसरा ओवर है फैसल का पहले ओवर में उन्होंने तीन रन दिए थे और यहां पर स्पिन बॉलर जो है वो पूरा माहौल बना रहे हैं मौका नहीं दे रहे बैट्समैन को और जब आपकी टीम मुश्किलात से दो चार हो तो फिर कुछ बचता नहीं है फैसल अकरम के बारे में क्या कहना चाहेंगे या या? फैसल अकरम का जवाब तो वलीद ही देंगे जो कि इस वक्त उनका सामना कर रहे हैं घुटना टेक कर उन्होंने डीप मिड विकेट पर इस गेंद को खेचा एक रन तक बात महदूद रहेगी यंग प्रोमिसिंग चाइना मैन नजर आते हैं हमें फैसल अकरम और अब अगर यूशा हम देखें तो बहुत ज्यादा मौाक हैं नौजवान खिलाड़ियों के लिए फील्ड ओपन है लीग क्रिकेट हो रही है रमजान क्रिकेट हो रही है डोमेस्टिक क्रिकेट है फिर वही पुराना निजाम वापस आया है डिपार्टमेंट क्रिकेट का रीजन क्रिकेट का छह टीमों का निजाम खत्म हुआ है तो खिलाड़ियों को मौके मिलेंगे तो नौजवानों के लिए तो जो माहौल है जो मनाजिल है वो तो ओपन है बिल्कुल याया आपने जहां तक बात करी है डिपार्टमेंट क्रिकेट की तो मैं समझता हूं कि इट इज अ वेरी ओपन ओपन चांस फॉर ऑल द यंगस्टर्स डिपार्टमेंट क्रिकेट की अगर हम बात करते हैं 92 में पाकिस्तान वर्ल्ड कप जीता था तो डिपार्टमेंट क्रिकेट के खिलाड़ी पाकिस्तान टीम का हिस्सा थे 2009 में पाकिस्तान यूनुस खान की क्यादत में आईसीसी वर्ल्ड टी ट्वेंटी जीता था तो उस टीम में भी बेशतर खिलाड़ी जो थे वो डिपार्टमेंट से ही ताल्लुक रखते थे फिर 2017 में पाकिस्तान चैंपियंस ट्रॉफी जीता सरफराज अहमद की क्यादत में उस टीम के भी बेशतर खिलाड़ी जो थे वो डिपार्टमेंट से ताल्लुक रखते थे 2019 में नया कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आया फिर उसके बाद तब्दीली आई और अब एक मरतबा फिर जो है वो हम 2014 के कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में वापस जा रहे हैं काफी देर गेंद हवा में रही वलीद कुछ इंटेंशन शो कर रहे हैं लॉन्ग हैंडल का इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं लेकिन मौका नहीं मिल पा रहा उनको लॉन्ग हैंडल का तो इस्तेमाल मैं समझता हूं कि काफी पहले हो जाना चाहिए था फासले बहुत बढ़ गए हैं अब मोमिन सीड और फतेह के दरमियान फर्क बहुत बढ़ गया है एक एक दो दो रन से स्कोर बोर्ड में रन तो बढ़ेंगे नाकामी का फर्क तो कम होगा जीत से आप दूर ही रहेंगे कोई परवाह भी नहीं है तरीन एकेडमी को एक एक दो दो रन अगर बनते हैं तो कोई मसला नहीं है क्या वलीद की तरफ से हम कोई छक्का चौका देखेंगे ओए यार अभी तक तो ऐसा कुछ हुआ नहीं है इसी दौरान तेरहवें वर्ग का खेल अपने सतम को पहुंचा सतहत्तर छह विकटों के नुकसान पर चौदहवें ओवर का खेल शुरू हो चुका है और बाबा तौर पर ये मुझे सिर्फ जब्ते की कार्रवाई लग रही है यूशा बिल्कुल फॉर्मेलिटी ही नजर आ रही है हमें या, या क्या समझते हैं कि यंगस्टर्स जिनको एक भरपूर अपॉर्चुनिटी मिली है इस टूर्नामेंट में एट कॉर्पोरेट मोइन खान कप जो हमारे सामने इस टाइम हो रहा है जिसमें हमने ख्वाजा मोहम्मद नाफे उमर एसोसिएट से खेलते हुए देखे उनके बारे में क्या कहेंगे आप बड़ा ही प्रोमिसिंग टैलेंट है और बहुत अच्छा खेले हैं अब तक इस टूर्नामेंट में और नाजमाबाद में भी वो खेले थे लेकिन वहां उस तरह शाइन उन्होंने नहीं किया था जितना पोटेंशियल उन्होंने यहां पर शो किया है तो अच्छा उनका ब्राइट फ्यूचर मैं कहूंगा लेकिन अगर वापस इस मैच की तरफ हम आ जाते हैं तो यहां पर तो तरीन अकेडमी की टीम उन्होंने पंजे गाड़े हुए हैं इस मैच के ऊपर वो कहते हैं ना शिकार करने के बाद शिकार को मुकम्मल तौर पर दबोच लेना तो ऐसा ही उन्होंने कुछ किया है मोमिन सीट के साथ पहले बैटिंग की जो चांसेस उनको मिले उसका भरपूर फायदा उठाया 228 सौ तक स्कोर लेकर गए और बैटिंग में 
जो रन उन्होंने किए थे उसके दबाव के साथ उन्होंने मोमिन सीट को अभी तक उठने नहीं दिया है फर्स्ट क्लास क्रिकेट खेले हैं वलीद और अच्छी कारकर्दगी का उन्होंने मुजाहरा किया था लेकिन फिर अचानक ये मंजर से गायब हो गए और अब एक बार फिर इनकी वापसी हुई है काफी अरसे के बाद मैं इनको क्रिकेट फील्ड में देख रहा हूं आउट होना चाहिए ये और इस मैच में भी वलीद का खेल अपने अख्ताम को पहुंचा और वलीद आउट होकर वापस जाते हुए एक और कामयाबी हासिल की है यहां पर तरीन अकेडमी की टीम ने बिल्कुल विकटों के सामने खाए थे वलीद इस गेंद को अपने पैर के ऊपर और अंपायर को ज्यादा दिक्कत का सामना नहीं करना पड़ा वलीद को आउट देने के लिए तो एक और कामयाबी और सात गेंदों पर तीन रन बनाने के बाद वलीद का डिपार्चर मोमेन सीट का स्कोर उन्नासी सात विकटों के नुकसान पर तो वो कहते हैं ना जिस तरह अनारकली को दीवारों में चुनवा दिया था तो यहां पर मोमिन सीट की बैटिंग को जो है वो रन्स के बोझ तले दबा दिया है तरीन एकेडमी की टीम ने ये जवाद भट्टी आए हैं बल्लेबाजी करने के लिए और जवाद भट्टी ने आज बॉलिंग में भी कुछ खास नहीं किया चार ओवर में इन्होंने तिरपन रन दिए और ये आउट होने का मंजर वलीद का जिनकी आउट होने के बाद अब जवाद भट्टी बल्लेबाजी करने के लिए आए हैं एक रन आते ही जवाब ने लिया चौदह ओवर का खेल अपने अख्ताम को पहुंचा अठहत्तर सात विकटों के नुकसान पर आठवें कॉपे टी ट्वेंटी टूर्नामेंट मोइन खान एकेडमी डीएचए कराची में मोमिन सीट की टीम के खिलाफ तरीन एकेडमी की टीम अपनी फतह से अब महज 36 गेंदों की फासले पर है क्योंकि एक सौ इक्यावन रन छत्तीस गेंदों पर दीवाने का ख्वाब नजर आता है मुझे यूशा बिल्कुल याया ख्वाब तो जिस तरीके से आपने बात करी कि अब तो मैं नहीं समझता कि कुछ बचा है मैच में सिर्फ फॉर्मेलिटी हो रही है या या मैं जुनेद की बात करना चाहूंगा जिस तरीके से इन्होंने चार ओवर में अपने तीन आउट किए सिर्फ और सिर्फ सात रन देके और सिर्फ विकेट टू विकेट बॉल रखी है इन्होंने मतलब आप समझते हैं आप क्रिकेट को जिस तरीके से समझते हैं कि बैट्समैन की साइकी भी देखनी पड़ती है और अब बॉलिंग में तब्दीली और अब गेंद करने के लिए आए हैं मोहम्मद शहजाद दाएं हाथ से गेंद करने वाले मीडियम फास्ट बॉलर और मेरा ख्याल है कि इस सिचुएशन का इन्होंने फायदा उठाया है तरीन एकेडमी ने उन्होंने कहा चलो शहजाद को भी यहां पर टेस्ट कर लेते हैं खान का मैदान है ये और खान के मैदान में तरीन एकेडमी की टीम ने भरपूर कारकर्दगी का मुजाहरा किया है दो सौ स्कोर किए और अब शहजाद दाएं हाथ से गेंद करने वाले फास्ट मीडियम बॉलर सामना करेंगे उनका अली जिन्होंने 16 गेंदों पर नौ रन स्कोर किए हैं यहां पर 16 गेंदों पर नौ नहीं मैं समझता हूं कि 40-45 रन होने चाहिए थे क्या समझते हैं आप बिल्कुल 15 गेंदों पर आज 50 रन स्कोर किए आमिर अजमत ने दो सौ रन तक ऐसे ही नहीं पहुंची तरीन एकेडमी की टीम और ऐसे ही नहीं मोमिन सीट की टीम इस सूरत हाल से दो चार है कि उनके साथ आउट हो चुके हैं अठहत्तर के स्कोर पर लेकिन सीख कर जाएंगे यहां से मोमिन सीट बहुत कुछ अगले टूर्नामेंट के लिए वो क्या सीख कर जाएंगे अगले टूर्नामेंट के लिए उन्होंने क्या सीखा है ये तो अगले टूर्नामेंट है में ही पता चलेगा लेकिन बहरहाल अब इस मैच में सिर्फ ये कार्रवाई रह गई है कि शिकस्त और मोमिन सीट का फर्क कितना रहता है शहजाद या या क्या समझते हैं कि 35 बॉलें मुकम्मल होंगी या उससे पहले ही आ, काम हो जाएगा मोमिन सीट्स का 
अगर आप तरीन अकेडमी से पूछे तो वो तो कहेंगे यार जितनी जल्दी ये मैच खत्म करना है कर लो लेकिन मोमिन सीट क्या इस इनिंग में सौ के हिंसे को टच कर सकेगी ये एक बड़ा सवाल है लेकिन शहजाद मुझे नहीं लगता कि इनके रेगुलर बॉलर हैं क्योंकि उनको जिस तरह यहाँ पर लेकर आए हैं बॉल करने के लिए कप्तान और उनका एक्शन भी अगर आप देखें तो वाजे तौर पर यह लग रहा है कि इनको यहाँ पर मौका दिया गया है यहाँ पर अपने प्रोड्यूसर साहब से कहूंगा कि अगर आप फॉलोअर थ्रो दिखा सके हमें थोड़ा सा शहजाद का जब वो अंपायर के पास पहुंचकर बॉल डिलीवर करते हैं ना वो जंप करते हैं ना वो जो है वो नीचे रहते हैं अगर आप देखें तो ये देखें आप ये इनका बॉलिंग एक्शन मोहम्मद शहजाद का यहां पर थोड़ा सा मुझे प्रॉब्लम लग रहा है हाई आम एक्शन है इनका लेकिन बिल्कुल बॉल डिलीवर करते हुए इनका रिदम टूट जाता है एमल खान से इनका एक्शन रिजेंबल कर रहा है अगर आपको याद हो इस साल तो कोयटा ग्लेडिएटर से एमल खान ने खेला था एज एमर्जिंग प्लेयर बिल्कुल ठीक कहा आपने और जोर लगाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं यहाँ पर शहजाद और मैंने आपसे कहा कि जिस तरह लास्ट जो इनका बॉल डिलीवर करते हुए मूवमेंट होता है वहां पर इनका रिदम टूट जाता है ये इससे बेहतर नौजवान खिलाड़ी के लिए किसी ऐसे खिलाड़ी के लिए जो खुद को मनवाना चाहता है मौका हो नहीं सकता कि स्कोर बोर्ड पर एक सौ अड़तालीस रन दरकार हो और 33 गेंदों का खेल बाकी हो हथियार डाल दिए मोमिन सीट की टीम ने बाजार तो यही लगता है कि कुछ बचा नहीं है इस मैच के अंदर और ये डग आउट है मोमिन सीट का उदास चेहरे झुके हुए सर कहानी सुना रहे हैं इनकी परफॉर्मेंस की शुरू से ही हमें बॉडी लैंग्वेज का मैंने आपको पहले जिक्र किया कि बॉडी लैंग्वेज का जो एक इम्पैक्ट होता है हर गेम में हर स्पोर्ट्स में वो हमें मोमेंट सीट्स की तरफ से नजर नहीं आया कुछ खास इस बार भी ज्यादा कुत वाला स्टोक नहीं था फील्डर को बोर कर नहीं पाए तो शहजाद अगर आम हालात में गेंद करने के लिए आते और इनको कोई और खेल रहा होता तो इनको पता चल जाता लेकिन फिलहाल यहां पर जब ये गेंद डालने के लिए आए हैं तो चिप्स डाउन है मोमिन सीट के और मुझे लग रहा था कि मुकाबला अच्छा होगा इस्माइल ने एक ओवर में एक चौका और एक छक्का लगाया था लेकिन वो फिर रन आउट हो गए 228 एक बड़ा स्कोर था जिसके हदफ के ताकुब में मोमिन सीट की कारकर्दगी आपके सामने इस बार ऑन साइड पर गेंद को निकाल दिया है एक रन तक बात महदूद रहेगी और इसी दौरान ये पंद्रहवें ओवर का अख्ताम तो मोमिन सीट का स्कोर दो सौ उनतीस रन के हदफ के ताकुब में बयासी सात विकटों के नुकसान पर और ये अब तक का बॉलिंग कार्ड तरीन एकेडमी का छह बॉलर का इन्होंने इस्तेमाल किया है और तीन बॉलर यहां पर इनको कामयाबी दिलवाने में कामयाब रहे हैं और जुनेद ने बड़ी शानदार बॉलिंग की है चार ओवर में सात रन दिए और तीन विकटें एक आशारिया सात पांच के इकोनॉमी से हासिल करने में कामयाब रहे बड़ी शानदार बॉलिंग का मुजाहरा उन्होंने किया और ये दो बजकर चवालीस मिनट घड़ी में इस वक्त वक्त है और ये घड़ी जो है मोमिन सीट के लिए बिल्कुल भी अच्छी नहीं है ये याद रहेगी इनको घड़ी यहां पर मोइन खान अकेडमी कराची में यहां तरीन अकेडमी के साथ फील्डर में भी इनका साथ नहीं दिया बॉलर ने भी इनका साथ नहीं दिया आमिर अपने नए ओवर के साथ पहली गेंद जिसको दिफाई अंदाज में खेले अली और सोलवे ओवर में इससे कबल के मजीद हम आंखों देखा हाल आपके साथ शेयर करें कॉमेंट्री टीम में तब्दीली जीशान खालिद अब आपको ज्वाइन करेंगे कॉम वॉक में शुक्रिया बहुत बहुत दिया हुसैनी जी हाँ आपने घड़ी की बात की तो अगर हम डगआउट में चेहरे देख सकें तो चेहरों पे बारह जरूर बजे हैं यहाँ पे मोमिन सीट्स के Amir Azmat has now been given the ball, and he was so so special in the first innings. Absolutely brutal of an all, 50 of just 14 balls. Now he has a chance of finishing the things off with just three wickets remaining to be picked by the Reen Academy bowlers. 
And one thing that surprises me is that Tarina Kali made five changes. Samin Gul and Ali Majid were not even in the playing 11. Still, they have not allowed Moomin seats to get away with this. 82 for seven. Their innings is going absolutely nowhere. Although Ismail showed some glimpses of a fight back, but uh, unfortunately he was run out. I couldn't let you have all the fun here, Zishan. Had to join you. Another brilliant performance here by Tarina Academy. They will end up winning this win by a huge margin. Well, all the fun happened in the first innings, Tanish. I'm afraid you are a little too late for that. I let you have the fun. I was enjoying Amir Azmat and Nabi Gul bat from the sidelines. It was so much fun. You had the best seat in the house. So, free hit now for Ali. Pulling it away on the outside, but the ball has gone into the gap. It's going to be cut off a couple to Ali. Tarina Academy just did not allow uh, moment seats to settle down here. Kept coming at them. Kept showing that aggression in the field. Stopping signal singles. Denying them boundaries. They've been so good so far. Full uh, delivery presenting the full face of the bat. Heading it straight to the bowler himself. I think they misread the conditions here tonight, Moment Seeds. They won the toss, they decided to ball first, although we saw in the first innings the ball was coming onto the bat beautifully, especially the way Hoshdil Shah approached his innings. They could have easily opted to bat first as well, and who knows, they might have ended up with a good total on the board. From Tarin Academy's perspective, it was a good outing for them batting first. They got... Uh, the experience of doing that and in the process express themselves and we all saw how well they express themselves all the top order batters amongst the runs Nabi Gul getting a century Shahzad and Amir getting a half century tonight and what an knock Amir played and so far we have been talking all about Khwaj and Afe, but I think from now on we need to focus on Amir as well and we can't forget um, Nabi Gul either, because he was superb today. Played with so much responsibility. Kept going at it hard. Kept rotating the strike. And they're just dealing in singles and twos at the moment, and that's not going to worry me at all. When you're chasing down 229 runs, you cannot afford to bat at 5.6 runs and over. Moment seeds look defeated here. It's uh, clear that they just want to play these overs out. They need 142 of just 25 balls. Amir Azmat showing what he's got as a bowler as well. Some serious talent. change of pace just lowing that ball down guiding it towards third man there early even Shazad who is opening the batting he can bowl some really good balls and even Amir is a very good medium pacer so they've got loads and loads of all-rounders here Tarin Academy 16 done it's 88 for 7 Shazad will be coming back from the other end, or so it seems. Gave away just four in this first over. But that's more due to uh, the lack of intent by Moment Seeds, not the other way around. Yeah, during the time when Arbaz and Ismail were batting, we thought they might put up a fight back here, but uh, they just kept on losing the wickets. There were never a big partnership between any of those batters who came out here tonight for moment seats. But they will learn. This is eventually a learning curve for all the sides who have not been able to make it to the semi-finals. 
Hopefully they will go back, they will do the rethinking, they will regroup, they will come back stronger next year. You feel good when you win, but uh, it's when you lose that you'll really learn. You learn to uh, accept your mistakes, work on them, change your game plan and come back stronger. That's exactly what moment seeds need to do. Although this will be the end for them in this tournament. Yeah, it is certain that their journey is well and truly over in this 8th corporate T20 Cup because there is no way they will be able to chase these 140 runs in the next four overs. Hassan Khan, meanwhile, trying all his bowling options so that they will be ready tomorrow for the semi-final. It's not going to be easy for them to pick up their playing 11. Even the players who have put up a decent show so far in this tournament and they are not in the playing 11 tonight. They might be making a comeback tomorrow, but who will they drop? Surely, surely Nabi Gul and Amin Azmat will make their way into the squad. Surely, how can you leave them out? I mean, that's just not possible. Especially against a side like Umar Associates, if they manage to meet in the final, that's a team which has a similar style of play. That is well, well and truly on. And what a final that would be. Shivan on the offside, that has been taken. What? Is it? Oh, that was a blinder because it, I was hit really well. He got the connection, middled it and was flying. They're never easy at uh, the gully region. Just <laughs> put one of his arms out and grabbed it. Wow. It was wide outside the awesome and there wasn't much reaction time there for the fielder. Still, he jumped in the air and took it. And that has been the story of Momin Seed's batter so far. They have come and they have gone. Ali Shan walking back after scoring 11. It's 90 for 8. You can do it, Shazi. Yes, 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 yes. The inning seems to be dead for moment seeds, but there's so much energy from Tarin Academy. And we can still feel it all around. Players running in, taking charge when the bowler approaches the batsman. Still saving singles, even though they're, <laughs> they still require 139 runs. Talk about being a professional squad. It's the values you instill in your team and Mohammad Wasim deserve so much credit yes indeed they have ticked all the boxes in this tournament the Nina Academy Sakib Khan the fast bowler well, he had a pretty decent outing tonight gave away just 31 runs in his spell that's how Ali Ross is wicked just throwing his bat at it and look at that catch good ball even he has some pace Shahzad what an asset he is to the Nina Academy he opens the batting Provides them with a very good start and now he can bowl some real pace as well, some aggression. Quite a few players from Tarin Academy can do it all. They bat well, they bowl well. They've got so much power in their squad. So many options to fall back on, be it batting or bowling. Oh! Playing it on the offside over. Back at a point, some work to do by the fielder at deep cover going to be just a single how awesome have the field placements been throughout the match Zishan so many shots played straight to the fielder yes the batters couldn't find the gaps but you've got to appreciate Hassan Khan he's proven to be a really good leader he was replacing Sharun Siraj in today's match as the captain yeah, a few key players were missing but I don't think they were missing them once again, Jawad just driving it on the outside. Another single taken. Their field placement, their bowling changes. Hassan Khan also is a very good leader. He has played so much cricket. 
at this level, Hassan Khan. Has represented Pakistan under 19 as well. As a part of Koita Gladiators, Hassan Khan. He's placed himself at long off and he, uh, mid off, in fact, and he's uh, talking to Shazad as well. Wide down the leg side. They haven't committed many errors tonight, Tarin Academy. This one being one of the few that they have done. Just two no balls throughout the innings. 11 extras overall, most of them being uh, leg buys. Looks like Tarin Academy will be facing Vishal Associates tomorrow. Thrashing it on the offside, but again, there is protection out there in the deep. After 17, it's 95 for 8. This is turning out to be a nothing uh, batting display from moment seeds. Not trying to make anything happen here. Just playing out uh, the 20 overs. This innings is going nowhere. It was a daunting task, especially after conceding 228 runs in the first innings. And they never look into the game. Arbaz tried his best, but uh, unfortunately he just couldn't continue with the start that he got. Ismail obviously getting run out. Amir Azmat continuing with his second over. He's a big strong lad, Amir Azmat. Look at those arms. Ahmad Wasim must be very, very relaxed and must be very, very happy with the effort of his team. Can he play the tabla as well? Well, he was a chief selector, now he's acting as a coach. I think there is nothing much that he cannot do on the cricketing field. That did really well as Northern Association's head coach as well. His team did well under his supervision. Yeah, he reads the pitch well as well, Mohamed Wasim. Again, going for that big hit, getting an inside edge, and just look at the energy. It's the 18th over of the innings. He has done so much well with the bat armor, and still he's looking to protect, protect those runs. It's the basics that the Reen Academy follows so well. And just chipping it towards mid wicket. Trying to get some batting practice here now, moment seats, tail enders. <laughs> it's going to be a moral victory for them if they can bat out their full 20 overs without getting bowled out. Hitting it straight down the ground, chance for Midov, Hassan Khan. Well, he's not going to drop those. He will definitely not going to drop these sitters. Absolutely not, sir. So that's wicket number nine down. Or rather, wicket number eight down. Yeah, nine. It was a low full toss. He was looking to give himself room. Tried to clear Hassan Khan over mid but he just couldn't do it. Hassan Khan walking back after two. It's 96 now for nine. How is that for a performance? How is that for an overall performance? Amir Azmat. Uh, Playing a blistering knock of 50 of just 14 deliveries and then coming back and performing with the ball as well. Giving away just six runs and taking a wicket as well. Who would you give the manage, Man of the Match award to? Uh, I was about to ask this question from you, Danish. You will be I there you it. in the presentation ceremony. It's, it's going got to be, to be Nabi Gul. Ah, Nabi Gul and the way Amir Azmat batted, but... I will go with Nabi Gul as well because he laid the foundation there. They got a very good opening partnership. They scored 111 runs and that gave the opportunity to Amir Azmat to come out and express himself. Amir Babar, on the other hand, is the last man in for moment seats. 
got so much to learn uh, from the way Nabi Gul batted today. He was explosive, he was responsible, he stayed there, kept going for his team. Slightly tailing into the right hand of wide, signaled by the on field umpire. Yeah, much more to like about his batting was that he was giving respect to some good deliveries when Jawad was turning the ball, but when he got set, he spared no one. He showed mercy to no bowler of moment seeds. Knocked him over. Fittingly, it's Amir Azmat picking up the last wicket and raising his tally to two wickets in tonight's game alongside the fastest half century that he got in the tournament. This has been a complete performance by Tareen Academy. Runs on the board, bowling out the opposition on a low score. They are surely a formidable side to watch out for. Getting this victory by a huge margin of 131 runs tonight. Nothing much to talk about for moment seats apart from the toss which they won. They decided to bowl first and uh, it all went downhill for them from there on. Last two batters shaking the hands the whole squad of Tarin Academy this has been a remarkable performance they never looked out of this game they were very clinical in the first two games as well when they were chasing down the targets tonight they got an opportunity to bat first and put up run some runs on the board and they put up a mammoth total of 228 runs courtesy of that wonderful century from Nabi Gul half century from Shehzad and a quick fire half century from Amir Azmat who also picked up two wickets both the squads now shaking their hands. Unfortunately, the journey of moment seats is over from this Maple Leaf HD Party 8 Corporate T20 Cup. This was our Arbaz who struck few boundaries. That's how they lost their first wicket. Ahmed getting the first one. Arbaz showed some aggression, but he was castled. It was the smile then who got himself run out and after that it all went downhill Hassan Khan also the captain amongst the wickets exposing his stumps there losing his wickets again a chip shot straight away taken by the fielder at mid wicket they went across the line that was a wonderful catch taken of the bowling of Shazad then it was Amir Azman who picked up the last two wickets to finish the innings of moment seeds nothing much to talk about if you talk about moment seeds in this run chase they were comprehensively beaten by the Reed Academy time to go towards Hina who is out there on the sidelines and let's see who she has with her जी तरीन एकेडमी ने एक बड़े मार्जिन से आज का मैच अपने नाम कर लिया है और मेरे साथ मौजूद हैं जुनेद अवान बॉलर ऑफ तरीन एकेडमी जुनेद बहुत जबरदस्त परफॉर्मेंस आपकी तरफ से हमें देखने को मिली तीन विकेट्स आपने लिए अपनी परफॉर्मेंस के हवाले से क्या कहेंगे पहले तो अल्लाह का लाख लाख शुक्र है कि मौका मिला है अली भाई का भी और कोशिश ये की है कि अपना हंड्रेड परसेंट दूँ पिछले दो मैचों से बैंक पे था तो आज चांस मिला तो कोशिश यही थी कि अच्छा दूँ तो अल्लाह ने करा दिया जुनेद आपकी टीम की तरफ से एक जबरदस्त टोटल भी दिया गया था 200 प्लस तो मे बी ये आपके कॉन्फिडेंस को बूस्ट करने में वन ऑफ द फैक्टर्स रहे जी बिल्कुल बहुत अच्छा खेले हैं ऊपर से बैट्समैन उन्होंने एक अच्छा टारगेट सेट कर दिया जो एक टेंशन थी कि कंटेन करना पड़ेगा तो वो था नहीं तो कोशिश किया की हम भी इसको अच्छा फिनिश करें बड़े मार्जिन ऐसी जीते ग्राउंड में आने ऐसी पहले बाई दे आप लोगों का क्या प्लान था क्या स्ट्रेटेजी थी और क्या उस पर हंड्रेड परसेंट इम्प्लीमेंट करते हुए नजर आए जी बिल्कुल जो बैटिंग में था कि 200 प्लस करना है टारगेट वो भी हुआ है और फिर हमने ये सोचा था कि जितना कम हो सके उस पर पकड़ना तो वो भी अलहमदुल्ला वैसा इम्प्लीमेंट हो गया राइट थैंक यू सो मच जुनेद अवान हमारे साथ मौजूद थे तरीन एकेडमी की जानब से ब्रिलियंट परफॉर्मेंस आज हमें देखने को मिली और इवेंचुअली उन्होंने आज का मैच अपने नाम कर लिया है बैक टू दॉमेंट्री बॉक्स Yes, indeed, Junaid Awan just pick, giving away seven runs in his spell and picking up three wickets. Talking about the batting card, Arbaz being the top scorer with 24 runs, just three other batters could enter double figures. Asmail was very unfortunate that he got run out. Arsal scoring 13, the captain, and Ali in the end scoring 11. Talking about the bowling effort, Aminullah picking up a wicket, Ahmad also picking up a wicket, Hassan the captain giving away 17 runs, picking up a wicket in his spell. Junaid the pick of the bowlers, getting three wickets tonight. Shahzad. 
picking up a wicket and Amir then getting two wickets towards the end of the inning. So that's the match summary. Tarin Academy, although they lost the toss, they were asked to bat first. Put up a wonderful show with the bat. Nabi getting a century. Shahzad and Amir scoring half centuries. Ali going for 65 in a spell of two overs. And in reply, moment sees but bundled out for just 97 runs. Junaid so being a pick up the bowler, picking up three wickets. We'll take a short commercial break and after that we'll be right back with the post-match presentation ceremony where Danish will be alongside the presentation party. Hey! Catch it up, Ethe! Pahla chakka is in inka. What a shot! So I played a marvelous innings tonight. कदमों का इस्तेमाल और छह रन। And he goes out of the ground. He can raise his bat to the dugout. This has been a special lot. And smacked it between cover. Knocked him over. Six. Fielder के हाथों में सीधा. Check, hello, my check. Check, my check. जियो सुपर पे रमजान क्रिकेट का भरपूर मजा भरपूर एनर्जी के साथ भरपूर क्रिकेट जिसमें पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट के सुपर स्टार्स सरफराज अहमद खुश दिल शाह शान मसूद असद शफीक हैदर अली आजम खान अनवर अली उमर अकमल फहीम अशरफ साइम अयोग मेपल दीप एस दीपति एक कॉर्पोरेट टी ट्वेंटी कप पावर्ड बाय पार्क व्यू सिटी सात ऐसी पंद्रह अप्रैल GH Sports Club, Moin Khan Academy se parahe raast. Welcome back once again to DHS Sports Club, Muin Khan Academy, where we've seen another mesmerizing performance from Tareen Academy, winning this match by 131 runs. A special mention for Nabi Gul, who scored 111 runs. What an innings that was. And kudos to uh, Amir Azmat as well, who scored a blistering knock of 50 runs of just 14 deliveries. How special was that eventually? Uh, Tareen Academy have won the match and uh, made their way safely into the semi final as well. Uh, let's get on with the presentation. Ceremony presentation party mein hume join kiya wa hai Colonel Zakar Raja ne. Thank you so much for joining us here, sir. He's the secretary of DHS Sports Club, Muin Khan Academy. Along with Colonel Zakar Raja, we have Mr. Uwais Khan, director Muin Khan Sports Academy. Thank you so much for joining us here, sir. I'd like to call upon the losing captain first, Arsul Sheikh. Please aye. Or moment see kya achhi performance par humse baat karein. Tough luck today. Tarin Academy were just too good. Arsul, jab ek team aakar is tarah explosive andaaz bhi khelti hai, there isn't much you can do about it. जब आप इतने ज़्यादा कैचेस छोड़ेंगे तो आपके पास चांस नहीं होगा। आप अच्छे प्लेयर को जब कैच छोड़ दोगे उसका तो फिर वो बड़े रन्स की तरफ ही जाएगा। वैसे थोड़ा डी टूर्नामेंट आपकी टीम ने अच्छी परफॉर्मेंस दिखाई, थोड़े से अनलकी रहे, कुछ डिसिप्लिन उस तरह से नहीं रहा, जिस तरह से शायद आप
Thank you very much. Right, let's move on. I'd like to call upon Hassan Khan, the captain of Tareen Academy. Arjun ko kaptani ke faray so pe gaye the, and he did so well. Looked like a proper leader. Hassan, ek baar phir um, amazing performance aapki team ki taraf se. Let's talk about Nabi Gul and Amir Azmat. Um, dono ko aaj team me shamil kiya gaya. Dono ne respond kiya. Amazing innings ke liye dono ne. जी बिल्कुल अल्लाह का शुक्र है जो प्लान लेके आए थे एग्रेसिव क्रिकेट खेलने का उसमें कामयाब हुए और जिस तरह आमिर अजमत और नबी गोल और फिर पहले शहजाद ने स्टार्ट किया था बहुत अच्छा रहा और कोशिश करेंगे कि इसको कैरी करें राइट right, um, आपकी अपनी परफॉर्मेंस भी अच्छी रही पूरी टीम एज ए यूनिट खेली सिर्फ दो प्लेयर्स की नहीं पूरी टीम की कारकर्दगी थी जिसकी वजह से आपकी अभी तक परफॉर्मेंस इस टूर्नामेंट इतनी अच्छी रही है जी बिल्कुल इस टीम की सबसे अच्छी बात यही है कि हर कोई चिपिन कर रहे हैं अपने अपने पार्ट में और कोशिश यही करेंगे कि जिस तरह अभी का खेलते आए तीन मैच राउंड के आगे भी इसी तरह खेलें चले आसान खान बेस्ट ऑफ लक इसी तरह अच्छी तरह परफॉर्मेंसेस देते रहे एंड गुड लक फॉर द सेमीफाइनल एंड द फाइनल एज वेल वील मूव ऑन टू द मेन इवेंट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द मैन द मैच फॉर टूडे इज इवेंट काफी अच्छी परफॉर्मेंस रही हमने जिक्र किया आमिर अजमत का जिन्होंने पचास रन बनाए चौदह गेंदों पर उसके साथ साथ दो विकटे भी हासिल की बट टूडे इज मैन ऑफ द मैच इज नन अदर देन नब Nabi Gul scored 111 runs for his team of just 59 deliveries. What a responsible and awesome knock that was! Six fours and eight sixes. पहले अपने इनामात वसूल कर लें हम रिक्वेस्ट करेंगे कर्नल जका राजा से कि आप को प्लेयर ऑफ़ द मैच मेंटो दें. And we would like to request Mr. Owais Khan, Director Moin Khan Sports Academy, to present the cash award of 15,000 rupees to Nabi Gul. For his brilliant knock of 111 runs. नबी गुल आए और हमसे कुछ बातें भी करें शानदार परफॉर्मेंस रही आज क्या सोच के आए हुए थे नबी गुल आप क्योंकि जब शुरू में आए थोड़ा सा साइड पे आ जाइएगा ताकि लोग आपको देख भी सकें कौन है नबी गुल जो इतनी शानदार बैटिंग कर रहे थे इब्तदा सही शहजाद के साथ आपकी पार्टनरशिप बड़ी अच्छी लगी आपका रोल जारी रहा आमिर अजमत आए और जहराना बैटिंग का मजा रखी लेकिन आप लगे रहे दूसरे एंड से मजा आया आज की इनिंग्स खेल के बसमीम सबसे पहले तो अल्लाह का बहुत बहुत शुक्र बहुत इंजॉय किया इनिंग्स में और जिस तरह मेरा अजमत के लिए शहजाद के लिए बहुत अच्छे खेला इसकी वजह से हमारा कॉन्फिडेंस मिला आप क्रीज पर जितने जारे मिजाज हैं उतने ही नफासत से आप यहाँ पर हमसे बात कर रहे हैं <laughs> यही इंटेंशन है आपकी आगे टूर्नामेंट में अगर आपको मौका मिलता है तो अपनी टीम के लिए इसी तरह बेहतरीन परफॉर्मेंस देते रहेंगे इन शह इन राइट बहुत शुक्रिया नबी गुल बेस्ट ऑफ लक फॉर द फ्यूचर मैच एज वेल टूवर्ड्स दी एन जी हम आपको जरा सेमीफाइनल्स का लाइनअप भी बता दें क्योंकि उसके बगैर आज की कहानी मुकम्मल होगी नहीं कल का पहला सेमीफाइनल खेला जाने वाला है तरीन अकेडमी और इशाल एसोसिएट्स के दरमियान जबकि दूसरा सेमीफाइनल खेला जाएगा उम्र एसोसिएट्स और ए ओ हॉस्पिटल की टीमों के दरमियान दिस इज एट फ्रॉम टूडे वील कम बैक टू मोरो विद सेमी फाइनल ऑफ मेपल लीव एच डी पर्टी एथ कॉपरे टी ट्वेंटी कप कावर्ड बाई पाकिस्तान सिटी आज के लिए दानिश अनीस और जी सुपर की पूरी टीम को जाद दीजिए अल्लाह हाफिज कैच गिरा बैठे पहला छक्का इस इनिंग का वॉट ए शॉट सो अ प्लेन अल इस इनिंग टू नाइट कदमों का इस्तेमाल और छेर एनी गोज आउट ऑफ द ग्राउंड कैन रेज इज बैट टू दर गॉड दिस हैज बीन अ स्पेशल लॉक and smacked it between cover Not him over Six Fielder ke haathon mein seedha Good morning and welcome to the VOC ground in Rotterdam in the Netherlands for the second match of this three game series between the hosts and Pakistan in the World Cup Super League. Beautiful conditions in the middle for a match two here in Rotterdam. Netherlands Pakistan Pakistan one up in the series. Chris Broad alongside me, Scott Edwards Netherlands captain and Babar Azam captain of Pakistan. Scott, you've got the coin, I hope. Give it a flick. Then tails the call. 
It's ahead. Scott, you won the toss. You look happy. What are you going to do and why? Uh, we're going to have a bat first. Let's have a look at the two teams. The Dutch, first of all. Unchanged. There must have been a temptation on a used surface to look to get uh, Shiriz Ahmed, the leg spinner, in. But uh, in the end, they've decided to go uh, with the same lineup. And as for Pakistan, they're unchanged as well. And the exciting thing there is, of course, we get to see Mohamed Wazim, Harris Rauf, and Nazim Shah once more. Because didn't they bowl well on Tuesday? And of course, at the top of the order for Kazaman, Imam, and Baba, the captain, a lot of responsibility always on them for Pakistan to get the runs. The Edwards family there. Looking forward to seeing their son again in action. And here's Pakistan. Historic day for the Netherlands because it's their 100th One Day International. They're the 15th side to uh, reach that particular mark. Alongside me is Piers Fletcher. Good morning to you, Piers. And, uh, well, we've got a, a really exciting match in prospect again, haven't we? Morning, Brian. Morning, viewers. Nitin Bharti, his sixth One Day International. And he's at the bowler's end as we get ready to start proceedings. So Vikram Jeet Singh is on strike. Aris Rauf operating from the pavilion end. Here we go for match two. And straight away, the question is asked. They decide against the review. That was a very good start. Be interesting to see how much seam movement there is early on. It is a used pitch, Pierce. And Vikram Jeet Singh off the mark, as are the Dutch. Interesting, Pakistan had a, a floating slip in that sort of position where the ball went. It's a beautiful bit of bowling. First ball, Nazim Shah, three for 51 on Tuesday, and he's at it straight away now. Vikram Jeet Singh out for a single, and the Dutch lose an early wicket. Complete lack of foot movement there from Vikram Jeet Singh. Just hands out the bat like a curtain rail. Rizwan Akram is. All the wicket is one. Vikram Jeet falls for one. Netherlands are one for one. Wesley Berezi in at number three. Lovely shot, Berezi again. Good positive footwork. It's, uh, no ball. No Punching ball. down the ground, and it was a no ball as well. So three runs for Berezi. And there'll be a free hit now for Max O'Dowd. There were four no balls that Nazim Shah bowled on Tuesday. That was the issue he had, the only issue really, apart from the cramp. Yeah. Slapped out to deep square with that change of field. It's been restricted to a single. Wind has changed direction today from what it was on Tuesday. A pish and out. Drilled straight to mid off. Barbara Azam takes the catch. And the Dutch in early trouble here. Harris Rauf strikes. No doubt. Unable to get forward. Stuck on the crease. Just chipping the ball, really. Timed it nicely, but sort of no conviction in the shot. And straight to Barbara Azam. He won't be dropping those. Not having to have a bowl first today. O'Dowd falls. He falls for one off eight deliveries. Netherlands, six for two. Edged and dropped. Put down by first slip. Sort of went between the two slips, really, but there was no conviction from either man, either man to uh, get a decent hand on it. My initial impression was that it had gone to first. But just the one hand thrown out and... Bold! Barezi goes. Another wicket for Nazim Shah. Barezi's furious and Pakistan are elated. 
the Dutch all over the place, eight for three. Yep, and Nip Backer this time decides to play. First game he left that, this time he tried to play. No bet on it again, and he's bowled. Furious that that one went through the gate. He's going to have a long time to reflect on it now. Out for three, Beresi. The Dutch eight for three. Short and pulled away. I think it's gone all the way for six. It has indeed, confirmed by Michael Goff. Well, I said in the previous over, Tom Cooper, a fantastic hooker and puller. And uh, as if to illustrate the point. Fell inside the line of the ball, and again, you've got to be able to put the pressure back on the opposition some way, somehow. Tom Cooper's never going to leave that to live. A strong spear of the wicket, the big man. Out! Great caught and bowled. And Cooper moved across his stumps. No, the ball popped back yeah. to the bowler. They're going to That's check the no ball. No ball check. It's a no ball. You can signal no ball and a free hit. And it is indeed a no ball. Well over the line once more from the seam sharp. He's going to have to get that right. Four on Tuesday. Now two within his first four overs. Here on Thursday. And again, Cooper looking to get that full phrase. Looking to get down the wicket, but actually... That wicket just, the ball just holding in the wicket just a little and a little bit of a chip back to the ball. A great catch, but unfortunately, no reward for it. Yeah. And Cooper gets it past Mohamed Wazim at mid on for four, takes full advantage, rubbing salt in the wound for Pakistan. Six overs gone, and the Dutch 25 for three. It's a great shot by Tommy Cooper, that is positive, that is forward intent, that is exactly what we're talking about. That's what they did poorly up front in the first and overs, Cooper showing the top order how it's done. Very good, Tom Cooper. Made a similar shot on Tuesday afternoon, carbon copy. Punched, crunched, powerfully hit, Tom Cooper. Stop talking about food and start talking about that shot. Beautiful shot from Tommy Cooper. Again, his body weight's been into the ball all innings. That's a brilliant shot. That is shot of the day. Balance perfect, head position spot on, and the full face of that blade. And 50 partnership between these two. Positive intent, had their body weight into the ball, had the energy. And they're just sort of getting themselves back in this fixture now. Smashed away, excellent from Tom Cooper. First one down the ground, then rocks back and pulls it in front of square. This is excellent. 63 for three. Tidy touch. Lovely, lovely, delicate touch. That's going to run away for a boundary. That's really good batting. That's another 50 for Tom Cooper. Back to back half together. centuries for the elegant right hander. Well better, Tom Cooper. Coming at a tough time. Back for three, but he's responded well by coming out with that intent and energy, and he's turned it into the Dutch's favour. 50 or 50 balls. Chopped away, beautifully played, lovely placement, timing, perfection. Tom Cooper playing on a beautiful plane at the moment. This is excellent. On the charge. Man is back, he's just going to watch it. That goes all the way. Good hit, really good connection. Not worried about the man on the fence. 100 up. Not a particularly long boundary straight. And the first boundary that's been struck by a Dutch batsman who isn't Tom Cooper. It's the highest partnership of the series thus far for the Netherlands. That's a good shot from Delader, taking advantage of a bit of width, and that'll go away for four. The outfield quickening up as the morning and uh, early afternoon has uh, set in. Get it! Out, caught and bowled. It's stuck in the pitch. He went back, looked initially to cut it, I think, but the ball just held. 
and he's just ended up Tom Cooper popping it straight back to the bowler a wicket out absolutely nothing there a little bit of grip I reckon he's going to try and pump that down the ground actually off the back foot Mohamed Nawaz right on cue neither that wicket they got it Cooper played well for his 66 170 for four Jio Super Pay Ramzan Cricket Cup Bharpur Maza Bharpur Energy ke saath Bharpur Cricket Jisme Pakistan Cricket ke superstars Sir Faraz Ahmed Khush Dil Shah Shan Masood Asad Shafiq Haider Ali Azam Khan Anwar Ali Omar Akmal Fahim Ashraf Saim Ayub Maple Leaf SD Patti 8 Corporate T20 Cup Powered by Park View City Saat se 15 April GH Sports Club, Moin Khan Academy se Parahe Rast. Safe Geo Super Pay. Jeet Ke Geo. Shoheed Malik ne 287 Vande Matches ki 279 Hizmi, 49 Ashariya 1.8 ki Ossas se 158 Vikti Ho Sakti, jis mein 1 bar innings mein 4 Vikti ka Aizaz Shamil hai. Jio Super Pay, Ramzan Cricket Cup, Bharpur Maza, Bharpur Energy ke saath, Bharpur Cricket. Jis mein Pakistan Cricket ke superstars, Sir Faraz Ahmed, Khush Dil Shah, Shan Masood, Asad Shafiq, Haider Ali, Azam Khan, Anwar Ali, Omar Akmal, Fahim Ashraf, Saim Ayyub, Maple Leaf SD Patti 8 Corporate T20 Cup, Powered by Park View City, Saat se 15 April. GH Sports Club, Moin Khan Academy se Parahe Rast. Safe Geo Super Pay. Jeet Ke Geo. Netherlands captain, Scott Edwards. The interesting thing here is that Edwards is coming in with spin at both ends, and he'll like that. I'm just wondering if Barbara Azam will have it in mind to think to himself, now Edwards has come in, let's get some of the quicks back on. Nidimanuru and Van Beek, the next two batsmen to come, and then uh, we're into the tail. So a lot of responsibility on these two players. They've got to bat for a long time to get the Dutch into some sort of position. Oh, it's a beauty. More spin for Mohamed Nawaz. No slip in play, though. Harris Rep, very wet in front of that screen. A lot of water yesterday afternoon. A lot of rain fell and off the covers. Oh, no. Beauty, Nick, gone! Edwards is thinking about a review. He's going to have a chat with his partner. He's either nicked it or he hasn't. And uh, he knows he's got the outside edge, and so he's on his way. Last two or three overs, just seen the ball grip. Have a listen to this. Yeah, Nick, definite Nick. Mohamed Rizwan knows it straight away. Nawaz knew it. Umpire Goff, the most important man. Finger up, he knew it. Captain's got to go, not his day today. Gone for five, Netherlands, 125 for five. Pulled away beautifully by Delada. The outfield slow on this side of the ground. That'll be checked to uh, see whether that's gone for uh, four. Hey, Salman Ali Aga check, out there at deep mid wicket. Sure. The ball hasn't touched the boundary as yet. Hasn't touched. No, can you slow it down? No. Thank you. It's a Apparently not. Runs, runs, runs. Oh, and he's caught down the leg side, Nina Minuru. Out for a duck, second ball. Oh, what a horrible way to go. An absolute strangle. Harris Rauf gets the success. He's been absolutely on fire today. He's had the ball on a string, and this one actually not online, but Nina Minuru does well just to get any bet on it. 
great catch by Mohamed Rizwan behind the stumps. Harris Ralph, a slight signal to his fast bowling partner, Shaheen Shah there. Nidhi Manuru to pass for none. Netherlands now 128 for six and in all sorts. Well, the turn that we're seeing from Mohamed Nawaz will... Uh, oh, an overthrow. Harris Rauf there with the throw, not gathered by uh, Rizwan. for Baz Deleda. It's his second 50 in one day international cricket, his second 50 of the international summer here in the Netherlands as well in one day internationals too. He got 56 against England at the VRA. Bear in mind as well he got two half centuries in the 2020 international series against New Zealand. So he's in prime form at the moment. Still out on the deep backward point boundary. I think that will have to be looked at by the third umpire. Next spin of Shadab operating from the airport at airport end. It's been tidy in his first eight overs. He's going back to finish his spell. Just an opportunity today, especially on this wearing surface, to get him into the game. Slip in play. Logan Mabake goes down the ground. It's high. It's not very far. It's a simple catch in the deep. Nassim Shah in the action. Mabake holds out. Trying to take the game to Pakistan. Shut up in his final over. Got to ask the question, was it the option at this stage of the game? Six wickets down, only in the 38th over. No any of the ball, threw his hands through it nonetheless, and quite a simple catch for Nassim Shah down there at long off. The Dutch lose Logan for 13, 157 for seven. That's out, must be out, must be out. Well, that's definitely going upstairs. Definitely going upstairs. They won't even think twice about that. Muhammad Wasim say, Baba, please send it upstairs. Review taken. Steve Morgan. Yeah, I would like to confirm with the old age if there was bad or no bad. Yeah, flat line, flat line, flat line, flat line, yeah, freeze there. Can you move it back? Top of F, uh, there's clear gap. The, back, the spike is bad hitting the ground. Original decision is not out. Impact in line. Wicket's hitting. Nathan, you need to reverse your decision. Stand by. You can take my going to overturn is not out because that was absolutely stone dead in front. And for Tim Pringle, well, the duck you saw on the screen, double it up. That's two and two. 159 for eight. Looking for pads, looking for LBW. Arian Dutt is the new man. He manages to just keep it out. That's an excellent over. Mohamed Wasim, good pace, 159 for eight. Should be a couple. Basileir should keep as much strike as possible. Yeah, nice. Former club teammates, these two. Grand up having left now, so should be quite a dip of betting with each other, but... Well, you're not 180 all out, but you're 166 for nine. That's a beauty. Nawaz is having a wonderful afternoon. Beautiful delivery from Nawaz, drifting in. That breeze assisting him from that airport end. Drifting across the face of the batter and just straightening down the line. That's an absolute ripper from the left arm off spinner. Hand up in the air. He's happy with that one. Big smile. Pakistani team. Aryan Dutt not so happy. He falls for one. 
Bowled by Mohamed Nawaz. One six six for nine. Slower ball, sounded really good. Looks really good. Brilliant Barcelona. Half a dozen. Went deep in the box. Bit of an odd option for me at this stage. That in swinging, reverse swinging delivery was perfect for him so far. Held his shape. Head was beautifully in position. Full straight through the line. Away for six. Slow sweep for six. What a tremendous blow. Well, we were talking earlier on commentary about the fact that uh, we don't see the sweep. It's a lovely stroke. Full commitment. Leaves nothing in the tank there, Baz the Leder. Gadget, gadget, gadget! It's up in the air. What? And it's gone for four. He's found the gap. Initially, I think his heart would have been in his mouth there. Deep mid wicket was making his way round. Harris Ralph back into the attack from the pavilion end. Should be out. Long on is under it. Fakas a man in front of our commentary position and takes the catch. Another wicket for Harris Ralph. Three for him in the innings, and the Dutch are all out. Great innings from Delader. Out for 89 in the Netherlands. 186. Well, he'll be kicking himself here, Baz the Leder, because this is in the slot. I reckon if you asked Baz the Leder before that ball, where do you want it? He would have said exactly where that ball pitches. Doesn't get it out of the screws. It's a good catch by Fakir Zaman, but Baz the Leder can be very proud of his efforts today. A wonderful knock. Career best 89 from 120, but the Netherlands, 186 all out, well below par. Well, not a great card if... Uh... You're a Netherlands supporter. Look at that. Only three players in double figures. And they had two really chronic collapses, which cost them dear. They lost their first three wickets for eight. And then once they'd uh, recovered from that, thanks to uh, Delayda and Cooper, they then lost three more for 11. And that really did cripple them. Bowling figures. Harris Rauf, three for 16. Excellent from him. Nazim Shah, two for 27. He was good too. Those quick bowlers right at the beginning. They really did a great job. Mohamed Wazim, a wicket for him. And then the spinners, weren't they good too? Shadab, but uh, Mohamed Nawaz was perhaps the pick of the bowlers today. That left arm uh, spin, three for 42. And a couple of occasional overs there from Kushtu. So, Pakistan to win the series and pick up another 10 points in uh, this World Cup Super League. They need 187. Jio Super Pay, Ramzan Cricket Cup, Bharpur Maza, Bharpur Energy Ke Saath, Bharpur Cricket, Jismir Pakistan Cricket Ke Superstars, Sir Faraz Ahmad, Khush Dil Shah, Shan Masood, Asad Shafiq, Heather Ali, Azam Khan, Anwar Ali, Omar Akmal, Fahim Ashraf, Saima Yu, Maple Leaf Altipati 8 Corporate T20 Cup, powered by Park View City, Saas Se Pandra April, GH Sports Club, Moin Khan Academy Se Parahi Rast, Safe Jio Super Pay, Jeet Ke Jio. Jio Super Pay, Ramzan Cricket Cup, Bharpur Maza, Bharpur Energy Ke Saath, Bharpur Cricket.
جس میں پاکستان کرکٹ کے سپر اسٹارز سرفراز احمد خوش دل شاہ شان مسعود اسد شفیق حیدر علی آزم خان انور علی عمر اکمل فہیم اشرف سائن ایو میپل لیپ ایس ڈی پٹی ایٹ کارپوریٹ سی ٹوینٹی کا پاورڈ بائی پارک ویو سٹی سات سے پندرہ اپریل جی ایچ اسپورٹس کلب مون خان اکیڈمی سے براہ راست سیف جیو سپر پے جیت کے جیو So, Pakistan, fairly straightforward target, you'd have to say. And the Dutch will need to do something absolutely uh, extraordinary if they're to uh, retain an interest in this series. But bear in mind, of course, even if they lose today, they'll still be 10 points up for grabs in the ICC World Cup Super League in the final game on Sunday. A lot of Pakistan supporters in today. Short extra cover as well. Two fielders outside the circle are at deep square leg. And uh, deep point. Okay, guys, let's play. That is, Daddy. Here we go then. Oh, on it! Lovely oh, Lodgy! On it! And with that gap on the onside, oh, here, Daddy, a man with plenty of bottom hand just shovels the ball into mid wicket and Pakistan are off the mark. That's good. to the batsman, they'll think about the third but they won't get it, good work from Arian Dutt, making his way round from third man in the air and easy as you like for Viv Kingma but I rather fancy you know, fuck as a man I was wondering if he was going to stay there because Kingma got rid of the ball very very quickly there after he took the catch because the man is going to walk off, and it's a wicket for the Netherlands, but uh, just wondering if King Ma had full control of the ball here before he disposed of it. Back of a length and squares fuckers the man up. King Ma picks, catches the ball quite comfortably, throws it out the back, no issue for my liking. That's out every day of the week. Pakistan, the, the first man to go. The centurion from game one. He falls for three. Pakistan, ten for one. World class batter replaces world class batter. Baba Razam comes to the crease. Baba off the mark. There is uh, Shariz Ahmed out at. Uh, so that's Musa, his brother, out at uh, deep mid wicket. That really rose off back of a length. That wicket delivery. <laughs> Another wicket. Logan Van Bake at point. Two wickets in the over. Loose drive from Imam Al Haq. Pitched up by King Mar. He's been better this over. He's put the ball in a position where he can get wickets early. Full half committed drive and a great catch from Van Bake. Standing quite close there at point. Important wicket for the Dutch. Both openers gone in the third over. Imam, second failure of the tour. He goes for six. Pakistan now 11 for two. Mohamed Rizwan in at number four. Two wickets and a run off that fourth over of the innings. Pakistan 11 for two. Well, Van Beek went a little wider of the crease there. And Barbara Zam's response is to pump him down the ground for four. Lovely way to end the over from a Pakistan perspective. Barbara's first boundary, 17 for two.
pulled off the front foot by Barbara Azam. That's how much time he's got to play shots like that. And even with the slow outfield, that still makes it to the boundary rope. <laughs> On the up from Rizwan. And again, even though the outfield is slow, I think that's going to go for four, is it? No. Good work from Pastor Leder. Goodness me, he really is uh, a box of tricks with everything that he does. It's a lovely shot. It wasn't a half volley. Barbara Zam, so clever at finding the gaps. High quality batting. Again, that contact point is just straight under his eyes for Barbara Zam. Maybe a touch wide from Vivian King if we're being tough, and this is international cricket. And it'll be four more. Just stands up and slaps it through wide bit on. That was brutal. 11 off the over, 34 for two. And he's short there and wide, and Barbara Zan takes advantage. Again, so adept at finding the gaps. There was a, a backward point and a square cover, and Barber bisected them perfectly. Pitching outside off and spinning further away. It's not the line he needs to be bowling at this stage. Got to bring those stumps into play. Look at how well Mohammed Nawaz bowled earlier in the afternoon. In the air. Very well controlled. Really, really was, because it bounced a little bit more than the captain Barber expected. He just rode the bounce and found the gap. Two men up in the ring with a deep cover out. Flashes away. And another boundary. Oh, pumped away. Full toss. You've got to use the facilities. Net on the full. Good shot from Rizwan. Another over ticks by 54 for two. And playing well together. That's another beautiful cricket shot. Um, they felt confident. And if I reckon if you look, and again, I was like most people, just sitting there watching it on the on the laptop, yelling and screaming. And the ropes, 50 partnership coming in good time. Rizwan has been watchful. Baba very fluent.